That is Nathaniel Kohler bringing it on through, but he's had the move. Monaco leading it out, Lacka's in there in that two spot chasing him down, USA, Czech Republic at the moment, who's picking up three, that's the USA around the outside, the 68 play, that is Espen Wilt, Wilt's worked his way into that two spot there, so it is United States, one and two is ahead, down this final straight, looking good for Monaco, he's going to take the moto win, Will be there for that two spot, Lacka in three, Check out Newton Hindley on the inside of his GP. Hindley sticks the other way. Newton Hindley leading that race number 32. The ball is wide play. Get there with him, chasing him down. That is Haruto Iwamura. Iwamura bringing it on through into that two spot there. That's what looking like the RT bringing it in in three. Lucas Zetta being chased down all the way by the Latin rider. That is Dominic Zuss. But Newton Hindley out for looking good. Into the final turn, he's under the pressure, he's ahead down the final straight. In the morning, a chase out of Hindley. Who's going to have it? Hindley's going to have it. In the morning, for two. We've got a lot of the third three, second breaking in this one. We've got Marcus and uh, Merriam Willems and Landon Donnelly through the United States. Dylan Sensha going through as well, the 24 low of Dylan Sensha of Australia is out front at the minute, USA, that's a Jacob Tyson in the in two, and uh, Yoshiki Nagasiko going through for Japan as well, he's back down about six low of the world, but Australia's Dylan Sensha out in front, Australia right there, behind, sorry, America right there, behind. that's going to be 
track already the 87 that belongs to a titan called bossom Bono out of france he's in there in two all riders ducking and diving in the turn who's coming through now for that second spot looks like uh amael balku out of france who's working his way into second canada damien archambault in there in that fourth spot but cola taking it to the line 36, Isaac Caulfield of Great Britain, those long locks flowing out behind him. Uh, Giron Gavria from Colombia, he's in there as well in about five. The Australian rider in four is Nate Robinson. He's going well, chasing down the 103 of Theo Lock out of Great Britain. Caulfield making his move now into that top five spot, but Japan, that is a Takaru Ashida. Looking very good as they go towards the final turn, Theo Lock. Riding smart, I think, in this first moto. The French rider, he's going to take that second spot. Lato, no, I think that was. Oh, Nate Robinson taking a tumble at the line. Let's hear it for him as he picks himself up. Moto 37. TJ Ricana Gray out of New Zealand. Where is he? Out there in front. Look at this kid absolutely flying on that 116. The 88 in there in two. That is uh, Artis Roti from France. New Zealand got this one on lockdown. The Belgian rider getting in there. Mille Lenhartz. France in there in that fourth spot as well. The Colombian rider going through. That is Geraldo Valdez. Moto 38, Maddox Vicario out of the USA. Is he the rider in front, the 122? It is Maddox Vicario. Ferdinand Renault, I think, in there in two for France, Great Britain in four. I've got a feeling that's Ben Longley. Rider in there in three. On that World Five, Lucas uh, Thyssen, I think that is, from the USA. Turblanche in the mix as well. But it's Maddox. He's going to get this one. Is it going to be a USA 1-2? I think it was. Moto 39, John O'Haradine for Great Britain. We've got Wesley Spicer in this one as well. Stanley Palmer, Ethan Clays, Tegan Steibel and Bram Kuchen out of the Netherlands. He's in there in that uh, sixth spot. The man out front is the Belgian, Ethan Clays. On that 70 play, USA 1-1-8 in there in two. Tegan Steibel. Under pressure, though, now from the Great Britain rider. I think that was John O'Haradine. For Belgians, Ethan Clays, he's going to take Moto 39. And Stanley Palmer in there as well. Moto 40. Kaslini, Danju, Abelins, Hori, uh, Gonzalez, and Gavin Thomas from the United States. He's in there in there. Six right now. The 92, though, leading it out is Lubin Danju out of France. Mateus Estevez Gonzalez in there in that second spot. The Latvian rider, uh, Sandis Abelins, going through in three with the 108. That is uh, Martino Caslini out of Italy inside the top four. Will the Japanese rider, Itsuki Hori, is he going to make it through into a top four position? He's having a go, and it was close on the line. More 30 and 14 year old cruisers, moto number 41 into the turn. Who's leading it out? Oh, the Japanese riders hit the deck. The Agora Watanabe. Watanabe's out then. That is the two played on track. William Gall out of Italy. 
under pressure from the American in there behind him. That is Sean Lehu. Lehu looking for a way through. So, oh, Lehu's worked his way in. So it is the world number three leading out the world number two into the final corner. Here comes Gaul on the inside. Sticks it under, makes it happen. So it's going to be Italy, USA, one and two. Who's coming through in three? That's going to be Mika Magre out of the Netherlands in for that top three finish. Race 42 in and out of that first corner, 13, 14 year old boys cruiser. That is the 94 plate leading it out. Roman Lombeck. Lombeck out there in the one spot. Then he's got the Australian in there behind him. That is Mika Maloney on the 77. Them two guys running away with it at the moment. The other French riders in there in three on the 93 plate picking it up. That is Louis Guinet. Guinet heading into the final turn in the top three spot. That's Harrison Schofield on the 107. In there in four, the Australians making moves out front. He's going to pick up the win. Mika Maloney taking the one spot. 13 to 16 year old girls cruiser now on a track. In and out of that first turn, looking like we've got Argentina leading it out. Alma Pinero. Pinero looking good in that one spot at the moment. That's looking like the Japanese rider in there as well. Nishimura. Bringing it on through, making a move in turn number two, working into that one spot. So it is Japan and Argentina, one and two at the moment, the 5-1-6. Of uh, Holly Jackson in there in the top three as they're coming in out of the final turn and down the last straight. Emilia Carrasco out of Chile in there in four. Look at the battle to the line. The Argentine's going to pick it up. That's going to be Pinero. Race 44, more 13 to 16 year old girls cruiser on a track. Check her out front, world number seven, Alexis Alden, out of the USA, leading this one out. Who's in there with the 519 picking it up? Ray Wolfs out of Belgium. So it is USA and Belgium, one and two at the moment. France in there in three, as they come on in and out of turn two. That is the 524 plate of Duracell, Duracell in there in that three spot at the moment as they come down the final straight. It is gonna be the world number seven taking the motor. Alexis Alden over the line with Wolves in a two. Columbia leading out race number 45 on track. That is looking like Polamek. Polamek out there in the one spot at the moment. United States in there as well. That's got to be Avery Jones on the 542. So it is Columbia and USA at the moment. Japan's in there as well. That is Nakamura. On the cruiser heading into the final turn, but it's still Colombia leading it out, looking good. Polamek under pressure down the final straight. The New Zealand riders make moves in the final turn. That's Nelson under pressure as they come back to the line. Who's going to get the three spot? I think Nelson's going to hang on. Well, 13 to 16 year old girls cruiser. We've lost two riders in the first turn. I think one of them was Anya Matt and Alonso. Let's hope that they're both all right. The 525 though, leading this one out on track. That is a looking at like Louise Boisson. Boisson looking good out front. Cody Harmer in there in two for GB. The USA in the mix on the 5-4-6. Bringing it into the final turn. That is Brian. In they go and back out again. Look at the swapping and changing. It's still going to be the USA. Boisson hanging on to it. He's ahead down to the line. Harmer with a late charge. Who's going to get it? I think Cody Harmer's going to nick it on the stripe. Ava Potter was one of the fallen riders in the first turn, as was Anya Matan Alonso. Put your hands together for them two ladies, ladies and gents. French riders out there in front, the six of uh, Foul Coulange from France. Uh, he's the man leading it into turn number two, and he's got three French riders with him, and there's a Dutchman right in the middle of it. That is the three of uh, Ricardo de B. Seen plenty of that rider on the European Cup scene, and now he's mixing it up in the World Championships. Inside that top three, Falcolange of France, he's going to take it to the line. Is de B going to hang on? I wouldn't like to say. Race 50, 17 to 24 in this one. Uh, Leo Lupare in this one. Uh, Nolan Coudre in the mix as well. So the French looking good in the cruiser classes. 262. That is Benny Sereni out of the United States of America. Canada inside the top five. Iloic Thoreau, I think that is. Netherlands going through in that third position. The 254 of Luke Van Haren. He's looking good on track right now. 
And we got Tom Whittaker and Jason Daly in there for Great Britain as well. The Frenchman takes the win. He's USA and Netherlands two and three. 17 to 24, Deegan Brown of the USA in this one. He won't be too far away from the front. He's right there in the middle of the mix, but he's got the Frenchman to contend with. The four and the five, Hugo Senecal, the five of Merlin Quigo. These guys will finally slash here. Deegan Brown's having a really good goal down, down that straight, trying to cut the French rider off the 2-4-2. That is Oscar Simpson of Great Britain. He's in there in that fourth spot, and Ryan Brooks in the mix as well. Is Deegan going to get it? He's going to take that third spot. He couldn't get the Frenchman down the final straight. 17-24, Moto number 52. Connor Hedges of Great Britain in this one. Bo Van Bergsteden going through as well for the Netherlands on that 2-5-1 play. He is the man in control right now. The Brits are two and three. Jay Green, Jack Wiggins in there as well. Well, Rich Penny, Luca Manzi going through the 2-5-1. Van Bergsteden though of the Netherlands being chased down by the two Brits. The Ecuadorian Neverez in there in that fourth spot. But it's all about the Dutch rider Van Bergsteden going through. He's going to take that win with a posse of Brits right there on his tail. Let me set to the street. I like it medium red. I like that blood on my plate. Now I got people to feed. I got money to make. It's in my DNA. Always to be first place. If it don't make money, man, it don't make sense. This is the main event. I am the main event. Whoever I'm up against. Can't sit on the fence. The extent I'm a strength. I give it 100%. Yes. Yeah. Well, so 53, uh, Max on Piton in this one, uh, Alexis Villemart. And uh, once again, there's a French rider heading towards the front. Alex Brooks is in there as well. Look at him carving and diving in that first turn. The British rider working the way into that two. It is the... Uh 247, I think it was Freddy Cadman Carpenter in the mix. Belgian swooping his way in now as well. That's going to be Robbie Vachuren. The ladies love him. He's in there in that second spot. The Swiss rider going through. Romain Dubu. Oh, riders making moves left and right. Who's going to get that fourth spot? That's going to be Brooks at the line taking the top four. Auto number 54, Jay Magnus, Marcel Moore in this one. We've got Max Henderson, good fellow, doing it for the unicorn. He's in there as well. And let's have a look who is the USA rider in the mix. Got a feeling that's Dominic Pedato. He's in there in about seven, so he's really going to have to turn it on down this straight. Good fellow in that fourth position. French rider in there in three. I've got a feeling that's Maxime de Hoon. Belgian rider going through into Vitsa Baude. About to get swooped on the line. Max Henderson, good fellow, with a strong finish. Race 55, still on the 17 to 24 cruiser men. Dylan Willis, Mickey Porter in this one. Joshua Lowe doing it for the United States with Dallas Gardner and Aaron Blee. The 261 of Aaron Blee is the man out front. Ingar Ankerman in there for the Netherlands. He's there in that second spot. USA in control. Great Britain in there in form. Mickey Porter looking good. The 260 is Joshua Lowe. As they go in and out of the turn, Aaron Blee is going to take the win. Netherlands, Ingemar Ankerman going through in two. Moto 56 moving on, 17 to 29. Cruiser women, Jennifer Martin, Olivia Firth in this one. She's in there in that fourth spot at the moment, the 579. Charlotte Jackson also out of Great Britain. So these two British girls pushing hard. They've got to chase down Jennifer Martin from the uh, Netherlands, the four plate. That is Christina Madrasakova out there in that leads position. Matilda Hugo of France in there in two. So there's only one place in the top four for the British girls. Looks like Olivia Firth is going to be the rider wrapping it up. Race 57 at 70 to 29, a year old. Women's cruiser in and out of that first turn. Your world champion leading this one out out of France. Lucy Lacoste looking good as ahead into turn number two. Your world number eight in there as well. Tessa Van Sayen out of Belgium. So it is France of Belgium. One, two, and three, one and two at the moment. USA going at three, four, and five. That is a five, eight, nine. In there in the three at the moment. Haley Seeley bringing it into the final turn down the final straight your world number one and eight looking like they're going to go one and two as they bring it to the line it's going to be lacoste and van Sayen. race 58 
Great Britain in this one on the inside into that first turn, but out front, it's going to be the two plate of Mia Christensen out of Denmark, leading it out the 554 in there in that two spot. That is Femke Ver Verelst. So it is Verelst chasing down Christensen in and out of that second turn. GB in there in three. That is Josie McFall on the 566. The 558 of a floor. Guiranon in there in that four spot doing it for france a gb in five that is jessica taylor on the five six seven but your world number two could it be mia christensen she's going to take that moto win seven on the plate tony james new zealand leading this one out in and out of the first turn who's that in there with it got to be gb's hannah hedges on the five seven four the five five nine out of france in there as well that is jay Boutillon. Boutillon bringing through the top three as they go into that second turn. Denmark's in there as well. Laureen Hansen on the 5.56, heading down the third straight. Canada in the mix as well with Troussard, but into the final turn. Tony James, your world number seven out of New Zealand. She's going to pick up this moto win as they bring it down to the line. Here comes the French rider heading to the stride. Boutillon looking like she's going to nick the two spot as they go across the stripe. Hedges for three. Well, 17, 29-year-old women's cruiser on track. That's Sweden leading it out. Helena Sund, Sund out there in the one spot at the moment. The 5-5-2 in there as well. Gemma Lee Thomas out of Australia heading into that second turn. France are picking up three and four as they go in and out of turn two. That is Pilar and Hernandez heading back through the straight. It is looking good for Pilar at the minute. Hernandez in there in four. The 5-6-5 five, five in there as well. Savannah Carver out of GB, but down the final straight, Sweden's. Sund looking like she's going to pick up the moto win with Thomas in there in two. Right, Cara Wilde, Hannah Drew, Amy Willis, uh, Candy Plancon, uh, Alaya Montoya from uh, United States and Isabel Beams out of Australia. She's in there in that third spot right now. Amy Willis of Great Britain battling through inside the top four. Cara Wilde on that 553. Who is the rider out front? The 577. That is Hannah Drew of Great Britain. Drew looking good. Wild in that third spot being chased down by uh, Amy Willis. But Hannah Drew of Great Britain, is she going to hold that French rider off? I think she will. She's going to take it to the line. Australia going through inside the top three. Moto 62, Jody Musgrave of Great Britain. Uh, Danica Pilmer, Molly Nice, Taylor Lee Moe and Caitlin Davies. And uh, Camille Imber of France. And Camille uh, absolutely flying. She's out front in this one. Australia in that third spot. Danica Pilmer. She's chasing down the rider from Great Britain. Got a feeling that's going to be Taylor Lee Moen on that 580 uh, five, in that second position. Musgrove and the 576 of Kaylin Davis, both in the mix as well. But Cammy Limber is going to take the win in moto number 62. Moto 63, Melissa van der Sanden on the inside. She's got a battle on her hands, though, because Lily Chiziwa of Great Britain is going to lead it into the turn. Betty Lawrence, Abby Pike. Emily Frost, Zoe Fletner, uh, all in the mix as well. Where is Becky Lawrence? She's in there, in that fourth spot, under pressure from the rider though, from Germany, Zoe Fletner. Lily just, oh. In from the Netherlands, Van der Sanden in that two spot. The 5-6-9 is Abby Pike inside the top four. And as they go in and out of the turn, Chiziwa is gonna get it, Van der Sanden's gonna get the two. Abby Pike's going to get the three. And Flettner, she might just hang on for the four. Moto number 64, 40 to 44. Cruiser, hold on to your hats, people. It's about to get wild. Clint Daly of the USA in there in that full spot right now. He's got Frenchmen all over the back of him. And a Colombian out front. And that is uh, Luis Felipe Molina Marin. He's in there in that uh, fifth spot now under pressure. Three, two, six. That is Zalazar from Argentina, but the Frenchman out in front. De La Cluz, I think that is. Oh, it's uh, Marshall Peru. He's going to go through and take it. Australia are going to get to. He's, he's, I think the American got swallowed up right there on the line. Moto 65, Josh Whiting in this one for Great Britain. He's going through. He's chasing down the five plate of Pierre uh, Guinouac. I think that is from France. Netherlands have got a rider in the mix. That'll be uh, Michel Janssen. Oh, big, big tumble there. 
waiting, going down. The Frenchman hitting the deck as well. And that's left it wide open for the two Brits. Andy McCoy in there as well. John Lillingston, I think, was the rider. He went down. So it's going to be a big chase to the line. All action in 40 to 44 Cruiser. So number 66, Fraser Watson on the inside, but they are chasing down the powerhouse that is Gertz Yonkers out of Latvia, leading him in and out of turn number one. We've got the Irish rider, Joey O'Neill, who's making his move now from fifth to fourth, chasing down the Brit. Who's that in that second spot? Looks like uh, Bustamante from uh, Mexico. Really great to have the Mexican riders here in Scotland. Italy in there in five. That's going to be Marco Gale and the 328. That belongs to a Gregory Seifarth from Belgium. Yonkers of Latvia, though. He's going to take it. Mexico for two. Great Britain for three. Ireland for four. Total 67. Uh, Grabischler, Kingsley Mears in this one. He's uh, familiar with the big wheeled bikes. Also races four cross on the mountain bike side as well. Sim Johnston of Great Britain in there in that fourth spot. Matt Swales, Adam Boudet in the mix too. It looks like Boudet in that second spot chasing down Kingsley Mears. Mears holding it into the final corner. The German just looks to see where the competition is. They're not close enough to get on the back of him. Kingsley Mears, he's going to take it to the stripe. He's Boudet going to hold on for that too. Not quite, I don't think. 68, Ishimoto, more 40 to 44, Cruiser. Brian Elizabeth, uh, Jeffrey Jones in this one. Johan Morand and Graham Stark in the mix as well, the 338. Johan Morand of France is the man out front. Aruba's Brian Elizabeth in there in that second position. Belgium inside the top four, Michel Besson. Three, four, seven. That is Graham Stark pushing hard. And as they go in and out of the turn, well, looks like he's going to be a French one too. The Aruba rider Elizabeth in there in three with Belgium in four. Moto number 69, a 40 to 44 year old man into that first turn. Looking like the Colombians leading it out. Juan Herrera out front looking good at the moment. Who's that in there chasing him down? Bringing it towards that second turn. That's going to be in Rune. Ondal out of Denmark. So it is Ondal in there in the two spot. Here comes the GB rider looking to get involved. That's the 350 plate of Richard Stevenson heading into the final turn. He's got the French rider just in front of him. That is Jean Bellier. Bellier then hanging on to the top threes to head down to the line. It's going to be Herrera and Ondal one and two. Race 70 on track. Two riders out of the USA on the inside in this one. But out front, it's going to be the French rider leading it out. Anthony Paul on the 342. Paul's out there in the one spot. That looks like one of the USA guys going through in that two spot. Chris Carriasso. So it's Carriasso hanging on to the two spot at the moment. The Irish rider in there as well. That is uh, Fiovante. Fabio Fiovante in there in three. The GB rider in the mix in four. That is Scott Main on the 348 in and out of the final turn. It's going to be Anthony Paul taking the moto win with Carriasso in a two. Getting busy into turn number one. That's going to be Canada leading it out. Hugo Donne looking good at the moment. He's got the world. Number seven right there with him out of France. Picking it up. That is Jocelyn Ruiz heading into that second turn on the inside. Trying to make it squeeze. Didn't quite make it happen. So it's Donne looking good at the minute. Ruiz chasing him down. That's the 3-3-2 three, three, in the mix as well. Philippe Perez out of Chile, looking for a way into a top two spot. Check out the battle down the final straight. The world number seven, Ruiz, has made his move. He's going to go from two to one. Donny's going to hang on to that two spot, and the Chilean rider goes through in three. 40 plus women on track, race number 72. In and out of that first turn, GB, where are you guys? 
Kim Batsford leads it out with the 6.30 in there in the two spot. That's Nicholas Spears. So Batsford, Spears looking good at the minute. The USA's in the mix as well as they come in and out of turn. Number two, who's that picking up three? That is the 6.50 plate working her way around the outside. Heidi Kramer. Kramer then looking for a way into that top two spot. The 6.48 of Sarah Strayer in there in four, putting the pressure on Spears down the final straight. Batsford's going to take it. Who's in there for two? That is going to be Kramer. Spears going to hang on to three on the line. Race 73, more 40 plus women's cruiser coming at you. That is the Aussie leading it out on the 606. Letitia Weatherfield. Weatherfield out there in one, looking good. GB in there in two. That is Lee Pendleton on the 632, heading down the third straight. Then looking good for Weatherfield and Penton, who's in there in three. That is the 639 plate of. Anale Alfarink. Alfarink then bringing through the top three as they head down the final straight. Here comes the Swiss rider in there in four. That is going to be Florence Julia. Next up on track, race 74. Heading into that first turn, looking good out front. Who is it bringing it on through? Christian Wiesner out of Germany. So Wiesner out there in one, the six plate in there in the two spot. That is Wendy Brondecker out of the Netherlands. Looking good there for Germany. And the Netherlands, one and two at the moment. The French riders in the mix as well. In three, Cecile Haberard. Haberard coming under pressure there from the 6-0-4 as they head towards the final turn. Angela Potter looking for a way through for the Aussies. Last straight action. Action. Weisner going to take this moto win. The Dutchie under pressure. Bron Decker, here comes the Frenchie to the line. Who's going to get it? I think Haberard could have took that two spot on the line. Race 75 now on track. GB leading this one out. Your world number four, Rebecca Go out front looking good. The 619 in there with her in that two spot. That is looking like Astrid Delacruz, Delacruz, sorry, out of France. So it is GB, France, GB. One, two, three. Who's that picking up the three spot? The 627 of Anita Wong. Looking good then, heading into the final turn. A GB sandwich out front. Goal, hanging on to it, being chased all of the way. Down this final straight, Della Clouse gonna take that two spot as they head on down with Wong in there for that top three. Race 76, more 40 plus women's cruiser into that first turn. Who is leading it out? Looking like it could be Germany's Kirsten Meyer. Meyer on the 622, looking good at the minute. The 626 in the mix as well. That is Leah Pearson out of GB. So it's Germany and Great Britain. One, two, three at the moment. The other Great Britain rider, Amanda Hemstock, on the 624. She's inside the top three as they head down this third straight. The Aussies under pressure in there in four. That is Prue. Look at the moves being made around the outside. That's going to be Lassard out of Canada working her way into a top four spot. Down to the line, though. Maya's going to take the motor win. GB going through two and three. Right, moving on, 40-plus cruiser women. This is Moto number 77. Angela Jolly, Tracy Sharp, Amelie Masson, and Prod. Uh, we've got uh, Muswaka from Zimbabwe in there as well, and Carol Felipe from France. And it is the 617 being chased down by the 640. Amelie Masson and uh, 649 of Angela Jolly, I think it is, who's in there as well, doing it for the USA. Jolly making a move right now and taking that lead. The French rider in there in three, Tracy Sharp of Great Britain in for the 613. That is uh, Carol Felipe who's in there in that uh, third spot. But it's USA, Angela Jolly leading it down the straight. She's going to take the win. Tracy Sharp of Great Britain coming in inside the top four. Moto 78, Marsha Brooke of Great Britain in there in two. Josephine Burston as well. Julie Poiret, Sharon Watts, Don Jabour and Ludovine Savelle of France. Who is the rider out in front? Marsha's in there in two. Josephine Burston of Great Britain in three. USA rounding out the top four with Julie Poirier. Savelle of France looking very, very good. Marsha Brooke not quite letting her get away. Maybe leaving herself a bit too much to do as they go in and out that final corner. So it's going to go France 1, Great Britain 2 and 3. Just depends on the order. Brooke and Burston going through. Look at the battle for four between the two USA riders. One of them's going to go in that top four. One in five. Sort that one out between you. Right, Moto 79 still on the 40 plus cruiser ladies. 
Vanessa Corshamel in this one on the 618. She's the rider out front. Laurie Masca in there into the 631. That is Kirsty Freer out of Great Britain. Always rides with a big beaming smile on her face. Chasing down the 633, her club mate Annie Chaziwa. Island in there in five, Leah McClintock. And the rider from Team USA on that 641, uh, Laurie Maschia. But it's going to go France, Australia, Great Britain. That's going to be a one, two, three. Kirsty Freya smiling as always. She's in there in four. 45 to 49, Cruiser Men. The four plate, uh, Philip Silink out of Slovakia. In there, in one, the United States. I've got a feeling that's Tommy Pruitt in there, in two. Yes, it is on the 4 2 1. Frederick Rumbe in there as well. Where is Big Nige? Nige Smith of Great Britain. Bradford's finest in and out the turn in four. It looks like the Slovakian rider on that four place, Silink. He's going to get it. As we move on to moto number 81. This one's already looking fast. Glyn Cartwright, Neslo Baracueo in this one. Philippe Bellamy, Damian Mead in the mix as well. Clint Shores and Brett Knight of Great Britain. Brett's in there in about five of the minute, pushing hard, chasing down his compatriots. 399, the man out front. Glyn Cartwright looking good. Baracueo of the USA trying to get in the mix as well. It's the Frenchman though in two, Philippe Bellamy. He's in there in that second spot. Clint Shores of uh, Australia taking the three. Brett Knight in four. Photo number uh, 82, Jimmy Van Gessel, Julian Allen in this one. I hope he's been listening to his coach because he coaches himself. The 378, Ricardo uh, Santos of Brazil. Absolutely loving that Brazilian jersey. Looks fantastic. He's in, the, in that second position, Julian Allen in three. Jimmy Van Gessel in four, the 400. That belongs to Paul Bailey. He's in there in five. Lee Matthews in six. Australia, Brazil, Great Britain. That's going to be a one, two, three in moto number 82. Moto 83, Darren Reedy. He's been in many a world final over the years. He's looking for another one today. He's in there in one. He's got company though. The 417 and the 407. Corey Skinner and uh, Mario Alberto Perez. In, the, in that third spot. He's doing it for Mexico, South Africa. Uh, Frederick Muller inside the top four in the 395 is Paul Barnard. But it's Darren Reedy of Great Britain from Corey Skinner of the USA. Those guys are going to want to. Is Mexico going to sneak it at the line? Oh, South African rider hitting the deck. Let's hope he's okay. Moto 84, oh, Dave Stokes in this one for Great Britain inside the top five right now. Got a little bit of pressure coming from Tim Porter. The Dutch rider out in front. I think that's Visser in there in one, the 381. That belongs to Mark Bruno in there in two. Has Dave Stokes got anything left for that final straight? Can he steal a top four spot? This at the man out in front. Stokes has made his move. He's up there into four. Chasing down the USA rider. Klaus Muller didn't quite get him at the line, but Stokes in fourth. Race 85, 45, 49 year old men's cruisers on track the 406. Leading this one out, that has got to be the Mexican. Rodrigo Gomez in and out of that second turn. He's flying away with this one. No questions asked as of yet. The two GB riders picking up two and three. That's the 390 plate in there at the moment. Mark Cottrell in there in that two spot. Who's picking it up behind him? That's got to be Ian Caulfield on the 403. Down the final straight, Mexico GB. One, two, three. The Irish riders going through in four. That is Keith Redford. Race 86, more 45 foot on your old men's cruisers. That is the 409 plate leading it out. Juni Brahita out of the Netherlands. So Brahita's out there in the one spot. Who's picking up two and three? Looking like we've got a GB rider in the mix. That could be the 393 of Stuart Little. It is Little bringing it on through for the GB. Massive, the 408 in there as well. That is Jeroen van der Sanden. So the Dutchie sandwich at the minute down the final straight in one and three. 
bringing it on towards the line. It's going to be Brahita in one, Van der Sanden in three, and splitting them up is going to be Stuart Little in two. Race 87 into that first turn. France, one, two, three at the moment. Who's leaning it out? Your world number seven, Jan Gay, out there in the one spot at the moment. Who's picking up two and three? Looking like we've got Ringo and Bernard. So in and out of the second turn, France looking good at the moment. It is the 385 in there in the two spot. That is Xavier Ringo out of France. And he is followed by Patrick Bernard out of France as well. So the French party out front, looking like they're going to pick up the podium spots in moto number 87 with Emery Blee in four. Eight to 12 year old girls cruisers now on track. The Aussie on the inside, who's going to pick up the whole shot? Looking like the Aussies leading this one out on the 495. That is Dusty Schroeder bringing it on through. Who's there in that two spot? Looking like we've got the Argentine. That is Alfonsina Romano, your world number seven. So Australia and Argentina going at it at the moment. The 5-1-1 in the mix in three. That is Kira Vescuso heading into the final turn. The Dutchie in there as well, picking it up. That is Sophie Van Solen heading down the final straight, bringing it to the line. It's going to be Dusty Schroeder taking the moto win with Romano in two. Race 89 now on track, USA one and two at the moment. That is Madison Thompson out front looking good under pressure from the 5-1-3 of Sekoa Gomelik out of the US. So the USA looking good one and two at the moment. Japan in the in three, Yuri Nakamura on the 5-0-2. Check out the battle out front though. Gomelik chasing down the world. Number six of Thompson on the outside. Who's going to get it in the final turn? Thompson hasn't backed down. Throwing the elbows on her countrywoman down the final straight. Who's going to get it? Madison Thompson pushing to the line. Here comes Nakamura. Who got that over the stripe? I'm not quite sure. USA going through in three and four. Another American party heading into the first turn. Check out these ladies. In and out they go. One rider throws it underneath. Out front looking good. The 510 and the 509 going at it at the moment. That's looking like Toffelson and uh, Vescuso. So it is Tomlinson and Vescuso out front at the moment. The other two USA riders picking up three and four. That's the 507 of Chase Burian. Coming under pressure into the final turn. That looks like it could have been the South African rider, Riley Van Herden, making moves, working her way into that top four spot, but down to the line. That was the 509 of Harper Vescuso. Two riders down on the first straight. Isla Young, I think that was at the 500. Went down with an American rider, but it is a world number three. Eliza Newton lead in this one out of the 504 in there in that two spot. Livia. Kelly, Kelly then in there in that two spot under pressure from the Aussies to head down this third straight. That's looking like Paige Cole on the 491, working her way around the outside of the Swiss rider of Kelly in the final turn. It is going to be your world number three, Eliza Newton. She's going to pick up the moto win for the USA. Australia going through in that two spots with Paige Cole and Switzerland in there for three. Put your hands together, ladies and gents. Eileen Young finishing her lap. Twenty-five to twenty-nine-year-old men's cruiser now on track. Check him out heading for the first turn. That's going to be Facundo Rosas. Rosas under pressure in the first turn. Who leads it out then? That is the Netherlands out front. Mitchell Schmitz. Schmitz out there in the one spot at the moment. Here comes Germany in there in that two spot. Working his way through David Jackal. Working his way into that two spot. Then that's the French rider in three on the two seven five. Picking it up as they come back round. Alexander. Casanhera heading into the final turn. He's got the Argentine all over his back wheel. Rosas looking for a way into the top three. It's going to be Smits down to the line. He's going to take the win. Jackal for two. And it was Rosas in three. Right, here we go. Moto number 93, 25 to 29 men. Uh, Vincent Leon in this one. Nicholas Ducommune as well. Daniel Morris, Ashley Walker in the mix as well. Doing it for Great Britain. Chasing down the 287. And that is Nicholas du Du Commun from uh, Switzerland, but it's France out in front at the minute. We are looking at the 277 
followed by the 285. That is Julian Bridel and Brandon Pratt from South Africa in and out that final corner. Pratt making his move now. The other French rider trying to get in the mix. Is he going to hold on to it? Is he going to get passed by the Swiss rider at the line? Wow, that one was close. The penultimate moto of round number one on track right now. Paul Emery from France in the mix. But it is the uh, Dutchman leading it through. Got a feeling that's Kevin Elbers on that 283. Yep, he's the man out front. Looks like we've got Argentina's Hernan Santillian in there in two. The other French rider going through in three. That's going to be the four plate. And that one belongs to Thibaut Dupont. Dupont in that uh, third spot looking to get through. Kevin Elbers, the man in control. Argentina chasing him down the straight. He's not going to get close enough, but he's good enough to get second place. Right, moto number 95. This is the last moto of round number one. So everybody's had a lap so far. When it looks like Fernandez of Bolivia, who's in there, but the uh, Swiss rider going through, Benjamin Batillard in that lead position. Fernandez in three, the USA rider. That's going to be Dallin uh, Priesby. Pri Priesbury in the in that uh, fourth spot with the 276 going through in five. That's uh, Quarantine Leger. So Switzerland are going to take it. That's going to be Batalard going through. France in two. And uh, Bolivia with a strong third place finish. One, two. Here we go. All righty, they're not bad for a first rack of moto. Scott through there pretty quick. Don't forget, the 1-8 finals will be immediately after the last qualification moto. The 1-8 finals will run immediately after the last qualification moto. That's for the 15-16 boys and the 50 and over cruisers. So no break in between the motos and the 1-8 finals. Then we'll have a break after the 1-8 finals, all right? So... Please make sure your riders are in the pens for the 1-8 finals. If they've qualified through to ensure we are ready to go, we won't wait around for missing riders. Don't forget, use the hashtag power of the bike. Get your photos up on the big screen, possibly. If not, take a look at that hashtag. All great stuff going on all over Scotland at the UCI Cycling World Championships. We are here with the BMX Racing. Hashtag power of the bike. Let's see what you got.
Alrighty then. Yeah, we don't normally do big birthday shout outs, but Jocelyn Privet from the United States of America. She is 11 today, so happy birthday to Jocelyn Privet. Where is USA? They're all over, scattered about all over the place. All right, here we go, they're cruiser racing. Estonia leaves this one out. Lucas Lahal. He's already out of third place and he's looking good out in this one. We've got the Dutch Rider in there in two. Bart van der Waal. And in the mix with a box of tricks, the third place rider, Japan. And that is uh, Sawada Shuei. Shuei Sawada. Sawada San is there in three with the two GB riders. Battling it out at the back in four. The 162 of Rodri Jones. Lewis Barnes at the back of the pack at the moment with a bit of work to do, but the Estonian. Very good on a 20-inch. Here he is on the cruiser, Lucas Lahal. All right, Japan, Japan, Japan. He leads this one out, Sheehan Furia. Furia from Japan, but Switzerland underneath there on the inside, Gillian uh, Shatsi. Uh, but the Japanese riders taking it back again. USA on the outside with Ian Westerman. Wester oh, this is a great race, and only the second moto. Uh, some awesome stuff here in Glasgow. Already in the challenge category. <laughs> Look at the guy from America. Oh, on the inside, a Swiss rider goes down. As the rider from Britain moves on through, Arnie Esselmont takes it over with Caden Roberts also moving through. All right, carnage in the last turn from the Swiss rider, but he's out of the way now. Argentina lead this one out. Looks like it could be uh, Valoy Valio uh, from Argentina. Takes the early lead here. Great Britain's uh, Jensen Barr. Uh, Land with the world number seven of Gabe Simpson now. Taking over the second position. France in three. Nicolas Lacquay and uh, Belgium. All oh, my Belgian friends there. Timmy Sefar. He's there in four. Gate goes down behind me. We've got USA, France, Belgium, Great Britain, and Australia in this one, but only four riders on the track. Uh, the Australian rider was the unlucky one that went down in that first moto. Let's hope he's okay. We wish him all the best. That was Casey Saliba, uh, but France lead this one out currently with Louis Gautier. Gautier from France and uh, the front of the pack there, the GB rider into Alexander Stokes, USA in three on the 199 bike in Let's Ledesma. Ledesma's there with their Belgian rider in four of Sebi Moonen. Race number five, these are the cruisers, boys 15, 16 years old, and they've got 1 8 finals later on today. And the 1 8 finals will be immediately after the last moto qualification round as we see USA taking an early lead in this one. It's going to be Garrett Monte, Montney. Montney leads this one out from the GB rider on his outside. The 172 of Zach Green. Green now takes it over into the last corner. Great Britain, USA, and Great Britain in three as well with the rider coming. Oh, massive crash from the rider from the USA in the last uh, uh, straightaway there. As uh, we turn our attention to two Australians in the next one, Cameron Gatt, of course, and uh, Preston Murray. As we see the 129 leads this one out. That's Cameron Gatt. So Murray in there in two. Two French riders, three and four. Samuel Mebrook, Raphael Jean Guene uh, from France. And the rider in five is the rider from Holland on the 185 bike. That is uh, Bas Hutton. Race number seven, boys 15, 16 years old. Charlie Ruff, Lucre, Zanazar, Labras, and Harry Elwood from Great Britain in there as we take the first turn. Looks like the rider from Argentina, Jeremy Zalazar, is your early leader, the 146 smooth as silk. Leanne Lucre, Lucre from France, in there in two with the GB riders, three, four, and five, battling down the third straightaway for the qualifying positions. We've got the 167 and the 158. That is uh, Jacques Labrasse and Harry Elwood in the qualifying positions at the moment. 
But the win goes to the Argentinian rider, Jeremy Zalazar. Uh, the young rider from Japan on the inside, but now getting overtaken by the rider from the United States of America, Jada Mitchell. Mitchell leads this one out now from Japan in two of Haku Noboru. Nomura, Nomura from Japan is there in two with Great Britain three and four. And that's going to be Ben Weiss and Kaishu Flukes. Flukes in there on the cruiser this time into the last corner. Looks like it's going to be America, Japan and Great Britain in the qualifying position. Right, Moto9 hitting the track. These are the 15 year old cruiser riders. Let's have a look as they head down towards the first turn. Flynn Drellinkor getting in the mix. Is he going to work his way through? He's in a third place spot now. He's looking for that second aboard that Supercross, but he's chasing down the rider out front from Argentina. Ruben Santiago Garcia. Oh, Drellinkor dives underneath, steals away that lead. So Great Britain out in front. The Argentinian coming back at him. 207. RJ Hancock out of the United States. He's in there in that third spot. Alfie Thompson in four. Harry Pritchard going through as well. Drelling calls. Crossing the strike first. Race 10. Uh, Granada Sanchez, Colombia. Louis Tay Edwards in this one as well. Tristan van der Sand and CJ Carriasco. Uh, Mark Visser and Tino Fornage from France. The French rider in there in two. Great Britain going through in three. That'll be Louis Tay Edwards looking good at the moment, but it is the South American contingent, the Colombian rider, Isaac Granada Sanchez, who is the man leading it in and out of that final turn. Netherlands rider Mark Visser getting in there as well. So Sanchez is going to get it. Louis Tay Edwards looking for a strong finish. Not sure if he got it though. Moto 11 Sten Tristan Raid out of Estonia. Seen lots of this kid on the European scene. He's got Thomas Doran to deal with. He's out there in front of him on that 105. Cooper Richardson, Sam Perry Ogden in there as well. Uh, Grablischler from uh, Germany. He's in the mix inside the top five. But it is out in front from New Zealand. Cooper Richardson. Got our New Zealand fans in the house. They've come a long way for this one. And Cooper is a guy who's keeping them happy right now. Great Britain inside the top four. Sten Tristan Raid in three. Moto 12, Sebastian Ordonez Lopez out of Bolivia. Looks like the man in control as they come out of turn number one. Colombia are two and three though, right behind him. Amea and Gonzalez chasing him down. Gonzalez got a second spot in that first moto, so he's sitting pretty on low points. Ireland in there in five. That's going to be Brandon Mallon. So he's going to follow up his fourth place finish in moto one, possibly with the same in moto two unless he chases the Colombian down the straight. Or Donez Lopez of Bolivia, he's going to get it. Ireland are going to steal that third spot, driving the fans mad. Moto number 13, France leading it out. Great Britain in the two, three, and four. The one, seven, four in, the, in that fourth spot. That's going to be Joey Makepeace. He's trying to dive under his compatriot in there in three. The 150 is the man in control, Jules Harbour. 168 Elliot Brook of Great Britain in and out the final corner. He's looking good in that second position. So it's France taking the win. Great Britain going two, three, and four with Ireland in five. Moto number 14 still on the 15 year old cruisers. USA's Bradley O'Neill. Sorry, Brady O'Neill is the man in control. Max Richardson of New Zealand in the inside the top four. The South African of Deegan McCallum working his way into two. The French rider in three on the single digit. That's going to be the six of Lucas Robert. So he's holding on as the New Zealander is all over the back of him. Looks like a Brady O'Neill of the USA. Is he going to hold it to the line? Yes, he is. South Africa in there for two. Race number 15, uh, Marolanda Coombs at Gunn. He took a winning moto number one. Hargadorn in there as well. Jacquemin and uh, Matt Dupril, who also had a second spot, doing it for France, the 139. Marilyn, Marolanda, it is from Colombia. In uh, that two spot, chasing down Matt Dupril. Now, where is Team USA's? Uh, Colby Gunn, he's there inside the top four. So he's probably going to have five points. That's a good place to be going into moto number three. Dupriel's going to get it. Colombia, they're going to get that second spot. And coming through in four for Great Britain, that's going to be Ashton Coombs. Race number 16, Max the best in this one. Jose Alejandro Babano 
going through for Colombia. Max Gunninger, Hunter Boschen, Declan McGee and Jesse Elzenga from the Netherlands who's there in that second position being chased down by one of the Australians. So he's in the middle of an Aussie sandwich and the man out front is the three. And that belongs to Declan McGee. McGee in control. Elzenger in there in two. Looks like Hunter Boschen's going to get that third spot. Neil, motor number 17. Yeah, 50 and over cruisers on track. Looks like Tim Drew was one of the early leaders there. In and out of this first corner. Looks like it's Madron now. Madron uh, taking over. Look at Madron. He's out in front there. Tim Drew in the two. Norway in three. That's going to be Paul Bernard, of course. Our good friend there from Norway in the third position. He's at a fourth place already today. Drew's at a third, Madron's at a sixth, so a first place for Madron is what he needs to try and get through into the 1-8 finals. Australia now moving on to four. That's going to be Jason Theobald, but Madron shot out of a cannon. He's going to take a moto win in race number 17. Adams Pitchard, uh, La Dingerbroek from uh, Holland, Alan Hill, Rhodes, Reynolds and Archibald. Looks like Hilly uh, is the early leader there. And uh, Archibald tucking in behind into uh, the European number three and four, leading this moto out. Who's that in there in three? It's going to be the rider from Chile, Christian Reynolds. Reynolds for Chile in there, but Hilly and Archibald battling down the third straightaway. Save it for the next round, guys. France on there in the bubble. Sebastian Pichard, he's had a second place already and a force not going to do him any hard. And then we got Lard Diggerbrocke uh, from Holland. He's there in five. Shuffled motos at the World Championships. Cruisers, men out on track. We got uh, Holland leading this one out with Bob van Westerop. He's the world number eight, ladies and gentlemen, from last year in Nantes, in France. Nico Ooms in there in two. We're going to see Brent Featherstone there in three for Great Britain. And the rider from Ireland, Stephen McClue. He's there in four, coming down the third straight. Looking good there on the cruiser. And the rider from Great Britain just tucking in behind. It's going to be Billy Stuppel in five. Uh, it's not going to be enough to get him through to the next round as Van Westerop takes a win in race number 19. All righty then, race number 20 on track. Stefan Beaumont from France is the early leader there on the 4-3-5 fight. And the 450 from Great Britain comes through in two. That's John Bentley. Uh, we got the rider from Ireland in there as well. Steve Bell on the cruiser there doing well. The rider from uh, Lisbon out there in third place and looking good at the moment. Here comes a Britain round around the outside though. That could be uh, Mark Wally, I think. He's making his way through and uh, John Bentley's gonna push to the line, try and take a Wodo win here. He's at a fourth and a second. Not too bad for the old boys. All right, one of the favorites here because he is the world number one. He is the world challenge champion from last year, ladies and gentlemen. And he rides a pure bicycle. The rider from New Zealand, Dion Neweth. He is the world champion. He leads this one out in the 50 and over cruisers. France in there in two uh, with the 441 of uh, Frank Sabria. Sabria. And who's that in the pink uh, coming on through there in third place? That's not Gary Carver, is it? It's David Lindsay. Lindsay in a good position. Carver just struggling back in five. That's two fifths of him. Bit of work to do in the next one. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Pink Panther. Yeah, Jean Renault de Gusselin. He's there, the Pink Panther. Leading this one out. Right in really good style there from the Pink Panther. Uh, the 438 on the bike. He's already won one moto today, jumping his way through that third straightaway into the 454 of Brett Archibald. Looking good with the rider from uh, Belgium there. That's Walter de Vischer, the fisherman. He's there in three. And the rider from Great Britain in four. Is that Craig Nelson? I think it is Craig Nelson in four. Men's 15 over race 23. These are the second qualification motos on track at the moment. The 442 of uh, Silvio Rizzo. Rizzo from France, closely followed by the rider from New Zealand, Paul Luttrell. Yeah, he won the world title, I think, out in uh, Baku in Azerbaijan in 2018. I'll never forget his daughter in the grandstands shouting out to me, that's my dad, Lee. <laughs> and he took the win, I think. Certainly made the final, that's for sure. But he's there in a good qualifying position. Luttrell uh, is there in three.
a second, I beg your pardon. <coughs> okay, we got the world number three and the world number six in this one. Uh, we got Federica Manager and Christophe uh, Canetrot uh, uh, follow France and in France in third, uh, troisième place position uh, for the French rider is uh, the rider number three of the world, Frederic Manager, and it's going to be the world number two, Nicolas Tadi. So three world finalists in this moto and three world finalists going to be in the top three positions. And the rider from Belgium is going to take the fourth. That's our good friend Tony Straub. Right, taking a look at motor number 25 now on track. These are the 50 plus cruiser guys. Greg Matthias, Paul Bradshaw, Rob McCauley, Mitch Bingham, Stephen Fortune in this one. It looks like the USA are leading it out. I think that is Mitch Bingham out there in the lead. We've got Oliver Mushworth in there as well. Igor Vasquez and Brian Donald out of Canada. It's the Swiss rider in there in that second spot. Vasquez looking good, the 436. That is uh, Mouchbouet from uh, France in the in three. Great Britain inside the top four, but it looks like Bingham's going to take it across the line and take the winning moto number 25. Moto 26, uh, Cugine, uh, Dominic, Do try that again, Rich. Domingos Lamoglia in there in that third spot in uh, the Brazil jersey. He's there in third place right now. Great Britain inside the top four. Graham Watts getting in there. Kevin Sykes as well. Who's in that second spot? The old five leading it out. That is Swan Delmas. Rider from the Netherlands, Wilco Kozic. In there in six. But it looks like he's going to go France. One, two, and three. Lamoglia just hanging on for four. For Brazil. Eight to 12 year old cruisers. Oh, we've got a whole host of jerseys in this one. One rider's hit the deck. I've got a feeling it was Anderson Ritchie from Australia. Zimbabwe's uh, Kai Wilmans in there in three at the moment. Who's in there in four? That looks like Jake McKenna. So McKenna in a good position now. Got pressure coming though from the uh, Colombian rider, uh, Maximiliano Rueda, right there in five, looking for a way through on the inside. So McKenna's gonna have to be smart in the turn. Oh, he's left the door open and the Colombians dived underneath. Philman's in that spot. Eli Lamb of Great Britain, he's going to go through. Take the win. McKenna gets the five. And the rider who went down, let's have a look. It was the 22, Anderson Ritchie. He's all right, I think. He'll be back for the next one. Race 28, uh, eight to 12 year old cruisers, Hadley Hardy, Carter Dorman, Nathaniel Kohler on the inside for Switzerland, looking for a whole shot, but he's got Suarez of Colombia to deal with. Luke Petroni, David Lapka in there as well, and Samuel Valencia Vargas all in the mix. Kohler though, in there in two, chasing down the 32, and that is Samuel Valencia Vargas from uh, Colombia to so the Colombian. The fans are in the stands with the flag. They're gonna go wild as their rider comes past. Czech Republic moving up into two. That's going to be David Lapka. Nathaniel Kohler in three. The Australian going through in four. I've got a feeling it's Carter Dorman on that 18. It's not. It's the, uh, the other Australian rider, I think. Well, they're all looking good as they go across the line. And we move on to Moto 29. Australia and Ireland going one and two in this one. The 12. And the 12 is Jaden Bradbrook. I got to watch this young man ride at a local track uh, earlier in the week and he was looking very, very good. He's looking to make another world final today. The 56 that's in there, that belongs to Sem Van Dyken. Cass Palmers of the Netherlands also in the mix as well. And Great Britain, they've got Ted Young in there. And Nakasiko of Japan, where is he? He's inside the top four. Bradbrook gets it. Ireland, Freddie Simmons in two. Moto 30, Haruto Iramura from Japan. 
in there in that second spot, chasing down the 70 of Jackson Kopetsky out of the USA. Australia making moves now. We've got Hudson Daly and uh, Memphis Blake in there as well. One of them's inside the top three, and it is the 16 of Hudson Daly. The 45 in there in four. That is Iwamura, the Japanese rider. But Team USA hanging on Jackson Kopetsky. He's going to get it. Belgium's Ben Van Avant in there in two. Australia's Hudson Daly in three. Moving on, Moto number 31. Team USA are looking good in this one. They've got one, two, three, four, five riders. One of them's almost come to a complete halt in the turn. It's the 72 and the six. 72, Landon Donnelly. The six is Ryder Murky. He's in there as well. And I think Mason Monagro is also in the mix as well on that 73 plate. 74. That is uh, Michael Hoffman, so Team USA, one, two, three, and four in this one. Dylan Sazazi trying to get in from five. The Dutch rider in there in six, but it's all about Team USA, and New Zealand might have just nicked the three. All action, Moto number 32. Let's have a look what's gone on. The 40 went down. That was Sam Dolan. Let's hope he's all right. And I've got a feeling another British rider went down with him. That'll have been the 35 of Freddie Walwork. One of my local guys. So 42 in there. That's going to be Eli Lamb. The eight play. That is uh, Jacob Thyssen of the USA. He's in there in three. So it's Colombia leading it out. Maria Lacature. Eli gets the two, USA for three and four, Australia going through in five. That was Braxton Callaghan. So the 24, Dylan Seisha, sorry Dylan, Dylan Seisha, I'll get that one right next time. Freddie Walwork rolling through as well. Good lad, Freddie, bring it down that final straight, buddy. We are just looking out for our fallen rider. Sam Dolan picking himself up. Come on, Great Britain, make some noise for Sam. then race 33 on track australia in the mix there with three riders but look at the rider from america lead this one out jackson howell looking good at the front of the pack but it's our good friend from holland uh, sam meyer he's in there in uh, two a new zealand rider around the outside rico ryan in a top three spot these guys are pretty close here at the third straight as we see the rider from america jackson looking good just cutting off meyer from holland but the new zealand rider of ryan he's going to go all the way around the outside in the last turn is he no he's not he's gone way too high and that lets the uh, rider from spain come through that's uh, robin matern alonso of course in a top four position race 34 on track south africa united states great britain check in this one and Australia also in the mix, but we can see the rider from Czechy leading this one out, the 34 plate. Wow, that's Adam Pederick. See him on the 20 inch quite a lot. Here he is on the cruiser in the World Championships and the Challenge classes. And we're here with the cruiser boys, eight to 12 years old, quarterfinals for these guys. Japan coming on through into two. Tower Yumezawa, uh, he is there in the second position. USA in three, make some noise for your riders. Epson Wilk is in the third position. South Africa going to take four with uh, Matthew Fulton. Great Britain, France, Colombia, Italy, and uh, looks like the early leader is going to be the rider from France. It's going to be the uh, 91 bike of uh, Tom Buffet. Buffet from France it leads this one out from the rider into uh, Artes Roti. Roti from France also, and we see the rider in three. There is the rider from Italy, and that is uh, William Gaul. He is the world number two from last year in the challenge class on cruiser out in Nantes. Here uh, and the the number two spot. 
maybe this year he wants to go one better and be the World Challenge Champion as he pushes through to second on the line in race 35. Race 36 on track, Emil Balku, Satishi Ishikawa, the world number seven in this one. In second place, all handlebars and helmet there. Nobody likes to see that. Wesley Spicer, uh, Spiker, I guess, is from the United States of America. In there in four at the moment, we've got a French rider in three. Which one is it? It's going to be the 93 of uh, Louis-Jean Gwenet. Gwenet from France. But look at the lead the other French rider has got now. He has absolutely flown from the cannon there. And that is Amil Belku. Race 37 on track. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships. And we are here with the BMX Racing and uh, plate number 77 of Mika Maloney uh, from uh, Australia. Could be Mika, of course. Let's check them out. In two is going to be the long hair, familiar long hair of the rider from Belgium, of course. It's uh, Ethan Klaas. Klaas is there for two. We've got a bit of rider there in three. Which rider is it in three? I guess it's, uh, is it Harry Schofield? I reckon it possibly could be. I'm not sure if I'm honest with you. As uh, they come down, United States takes four with Carter Croy. Race 38 on track, Mika Magre, uh, Theo Locke in this one. Magre is there in two, but the New Zealand rider of uh, Tarawai or TJ Rick Hanna Gray. Uh, is in there in the lead, but the 94 pushing on through of Roman uh, Tony Lumbeck. Uh, he's there now taking over the premier position for La France. Uh, Viva La France, make some noise for your riders. Race 39, Timon Kola is your early leader here. Into that first turn, Colombia tucking into two there. Isaac Geraldo Valdez. Vout is in a strong position, the little the Cumberland, Colombian, the 109 of the Zagaro, Watanabe, Watanabe from Japan there in uh, two, as we see the rider in three, pushing through from Canada. As Damio Ashembo, Ashembo uh, from uh, Canada in a qualifying position at the moment, but no, the French rider has gone all the way around the outside. Federino Reno, Reno is going to take the final spot in the top four. Race 40 on track, Thomas, Matias uh, Estevaz, uh, Cole, Jorge, Castellini, and uh, Vicario from the United States in there. But we see uh, Colombia and France battling out for the first two positions. Italy there in three, USA in four, Japan in there in five at the moment. The Japanese rider, Itsukui uh, Hori, he's going to be fighting to the line. He's already out of fourth place. He needs another one, and he's going to make it into the fourth place, ladies and gentlemen. That was race number 40. Race 41 on track. Mel Letokunu, Olivier Melasilek, Lennox Palmer, Yokichi, and Lihir from Lehu. Is that from the uh, United States? Where is he? He's in about five at the moment because the 89 plate of uh, Letunu, uh, he is taking the early lead in this one. Great Britain there in two, Stanley Palmer. Looking good. Japan in three there, coming on through. And that's a Yokichi uh, from Japan, the triple one on his plate. Race 42 on track now. Nate Robinson from Australia inside the top four. Is he going to turn number one? There's uh, three American riders, Vorta, uh, Thiessen, Steibel in there as well. We've got Bram Kuken from the Netherlands and Samuel Ricardo Vivas Velasco uh, from Colombia, I think it is. Yep, he's in there in about five, I think, at the moment, putting in a little bit of work, but it's the five plate. Lucas Dyson out of the USA, leading him in and out of that final turn. It's USA 1, 2, and 3. Nate Robinson of Australia passing the Aussie fans going down that straight. He's going to get that fourth spot with the Netherlands in five. On to the uh, young ladies, I think it is now. Tatum Pierce for the USA in this one. And now uh, she's back there in six with some work to do. But out front, Elsa Rendell Todd. This young lady knows how to uh, get it done at world championship level. And she's showing everybody the way right now. The uh, 515 Alma Pinero of uh, Argentina. She's in there into the Japanese rider. Mana Sawada going through in three. Colombia rounding out the top forward of Viera Perez. 
Elsa Rendell top taking the win in Moto number 43. Moto 44. Uh, <coughs> out front for all the United States. Oops, some of these tyres just gone. That's the uh, seven. That belongs to Alexis Alden. Alexis Alden, the rider in control right now. Uh, Palacios of Colombia in there in two. The French rider going through. I've got a feeling that's Louise Boisson in there in three on that 525. I've seen a battle with uh, Freya Chalice on the 20 inch at European Cup level as well. So expect a battle when she changes bikes. But it is uh, Alexis Alden taking the win in moto number 44. Moto 45, Lily McCoy in this one for Great Britain. Chelsea Wilson, Erin, Jay Jackson in the mix. Done big things with her for this race. Holly Ann Jackson going through as well for Australia. Ombre Piton, Alanda Burian. And we've got Escobar from Ecuador in there as well. And uh, Larissa Cabral Garcia also in there, the 539. And that is uh, Larissa out in front. She's doing it for Spain. Australia inside the top four. Holly Ann Jackson. Rider in there, I think he's out of uh, France, I think. Moto number 46, uh, Leah Farias of uh, the United States. Where is she? Got a feeling she's in there at the moment. Let's have a look as they come past us. The 542 is uh, Avery Jones, also from the US. Lucy Grab going through for Ireland. Leone Bergel uh, out of France. She's uh, on that sixth plate and she's out in front. Talia Nelson from New Zealand. Where is she? She's in there in that third position. Looking for the two. Diving down low. Drag racing down the final straight. Looks like the French rider is going to get it. USA in two. New Zealand in three. Moto number 47. Yuyuka Nishimura of Japan. In this one, she's there in second position, chasing down the Belgian rider. Got a feeling that's Laurie Wolves on the 519. Yes, it is. She's out in front, but Cody Harmer of Great Britain in three. The 528, Lilou Parot of France in there in four. So Cody Harmer took a win in moto number one, a third in moto number two. That's to put her in a strong position when we move into the next round. 17 to 24, Cruiser Harvey Fryer, Liam Cornelius in this one. And it looks like the 251 out in front is Bo van Bergsteden. We know this kid's an absolute flyer and he's making it show right now, but he's got company. Maxime de Horn out of uh, France, who's in that, in that second spot, the 254, Luke van Haren in there in that fourth position. And Dallas Gardner in there in three. Oh, nearly coming to a dead halt down that final straight. Yeah, check it out, race 49 on track cruiser, 17 to 24 quarterfinals for these guys at the moment. As uh, we look to the early front there, it's the 234. And that is, of course, our good friend, Alex Brooks. Brooks, he leads this one out. We got uh, French rider there in two. Uh, it's gonna be uh, Cillian Adeno, as we see. Uh, is that Connor Hedges in there in three? I think it is, and Luca Mansi in there battling together. Two good friends on track, off track. As they come down the last straightaway, it's going to be Brooksy taking the win there. And that is, he, he's got a fill and a first. So good results for Brooksy so far today. Race number 50, Cruiser men 17 to 24 on track. Super fast guys out there. USA leads this one out with Benny Serini. Uh, Serini is out there. Who's that big guy from Great Britain in there in two? I'm going to say Oscar Simpson. I'm not really sure if I'm honest with you. It is Simpson. Then we see Switzerland coming on through with Romain Dubois. Dubois from France, uh, from Suisse. He's uh, jumping the triple. Oh, look at this down the last straightaway, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they're all coming together. What a race. Wow. I'm not even sure who got that one. <laughs> Love it. It's only the second moto. These World Championships are going to be amazing with the challenge classes. World number five in this one on the outside. There is the world number six, though. That is Thomas uh, Fougalanche. Fougalanche, Le Full of France. Uh, un, deux, trois, French riders. Three, four French riders uh, at the front there. We see the fifth place, uh, Merlin Guigo from France. Uh, Fachelou from France. Giro and uh, is that... Uh, Courdray, also from France, going through four French riders in the top four. 
Okay, we're looking at the rider from Netherlands in this one. It's going to be uh, Ricardo de B. He's in there in two and closely followed by his compadre. It's the 2-5-3 of uh, Ingmar Ankerman. Ankerman is there, but the rider leading this one out is the lone rider from France, Hugo Senecal. Senecal is the well number four as we see the 2-3-8 coming on through from Great Britain. Matt McHugh, BMX widow photography in the mix in fourth place. He's at an eighth. He's at a fourth. He's got a bit of work to do in the last one, but he's making his way towards that quarterfinal. Cruiser 1724 still on track. We've got the other Brooksy in this one. That's Ryan Brooks. And he's in about four or five at the moment. Uh, got the little uh, Belgium in front of him there, Witsy Baudet. Uh, but we can see the rider from France leading this one out on the 223 bike. That is uh, Leo Le Pair. Le Pair from France with the United States of America in there in two. Not sure which one that is. Could be Ravel, is it? And uh, with no numbers on the side plate. Uh, down the last straightaway. That's a tough job for us commentators. Race 54 hits the start hill. Riders ready. Who's got the speed to take the lead? Let's have a look. It looks like the rider for USA, Aaron Blee. Blee was there for a moment, but the French rider of Charles Cave. Cave takes it over now on the 211 bike. The 211 bike actually was Tate Valley from Canada. No. Uh, oh, big crash. Big crash in the second turn. A lot of riders going down. Got my numbers mixed up in this one, but Aaron Belie definitely from the United States sees this one out. France in there from two with Charles Cave. And then we see the rider on the Supercross coming on through. That was uh, Dylan Willis, was it? And uh, Zach Rendell Todd. These three guys have picked themselves up. Axel Quaregen from Belgium. All going across the line safely in the end. Race 55, here he is, the ladies' man. is my main man, Rob Averschuren. He's the well number eight from Belgium, and he's looking good. He's at a third already, and this time he leads it out. He's looking good at the front of the pack. A consistent world and European finalist is Rob Averschuren, as we see the runner from France tucking in behind. That's for Flavio Robles. Robles is there with the other French rider coming on through on the 218 bike. And the 218 is Emilio Mentre. Mentre from France, but still, the rider from the BMX Emotion team in Belgium, my good friend Robert Verschuren. He takes a moto win in race number 55. 70 to 29 cruisers. Mindy Hernandez, uh, Gal Goss, Lacoste, Strasset, and Van der Sanden. It's going to be the world number one leading this one out. It's going to be uh, Lucy Lacoste. Uh, Lacoste for La France in the primary position here at the Glasgow uh, BMX Racing World Challenge Class for the cruisers. We see Holland and France in there in two and three with Van der Sanden and the 557 of Mindy Hernandez from France. USA in four with uh, William Galgas and the young lady from Canada, Audrian Trassa in five. More cruiser action, 17 to 29. Female, these are uh, five riders, Belgium, France, Great Britain, Sweden and France. Let's have a look who's coming out of that first turn first. Looks like Sweden are in the second spot. That'll be uh, Helena Sun chasing down the six of Camille Lieber, Imber. Uh, both these girls, world finalists in the past, absolutely flying. Belgium in there in three, uh, Tessa Van Saan. And uh, the French rider going through in four is the 562, and that belongs to Candy Plancon. Kaelin Davis of Great Britain pushing hard as well. She's there in five. Looks like her, uh, Camille Limba is going to take the win with the Swiss rider Helena Sun in there in two. Race 58, more Lady Cruisers. We've got Betty Lawrence in this one for Great Britain, trying to work her way into that top four spot. Jade Bouthion, uh, Femke Verelst, uh, Cara Wilde and Hayley Seeley all in this one. Belgium out in front, though. That is Femke Verelst. Seeley, I think it is, in there in two, doing it for the USA. She had a third in moto number one, so she's going to be looking for a good result this time around. Australia's Cara Wilde in there in three, so she's uh, super consistent right now. As they go in and out of the turn, Betty Lawrence shopping for a position. Can she work away from fourth to third and help herself out? Looks like she's going to get picked off by the French rider. USA might have just took it to the stripe. 
Race 59, Alaya Montoya of the USA. But it looks like uh, the right out front, I think, is Olivia Firth from Great Britain. Looking super fly in that brand new wrapped helmet. Australia's Danica Pilmer in there in two. USA going through in three. That is going to be the 5-8-8. Uh, eight, eight. That belongs to uh, Hannah Haggerty. Judy Musgrove going through and uh, Elia Montoya as well. But it's a battle down the final straight. Great Britain and Australia. Who's going to get it over the line? Will Olivia Firth hang on? I think she did. Race 60, uh, Flore Guinon in this one. Uh, Lou Pilard. Christina Madarasova. Molly Nice, Hannah Hedges and Jennifer Martin. Jennifer in there in that second spot doing it for the Netherlands. British girls pushing hard. Hannah Hedges in there in six. Looks like the four plate of Christina Madarasova of Slovakia. She won moto number one. Looks like she's going to get moto number two. Unless Jennifer Martin can get close to her down that final straight. So she's sitting pretty on two points. Going into round number three. Race 61, more 17 to 29. Crews of women. Mia Christiansen, Emily Frost, Mattiel Hugo, Gemma Lee Thomas out of Australia. She's in there in three right now. Hannah Drew of Great Britain getting stuck in as well with Josie McFall. But it's Christiansen battling away with uh, the 560 Mathilde Hugo out of France. Denmark and France into the final turn. Oh, elbows are flying. That's allowing the Australian Gemma Lee Thomas to get that little bit closer. France, Denmark, Australia. One, two, and three. Great Britain bringing up the rest of it. Photo number 62, 17 to 29. Cruiser women. We continue. Isabel Beams, Abby Pike, Jessica Taylor, Amy Willets. All in this one. Abby Pike is the rider out in front. Laureen Elka Hansen doing it for Denmark. She's there in that fourth spot. But Abby, the rider, in control. 568 and 567. That's Amy Willis, Jessica Taylor. The Australian rider, Isabel Beams, trying to get in there. She's just outside the top four, sitting there in fifth. But Abby Pike is going to take it. Just Amy Willis in there as well. Photo 63, 17 to 29. Cruiser women. Zoe Flettner, we've got Charlotte Jackson of Great Britain in this one. She's working her way into a top three spot and looking very good right now. But she's got pressure from Taylor Lee Moen, who's right on her as well. Savannah Carver, Lily Chiziwa in this one. Tony James in the mix. She's there in two in the familiar black and white of New Zealand. Chasing down Lily Chiziwa. Taylor is right next to Charlotte as they go into the final turn. Jackson holding on to it. Look at the battle for the win, though, out front. Tony James is going to get it. Lily Chiziwa for two. Charlotte Jackson with a strong third place in moto number 63. Moto 64, Michael Bazon. Jean Charles Bellier in this one. Oh, you're looking at the 3 3 2 of Felipe Perez of Chile out there in front, loving that Chilean jersey. Lewis Allison in the mix, doing it for Great Britain. Elbows flying. The German rider, Grabischler, getting involved in it all. 3-3-5, three, three, that is Jeffrey Rojas Morales from Colombia. He's inside the top four. The German going for the move down the final straight. Well, they're all chasing Felipe Perez to the line. Oh, USA rider exits the wrong side. Chris Carriazaro off track on the final straight. All right, race 65 on track at the moment. Uh, looks like the rider for USA is picking himself up. John Lillingston leads this one out from the French rider in two. And it's going to be Pierre Gwenhenhoek. Uh, he's there in the second position. We rider from the United States in three. That's Jeffrey Jones. And our friend there from uh, Holland, the Netherlands, is Arjen van der Veel. Van der Veel, what a name that is for BMX racing as they come down the last straightaway all safely through and the american has picked himself back up so that's good to see race 66 clickety clicks on track 40 to 44 cruisers michael jansen uh, marshall perot rune arndel noel ruggles 
Chris Gway, Sim Johnston from Great Britain in this one. He's in about four at the moment, but it looks like France are leading this one out with uh, Michel Perrault, Perrault from France, uh, closely footed by the rider from Denmark, Rooney Arndel. Arndel is in there with the Dutch rider coming on through in three, Michael Janssen. Janssen in a great position, as so is the Great Britain rider, who's already had one fourth place. Sim Johnston in a qualifying position to go through to the quarterfinals. Wow, he was fast, super fast rider there uh, from France. Not going to guess who it is, but as he comes towards me, it's a 3.42 of Anthony Paul. Anthony Paul, Quinton Dela Cluz, he's there in two at the moment. A big family of BMXs, Dela Cluz, as we see the rider from Great Britain pushing through in three on the inside there. That's the 345 of Fraser Watson. Watson from Scotland, of course. Bonnie Scotland, he's uh, probably home track, is it, Fraser? I'm not sure, but he's doing well there in third position. Shuts it down. Italy come home in four with Marco Gould. Alrighty then, it's pretty close at the front of the pack here with New Zealand taking it over. That's going to be Richard Stratford. He's at a sixth place, so this Moto win, if he can get it, is going to do him the world of good as Gertz Jonkers, the world number two, tries to go inside him, but he doesn't make it stick. The 3-5-7 round the outside of Kingsley Mears. Mears is looking good in three at the moment with Canada in four. Hugo Donne, Donne from Canada, is going to make it through in a qualifying position and uh, those guys are looking good to make it through to the quarters. Yes, our good friend, uh, rider Brian Elizabeth from Aruba. Aruba, Aruba, Aruba. It's uh, Elizabeth out there. Uh, we love this guy, he's super cool. And uh, he's in about three at the moment. Let's have a look at his film and results. He's out of third place already. So looking good to qualify through as Mexico. Uh, Rapato Baez Bustamante. He is in at a second place. And now a first place as uh, Neil turns on the charm with his uh, España accent uh, for Mexico. I don't know who, who else is in that one. <laughs> All right then, here we go. Colombia and France in this one. Two Colombians, but the French rider of the 338 takes it over. That's Johan Moran, Moran from France. At the front of the pack, another French rider pushing through underneath the Colombian. It's going to be uh, Jocelyn Ruiz, the world number seven. Here comes Colombia in three and four, though. The 333 of uh, Louis Felipe Molina and uh, Herrera Estevez in the top four position. Ireland back in five with our good friend Joey O'Neill. With a little bit of work to do, he's at a fourth, at a fifth now. It'll all be counting down on that last qualification moto. Salazar from Argentina. He's at a second place already, and the rider from the United States is at a fifth. That's Clint Daly. Daly's in there in two, France in three and four. Great Britain five and six at the moment. USA on the inside, in the inside of the Argentinian. He's going to make it stick in that last corner. It's going to be Clint Daly coming out of it with a fifth place and a first. That's going to do him the world of good, but the Argentinian Salazar just nicks it on the line. Race 72, right it down on the first straightaway. That's the, uh, the uh, American ladies cruiser 40 and overs on track. Sarah Strayer, I think that might have been that went down as a rider from Germany, leads this one out. It's uh, Christian Weisner. Weisner at the front of the pack. We see Australia in there in two with Sandra Cameron. Cameron's in there. Uh, we're looking for the third place rider from France. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Did that come out? Uh, six, but I've got 610, it can't be. Must be Florence Julia, <laughs> the Swiss rider. <laughs> no, Swiss, oh, there you go, there's my one. Messed it up. Oh, USA, back up on the bike, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together one more time for the rider from USA, Sarah Strayer. Right, moving on, motor number 73, 40 plus cruiser ladies. And on the inside for Great Britain, charging towards turn number one, it is Anita Wong. 
followed by her good friend Manda Hempstock going in and out of the turns of the Brit girls at two and three of the minute. The 6-1-4 leading it out. That's Cecile Hebrard. Where is Nikki Spears? She's back there in about five and pushing hard for a top four position. Nikki always knows how to turn it on at the World Championships and she's giving it her best right now. So France out in front. Great Britain, two, three and four. Anita, Magic, Manda, Nikki. That's the order they're in. But they've got to chase down that French rider right there to the line. That was Moto number 73, Moto 74. Oh, 40 plus cruiser ladies taking to the skies. Lee Pendleton of Great Britain in there in two. Who's leading it out? We are looking at the 619. The 619 belongs to Astrid de la Cruz. Don Jabour in there as well. We've got uh, Annalise Affer. Alpha Inc. of the Netherlands. She's in there in three. 650 going through in four is uh, Heidi Kramer from uh, the USA. Dawn Chabot also of the USA in there on that 643. But it looks like uh, De La Cluse going through. Leah Pendleton's going to get the two. And uh, Affer Inc. in there in three. Moto 75. Cruiser women 40 plus. Uh, Sorry, yeah, it's Misty Privet, Leah McClintock, Angie Luss, Jennifer Pitts, Bianca Mayer, and Vanessa Cormacel of France. But out in front, it is the German rider. Sorry, I went one, one more tour too far. Leah Pearson in there in that second spot. Marion Dreschel Poser in there in uh, the lead, doing it for Germany. Team USA in there in three. Not quite sure which rider it was, but she's pushing to the line. Now we're on Moto 76. France, Vanessa, Vanessa Cormarcel is the rider out front in Moto 76. She's got a posse of USA riders chasing her down. The 652 and the 646. That's Misty Privet and Angie Lust. They're two and three at the minute. Canada, we've got Bianca Mayer and Jennifer Bits in there as well. But Cor Marcel of France out there and in control. Battle going on for the three between Lust and uh, Bits. The 655. That belongs to Liam McClintock out of uh, Ireland. And the other Canadian rider going through as well. Moto 77, uh, Delphine Lassier. Oh! You, uh, sorry, Australia, Letitia Weatherhead. Oh, my word. Took a big old tumble there. She's been looked after. It's the French rider, Latier out in front. Who's got that second position? That looks like Annie Chiziwa from Great Britain, the 608. That is uh, Melanie Lassard out of uh, Canada. The Canadians all over this one. Lean McPhee in there as well. For well, France are taking it to the line. Annie Chiziwa. Coach Chizzy in there in that second spot and a Canadian battle for three. All right, why we've got the op... Don't forget, on your social media, hashtag it, power of the bike. So any post that you do for uh, the US UCI Cycling World Championships, BMX racing, hashtag it power of the bike. And if you could do as uh,
All right, if you want to uh, check out the big screen, you can see that QR code on there. That's for a game called Ping. It's a racing game. Get your phones out, scan the QR code, and get involved in a little race just while we look after our downed rider. So we've got Adam, Chris Stapp's in there, Daniel. Uh, who else have we got in there? Smiley's in the mix, Ben's in the mix. So are you guys, you've got 30 riders who can race. Let's see who's going to win this moto of ping up on the big screen. Three, two, one. Let's go, people. It is race time. And I can see Adam in the middle. He's wearing that very fetching purple looking jersey. Looks like Swales is going down one side. Uh, but you know that there's obstacles as they get down that point. You can't just scream down one side of the track and take the win. Adam's still looking good. Lucy in there as well. Now, who's that going down the outside? Swale's still trying to get in the mix. We've got uh, Adam looking good. Cam's in there as well. Laura B. Who's going to get it as they go towards the line? There's more obstacles to come. Nipping across the bridge. Cam's in there. Jens is in there. Look at Swales. He's trying to sneak in. Cam and Adam also in there as well. Big round of applause for our fallen rider who's uh, been looked after. Cam takes the win. Don't know where Cam's sitting, but mate, you've just won a moto of ping. Your prize, it's our eternal gratitude for taking part. Thank you very much. All right, just while we have our uh, rider looks after, just want to see, uh, are you guys feeling good? Are you feeling in fine voice? Let's do a little bit of a test. Switzerland fans, up on the top, give us a wave, make some noise. Come on, Switzerland. Where are you? There we go. I know I can always rely on some noise from our Colombian fans up in the stands. Come on, Colombia, make some noise. Let us know where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And last one, Great Britain. Where are you? Make some noise. Good, good, good. Right, back to the racing, people. Right, motor number 78, more 40 plus cruiser, ladies. Cara Rushworth, Rebecca Gold, and the ever smiling Kirsty Freer in this one. Uh, Ms. Walker from Zimbabwe in there as well, and Laurie Maschia. Oh, Marsha Brooks in the mix as well, so Marsha's in two. Right, so let's have a look. It is Rebecca Gull out in front. She's in there in one. Marsha Brook in two. I can see Kirsty Freer in there in four. So I think it's Cara Rushworth who's got that uh, third spot on the 6-3-4. Yes, it is. Cara Rushforth going through. Zimbabwe's rider in there in five and the rider in six on the 8-4-1. That's going to be Laurie Maschia as a Rebecca Gull. Marsha Brook, they go one and two. Kirsty Freer inside the top four. Moto 79, more 40 plus cruiser ladies. Anna Schmidt, uh, Angela Potter, Josephine Burston, Kim Batsford in this one. On that 635 out in front, but she's got company because Wendy Brondecker is in there as well. And we've got Raylene Pruitt from Australia in the mix too. Let's have a look as they go down the straight. The Dutch rider still pushing hard. Look at the battle for three. 6-2-3 of Josephine Burston just working away past Raylene Pruitt of Australia. So as they head towards the line, Batsford's going to get it. The Netherlands are going to go through in two. Great Britain in three, Australia in four. Moto 80, we change classes now. 45 to 49. Frederick Muller of South Africa. Where is he? He's in there in five at the minute. The rider in three is the 376 of Clint Shores from uh, Australia. Carrillo Gomez in there for uh, Mexico, leading it out. Team USA in there in two. The 416 of Emery Blee holding on to that second spot. He's had a fourth already. 
So that'll give him six points, I think, or possibly even seven going into the next moto. Clint Shaw's with the charge. He's going to pick up that second spot for Australia. All righty then, here we go. We've got two world finalists in this one. Jan Gay, Philip Silak from uh, Slovakia. Silak in there in two. Jan Gay in there in the first position for France. France rider in third as well. That's going to be... Oh, no, I beg your pardon. Uh, Marc Bruno. Bruno in there in three. So two French riders split by Slovakian as we see the rider from Great Britain coming on through the 393 of Stuart Little. Uh, nothing to do with the mouse whatsoever. He's there in four, and he's going to be in a qualifying position, and he's at a second already. So Stuart Little, he looks to make the quarterfinals with another good result in his last round. He'll be there. All righty, then France lead this one out with Xavier Ringo. Ringo from uh, France there leads this one out, and he's looking good. So let's concentrate there on the two spot, the four, one, the three of uh, Jimmy Van Jessel. Van Jessel's out of fourth place, so he's looking good. Great Britain in there in three. Who is that in the three there? Not recognizing the lead as they come down the third straightaway. It's going to be the 392 of Martin Merrill. Merrill there and Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Adam Baker, he's there in four. 83 on track, Tommy Pewitt. Uh, yeah, the eight ball, he's here. My main man, Johnny Breda uh, from Holland. He's already taken a win today and he leads this one out. My good friend from Holland at the front of the pack. We've got the Great Britain rider on the outside, though. Who is that? That's going to be Darren Speedy Reedy. Reedy looks good now as he takes it over from the eight ball. The eight ball is there in two. Maybe I put him off with my commentary. Come on, Johnny. Keep it going, my friend. As Speedy Reedy takes it over as the USA in there in two. Tommy Pewitt, but Johnny eight ball is trying to hang on to the third place. But no, down the last straightaway, the rider from Brazil of Ricardo de Santos takes the third place. Juan Felder, Federic Rumbe, Corey Skinner, Abdul El Kindi, Bernard Asquin, and Jurd Visser from Holland. Visser leads this one out from the United States. Uh, excuse me, that is Corey Skinner. Skinner in there with the pure bike in three from France. Federic Rumi, uh, Rumi Bay, uh, he's there in third position, in a qualifying position. He's at a third. And now a third in his second moto. That should be enough. Who's there in four? Uh, the rider from Great Britain. That's uh, Abdul El Kindi, of course. Race 85 on track. Is that my main man, Damien Mead, in there in two? I believe it is, but it's the uh, rider from Aussie leading this one out. It's Ben Thompson. Oh, rider down in the second turn. Damien Mee can just chill out now as he comes down out of that last corner. The rider from Ireland smiles as he go past. Keith Redfern, he's at a fourth already. It looks like he might be in a qualifying position as the other guys try to get clipped back in. They want results to get into the uh, quarterfinals for the men cruiser 45 to 49. Okay, then looking at uh, the cruiser men uh, 40. Five to 49. As I see uh, the rider from Mexico is uh, Mario Perez Gomez. He leads this one out. Just got a bit confused there by the number plate in there in two, three, nine, nine. It's uh, Glenn Cartwright. And, oh, the 388, as I was going to mention him. He got it all wrong. Tim Porter on this tricky third straight. He's gone down, but he's got back up again. And he's still got one more moto to try and make it through to the quarters. Oh, Fall of France, Philippe Bellamy. Uh, Bellamy, Fall of France, he takes over the first position here as uh, we race there on that uh, very strange camouflage bike that he's got. Uh, Brett Knight is in this one, apparently, my good friend Brett Knight. He's in there in about fourth at the moment. Who's that in the third then? Is that the other mate? It's the old mate, Jules Allen. Julian Allen in a qualifying position, third place for him. And uh, Brett Knight, what's he had? He's had a fourth. And a third, so these two guys in the uh, 45 to 49 class are going to make it through to the quarterfinals with a nice result in their last round. Cruiser, young ladies, 8 to 12 years old, Switzerland, Holland, Great Britain, United States, Australia in this one. USA leads this one out with the 507 of Chase Burian. 
Burian from the United States leads this one out. In there in two is another little lady from the USA from the uh, 512 bike, Melia Alvarez. Uh, Switzerland in three with Livia Curley. And then Holland in four uh, with uh, Sophie Van Solen. But it's going to be a win for the rider from the United States of America, Chase Burian. Right, moving on, Moto number 89. Three USA riders in this one, and they're going one, two, and three into the turn. Kopetsky, Vescuso, and Madison Thompson all in this one. Five, ten, and the five, oh, nine. That's the order that they're in. Oh, Gemma Tollefson is in there as well. She's going through in one of the minute. Harper, Vescuso in the in two. Who's got the three? We're looking at a seven plate. That is Alfonsino Romano out of Argentina, who was also in the mix, and the six belongs to Madison Thompson. Madison making a move in that final turn. The two Aussie girls are getting in there. Paige Cole and Mackenzie Butterfield as well. But it looks like USA are going to go one and two in the line. Here comes South Africa. That was Riley Van Heerden making a late charge. Moto 90, Ellie Pierce, Eliza Newton, Kira Vescuso in this one as well. So the whole family getting involved. Vivian Merriam in there as well. All these riders are Team USA. 495 is Dusty Schroeder out of Australia. She's in that second position right now. The Chilean rider Antonella Pereira in there in about five and pushing hard. But Team USA are all over the back of this one. Here comes the 500 of Isla Young now, making up for that crash in the first moto. Pushing hard for a top five spot. Will she make it a top four? Look at the battle out front. Australia with a late sprint. Wow, wow, wow. Moto 91, more eight to 12 year old girls cruiser Savannah Lefebvre in this one, doing it for Canada, but it's Japan's Chisa Kazumi who's out there in front. Ella Lam in the mix for Great Britain. Where is she? In there in six. But it's Japan leading it through. Uh, Yuri Nakimura on the 502, the Australian rider in there. We've got Josie Bunn and Maggie McDougall as well. In and out of the turn, down the final straight. The Aussies are three and four, but they're not catching the Japanese rider out in front. Also 92, 25 to 29 year old man, Paul Emery in this one, Hernan Santillian. Over Argentina is the man in control. 285. He's uh, Brandon Pratt. He had a great first moto, picked up a second spot. He's looking for another one. That is uh, David Jackal, the familiar figure of Jackal. He's in there in three, the German rider. But it looks like Santillian of Argentina is going to get it. Who's going to fill that final spot? I've got a feeling. It was the rider from Bolivia. That was Fernandez. Just three more motos to go in round number two before we move on to round number three. 270 of Kevin Angebo of France out there in front. There's a posse of Frenchmen in this one. Ashley Walker doing it for Great Britain, but he's going to have to push really hard. The 270 Angebo into Dupont in it out. Who's got that third position? Looks like Dallin Priesbury out of the USA, but coming down the straight in that uh, fourth spot, Australia's Daniel Lee. Is he going to steal it at the line? It was very close. Moto 94, penultimate moto round at number two. Daniel Morris in this one. Benjamin Batillard out of Switzerland, absolutely flying. Won the first moto, looking uh, good in this second one. Jordi Schneider of Germany in there as well. Argentina, uh, Falcundo Rosas in there in three. France have got a rider in four. I think that's Quentin Moreau. But Batillard, the Swiss flyer in there in one. Daniel Morris of uh, Australia in two. Right, last moto, round number two. Michael Smith, Nicholas de Comune, Corentin Leger, Vincent Leon, Kevin Elvers, Julian Bridel. France are one and two in this one. Elbers is trying to stick his elbow in there. He's worked his way into that second spot. Who's leading it out? Two, uh, six, nine, I think he was, Vincent Leon. But here comes Julian Pridel trying to get in. Elbers, he's having none of it. He might need to sharpen him in the later rounds. Netherlands going through in four. That rounds out round number two. 
Race number one of the third set of motos, 15 to 16 year old cruiser boys on track. One rider missing from the race, but out front it is a 173. Lewis Longley riding out of Great Britain, leading it into turn number two. He's got the New Zealand rider in there as well. Jack Gebby on the 194. So three GB riders in this one. They're picking up three and four at the moment. That is the 162. Rodri Jones, he's in there in three. Lewis Barnes in four. Last straight action. Here comes Gebby headed to the line. Who's going to get it? Gebby's going to nick it. Longley's going to go through in that two spots. Declan McGee, your world number three. Australia on track, looking good. Who's that in there with the 190 plate of oh, Jesse Elzenga chasing him down into that second turn. GB's in the mix as well. That's looking like Louis Tay Edwards on the 175. But it is all about the Aussie. Out front, Declan McGee. He's on fire heading into the final corner. The Dutchie in behind him, chasing him down all he can. But McGee, he's got this one wrapped up, bringing it down to the line. Three wins from three. Elzenga in that two spots. Race number three. That looks like Argentina leading it out. Valentino Vallejo. Vallejo out there in that one spot. Then he's going one and two with the world number seven, bringing it on through. That's Gabe Simpson doing it for Great Britain. So it's Argentina and GB at the moment. USA in there as well, looking like RJ Hancock. Check out the move from Simpson though. He's worked his way from two to one, heading into the final corner. He wants to make it three wins from three as they head down the final straight. Simpson, Vallejo, one and two. That's how they're going to finish the USA in there in three with Hancock. Bolivia's on track. That is Sebastian Lopez, your world number two, leading it from the world number five. So it is Lopez leading it out. Raid in there in that two spot for Estonia. Check him out as they're headed to that second turn, battling it out. The USA in there in three. Looking like that is Garrett Montney heading it through this third straight. GB in there as well on the one seven track. Labras heading on through with Ireland's Jamie Dummigan. In there in five, but last straight action. Lopez looking like he's going to bring it to the line. Raids in there for two. That's how they're going to finish. Race five on track. Looking like Japan's leading it out. Shion Baruga heading on through the second straight. He's got GB in there behind him in that two spot. That is Flynn trailing court looking for a way around. The other GB rider in the race is in there in three. That's Lewis Fletcher on the 171 chasing down the riders out front. Here comes trailing court around the outside working his way from two to one. So it is trailing court taking over the race lead for Yuha in there in that two spot under pressure from Fletcher is ahead to the line. GB's going to go one and two. Japan in there for three. Eight on the plate, Matt Dubreil leads it into that first turn for La France. So it is Dubreil out there in the one spot. That is New Zealand in there in the two spot. Cooper Richardson on the 195, chasing him as he headed to turn number two. GB's in there as well. That is looking like Thomas Duran on the 165. That's the front three as they head through the third straight. Check out. Richardson chasing down to Braille as they head into the final turn. Looks at the inside, didn't quite make it happen. So it's going to be a world number eight taking the moto win. Dubrail, Richardson, one and two. Duran in there for that top three. Colombia out front in this one. Emilio Facundo looking good at the minute on the 135 plate. He's being chased down by the 172 of Zach Green out of Great Britain. The other GB rider in there, that is Harry Elwood. He's in there in five at the moment. Look at the French rider going well in there in three. That is Livan Lucri. Here comes Green round the outside, working his way from two to one. He now leads the race. Facundo looking for a way back at him in and out of the final turn. Green, he's going to pick up the moto winning race number seven. It's going to be Facundo for two with Lucri in there for three. More 15, 16 year old cruiser boys on track. Race number eight heading into that first turn. Who's leading it out? The Ecuadorian, that is Romel Cariel. Cariel's on there at that one spot at the minute, the 202 out of the USA in there as well. That is Colby Gunn bringing it in and out of that second turn in that two spot. Ireland in the mix as well. Brandon Malon on the 551. He's under pressure from the GB rider. That is looking at light. Charlie Ruff on the 159 in and out of the final turn. It's going to be Cariel. He's going to pick up the moto win. USA's gun in there for that two spot with Ireland's Melon in three.
Four 15, 16 year old cruiser boys race number nine heading into that second turn. That looks like it could be Matteo Jacquemin out of France. Looking good out front. Check out the move from the RT in there in that two spotter. That is the one two eight plate moving his way through Hunter Boschan. Heading into the final turn. He's got the other French rider in there behind him. That is Tino Fourage. Heading down the final straight. The French sandwich going to go one and three with the Australian Boschen splitting up the party in two. Moto number 10 now on track. That's looking like France out front. Lucas Robert, your world number six, looking strong. Heading into that second turn. GB's in behind him in there in that two spot. Looking like that could have been a 174, I think, of Joseph Makepeace. It is Makepeace picking up that two spot. The Dutch is in the mix as well. One, Looking like that could be the 192 plate of Bar van der Waal. Bar van der Waal in there in that three spot. Then it's a head down the final straight. Your world number six is going to take the moto win. That was Lucas Robert. I think so. Yeah, race number 11 on track. Pritchard, Sam Perry, Ogden in this one. But who's that coming around the outside? Looks like it's Argentina Garcia, Aruba Garcia, and the 168 coming on through into the Elliot Brook from Great Britain in a good position. He's had two, uh, uh, well, he's had a second place already. Here's another second place for him. Colombia there in three on the 136 bike. That is, of course, uh, Arias uh, Burbano, Burbano uh, from Colombia and Ireland in a good position there. Ethan Abbott, he's in four in a qualifying position, but it's going to be Argentina taking the win in race number 11. Race number 12, Australia, Colombia, France, Great Britain, Holland. In this one with Cassis Salibai, uh, Jill Samuel Morulanda, Juan Gwene, Flukes, Hutton, and uh, Esselman. Arnie Esselman in this one. That looks like Esselman there in two. Kaiusho Flukes in three. Esselman takes it over there in the second turn. Comes out in front. Looking good. The Colombian there moving on through. Still Jill uh, Melanda uh, from Colombia in a good qualifying position as they exit the last turn. Looks that Arnie Essamon is going to take the win here in race number 12. Race number 13 on track. New Zealand was the early one to show there. Nicholas Cowie, he's at the front of the pack with Colombia there. In two, Colombia in second position with the France riders in three and four with Gilles Haber and Elias Muhub uh, is there diving into that second turn. The racing is fast and furious here in Glasgow at the 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships with the BMX racing with New Zealand and now USA taking over second spot with Ian Westerman coming on through the little American oh he just bonking that last jump on the last straightaway but hangs on for it race 14 uh, CJ Carrasco Cameron Gap Louis Gautier Deegan McCallum Samuel Mebrook and Ben Weiss from Great Britain Weiss is at the back there trying to push on through Australia lead this one out with uh, Cameron Gap at the front of the pack as we see the rider there on the 149 bike coming on through Louis Gautier uh, for France in there in two with the Republic of South Africa of Deegan McCallum he's there in three in a qualifying position with the United States C DJ Carrasco coming in in four. We've got Great Britain, Estonia, France, Holland, and Japan in this one. Japan takes it over with Haku Nomura. Nomura from Japan with a 141 of Lucas Lahau from Estonia. He's at a third and a first, and he looks to qualify and through. So a yeah, second place for him. Should see him into the 1-8 finals without any issue. Japan, though, looking good with Nomura out in front. He's had a first and a second. They'll both be safely through to the 1-8 finals. Don't forget, everybody, the 1-8 finals will be immediately after the last qualification mono. There will be no break. We'll be going straight into the 1-8 finals after the last qualification moto. Oh, Brady, uh, Brady O'Neill, I beg your pardon. Ashton Coombs, Sanchez Granada, Preston Murray, Jaden Mitchell, Jeremy Salazar from Argentina. This is a tough one in this one. We've got five riders in this race that have all taken a win already today. And we've got one rider with a fifth. Uh, that's the Great Britain rider, unfortunately, at the back of the pack. But look at the guys go. Colombia takes the win with Granada Sanchez. Michael Whitaker, where are you? Come on, Mike, pedal. 50 and over cruisers on track. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie out in front with Carl Mutchson. He's there at the front. Come on, the guys from Great Britain there putting in a performance. My good friend Michael Whitaker at the back of the pack. 
but he's loving it being here at the world. Belgium moving on through with the SE rider there, coming on through, of course. That's the fisherman, Walter de Vischer uh, from Belgium. They're in three. France in two with uh, Frederic Manager. He's the third place rider from last year, the world number three. Here he is, the Ricky Dicky Big Panther, Jean Renault. He leads this one out for France. He's had two wins from two so far today, and he's looking good in this one. Who's there in the two spot? It's the world number eight of Bob Van Westerop. We've also got the French world number six in this one. He's there in three with Christophe Canetro. He's there in four with the other French rider. It's going to be uh, Stefan Vautier. Vautier from La France. He's in the mix with a box of tricks, but look at the Pink Panther go. He's He's going to take another win here today, or is he? Because the rider from Holland, oh, a photo finish on the line. Kenji Yinakura, Paul Luttrell from New Zealand should be the early leader. And it is Luttrell leading this one out. We see the runner from Belgium in there in two. Nico Ums, Archibald in three. Who's that in four? Another great Britain rider is that uh, Brent Featherstone, I believe. He's at a six and a third. So with a fourth here, Brent Featherstone is on the bubble. Will he make it through to the 1-8 finals? That's what it's all about in the next round as uh, Luttrell takes his, uh, well, he's had a third and a second and now a win. He's definitely going to be through to the 1-8 final. Don't forget the 1-8 finals will be immediately after the last qualification moto. After race number 95, we will move on to the 1-8 finals. The USA leads this one out. Woody Woodruff. Oh, there's a name for you. Carver in there in two. And Carver's had a fifth and a fifth. So a second place here for Carver with a bit of gap from the guy behind. Could be enough to see him through. Oh, no, it's not Carver, is it? It's the four. No, it is Carver there in two. I beg your pardon, a French rider in three, uh, Manuel Julien. And uh, who's that in four? Is it Ireland, I believe? It's uh, Stephen McClue. And Madron's going to go through with a fifth. Now, that is going to be on the bubble time. Race 21 now on track, 50 plus men's cruiser in and out of that first turn. That's got to be the two plate leading it through. Nicolas Taris out of France looking good at the moment. He's got the 4-5-3 in there behind him. That is Richard Ellis out of Great Britain. So it's France and Great Britain at the moment. Here comes the other GB rider in the mix in there in three. That is looking at like the 4-8-2 plate, 4-6-2. That is Craig Nelson. So it is GB picking up two and three at the moment. And in there as well in five, the South African splitting up the GB party. That's going to be Glenn Bridges in there for four. World number four, GB on track. Alan Hill leading this one out. Who's in there with him, picking it up, looking like we've got a French rider in the mix. That is a 4-3-6 plate in there into Olivier Mushabouf. Mushabouf in there in that two spot. Then he's under pressure from the Australian rider. That is Jason Theobald on the 4-2-2, trying to work his way in. The Norwegians in there as well. Paul Bernard on the 4-7-9, chasing them into the final turn. Healy, though, out of the final turn. Going to take the moto win. Your world number four for GB out front. Oh, the Aussie gets it all wrong. Jason Theobald went down in a huge, huge heap. The 4-4-2 leading out of the next race. Silvio Rizzo out of France. Just watch how you go down the final straight, guys. Pay attention as you head down the final straight. That is Rizzo out there in front then. Archibald in two. Just watch how you go down this final straight, gents. Rizzo, Archibald one and two in that one. The Belgian going to go through in there in three. That is Tony Strub. Race number 24, lining up on the gates. That's, uh, that's my boss up in that chopper. We could all give him a wave. Just let him know we're all doing a good job. <laughs> oh.
I'll do the rap later. We always do the rap. Jason Theobald back up to his feet. Ladies and gents, put your hands together. It looks like he is going to walk away, which is always good to see. Don't forget, we will have the BMX quiz up on the big screen later on today. Get yourselves involved. There will be a URL on the screen for you to type into your smartphone and get involved in the quiz. We've also got Ping coming back up later on as well. We could get 30 competitors on Ping at any one time. So you have to be quick. Them spots have been filling up really, really quick yesterday and today. For Ping, you just scan the QR code, type in your name, and that gets you into the race. As we look at moto number 24, 50 plus men's cruiser, lining up on the gates. Do not forget, ladies and gents, if you are in the 50 plus men's cruiser class or in the 15 to 16 boys cruisers, here today you will have 1-8 finals. They will be going ahead as soon as the motos have finished. You will need to be in the pre-staging area ready and waiting. We will be going ahead with the 1-8 finals as soon as we have finished motos. Am I right in saying that's Flynn? Happy birthday, Flynn. From all of the GB guys, happy birthday. Race 24 back on track, then here we go, ladies and gents. The Swiss rider heading into the turn. Igor Vasquez looking like he's going to pick up a whole shot, but he's got the Frenchie on the inside, elbow bashing. It is going to be Vasquez leading this one out. Who's in there with him in that two spot? Looking like we have got the Dutch rider working his way through. That is Eric. Vladinger Broek, he's in there in that three spot now. He's had the French rider make the move on him. In the turn, that's the 4-3-9 of Sebastian Picard. He's now in there in that two spot. Vladinger Broek in there in three. Under pressure from the other French rider in the race. That is Stefan Beaumont. Beaumont looking to pick up a top three spot. It's ahead to the line. It's going to be Vasquez, though, taking the moto win. Kiwi on track, Dion Newth, your world champion, leading this one out, ladies and gents. We are our New Zealanders. They are here somewhere. It is Newth out front, then looking good. Look at the move on the inside of him, trying to work his way in. That is the 0-5 plate of Oliver Imbert. Uh, Swan Delmas, sorry, Delmas in there in that two spot then. Looking for a way past Newth out of that final turn. The world number five in the age, that is Olivier. Olivier Imbert, he's in there for that top three spot, but it's Newth taking the moto win. Domingos Lamoglia on the outside in this one into the first turn, but it's going to be France leading it through. Got to be Frank Sabria on the 4-4-1 plate, going one and two with the 4-5-2 of Kevin Sykes out of Great Britain. Here comes the Brazilian Lamoglia on the outside, trying to work his way around Sykes down this third straight. Who's going to pick it up? Still the 4-4-1 out front. Sabria out of France, looking good. Sykes doing all he can to close the gap as he go in and out of the final corner, looking... Like it is going to be Sabria taking it to the line for France. Sykes in there for two. Lamoglia in there for that top three finish. Eight to 12 year old boys now on track. Check out the Belgian lead in this one through. On the 27 plate out front, that is Ben van Avon. Avon out there in that one spot. Then he's got the USA in there behind him. And that looks like Logan Young in the mix as well. In about five, but it's Eli Lamb. The GB rider in there in three. The 70 plate in there in two. That is Jackson Kopetsky. Kopetsky then in there in that two spot at the moment. The other USA riders worked his way into that top three spot. That's going to be Jacob Thiessen on the eight plate down to the line. It's going to be Van Amvon going one, USA two and three. 
Czech Republic, where are you guys? Adam Petrdek on the 34 plate, leading this one out in race number 28. Who's that in there with him, looking like the 26 plate, picking it up? That is Gus Lennart out of Belgium. So it is the Czech Republic of Belgium, one and two at the moment. Here comes the Netherlands in there in three. That is Sam Mayer on the 53 plate, being chased down by the 74 of Michael Hoffman out of the USA. Here comes Mayer, though, in the final turn. He wants a top two spot as he head out of the final. Final corner, Petrdek, he's going to pick up the motor win, heading down to the line, going to make it three for three. Here comes the Belgian in two, and that looked like a late charge from Hoffman to pick up three. All right, just to remind you, there'll be no pause in between the last qualification moto and the Wayne final. So, uh, uh, full of France, il n'y a ara pas de pause. En vente à l'été, 1-8 for the final. No break before the 1-8 finals. We will go straight into the 1-8 finals. All righty then, race 29 on track, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this is the third qualification motos already with the challenge class and the cruisers here on track. And the young touch guy is going to take the win there. And that was Sam Van Dyken. And he's had a fifth and a third. So that, that win there should see him through. Oh, was that Sam there? I'm not sure. There was two Dutchies in that one. Could have been Tim Palmer's. He's had a fifth and a third. Anyway, race 30 is on the gate. Oh, we had a fallen rider from New Zealand. That's Dylan Sazzy. All righty then, race 30 on the track. Who's got the speed to take the lead? Looks like it's the rider from Japan on the inside, Tawa Yumizawa. Oh, no, he's been overtaken by the rider from Czechia. Uh, it's uh, David Lapka, Lapka there from Czechy. So it's uh, Czechy versus Japan at the moment with the 23 of Aussie coming on through there. It's JL uh, Robinson Miller in there in three at the moment with uh, the fourth place rider going to the little Colombian Maximiliano Rede Baez. But it's uh, still David Lapka leading this one out from Czechy as he hits the uh, last turn there. He's going to go through with a third, a second, and a first. He's going to be in the quarterfinals coming up a little bit later on this afternoon. Race 31 on track. We've got the rider from the United States there leading this one out. Murky Ryder. Ryder was on the middle, though. Uh, that could be uh, Landon Donnelly, I think it could be leading this one out now. Donnelly takes the uh, the lead there with the 72, the world number six of Ryder. Murky, he's there in two. So the two Americans lead this one out from uh, Australia and New Zealand. So a bit of a mix up here as they come down this technical third straightaway. New Zealand pushing through on the 57. That's Rico Ryan. Rico Ryan up to a close third now with Aussie in there in four is uh, Joby Deegan Deegan I guess it is or Degnan I guess it's Degnan there in four coming on through Australia at the front of the pack then with a 24 on the plate is Dylan Seisha Seisha's at a first and a sixth though so he needs this win to make sure he goes through to the quarterfinals. Will it be enough for him? I'm not sure, but a win should do it for him with a six and a first. That'll be seven plus one is eight points. That should be enough to see him through to the next round with Samuel Vargas Valencia in there into USA in three with Mason Monegro. This is not over yet because Spain come through with Robin Matern Alonso. Is it coming through there in four? Race 33 on track, uh, 68 on the plate is uh, Espen Wilk from United States. He's at a second and a third, so he should be safely through. We've got the rider there from Ireland, is it? It's uh, Freddie Simmons. Simmons coming on through into second. Colombia in four there is going to be Mariela Coutier, Andres Miguel, and... Uh, Alrighty then, Cody Young, this is race number 34. And leading this one out, Cody Young from the United States, a second and a seventh for him. He needs to get through this one to make it work for himself. 
with the Aussie coming on through into the 21 plate of Luke Petroni. Petroni is there with GB in three. Which one is that? Is that Eli Lamb? I think it could be. Yeah, Eli Lamb. He's there in three. Yeah, coming on through Eli Lamb. He's had a third and a second. He's going to be in the quarterfinals with the young rider from Aruba, Zion Angela. He's there in four. Race 35 on track. Carter Croy is in this one uh, from the Australian, though. He's, uh, yeah, it's uh, Australia. Yeah, Mika, Micah Maloney. Micah Maloney. It looks like Japan is in two. What an Arby. And Japan in three also. And the USA rider back in four at the moment. Croy Carter. He's got a bit of work to do because he's had a sixth and a fourth. Will that be enough to see him through to the next round? I'm not sure. Race 36 on track, Stanley Palmer, Sean Lehue. He's the world number three from last year. Bram Kujan, Louis Jean Guene, Matthias Giron Garivia, and Artis Rotti. Rotti there from France as the little Colombian jumps behind me, but he's got a bit of work to do because the rider out in front is the big rider from France. Uh, Jean Guiné, Guiné from France with the world number three of Sean Lehu from the United States pushing through as we see the rider from Great Britain of Stanley Palmer in a qualifying position. He's at a third and a first, so he's going to get a third here. That is enough to see him through to the quarterfinals. Motor number 37 on track, 13, 14-year-old boys cruiser. That's got to be the Swiss leading it out, Timon Kohler on the double one seven plate, heading on through the 92. Out of France, chasing him down. That is Lubin Danjou. Danjou looking for a way round into that top spot, but he's got the USA in there behind him, chasing him down. That is Maddox Vicario. Vicario then work making up the top three spots. Cola into the final turn. Looking good for Switzerland. Here comes Danjou down the final straight. It's going to be Cola, Danjou, one and two with Vicario in there for that top three. Here comes France heading into that first turn in and out for the race leader, that is a 90 on the plate. Amel Balku out of France. So it is Balku looking good at the moment. Japan's in there with him. That is Hori Itsuki Ori. And they're in that two spot, chasing him down. The other French is in there. In that three spot, that is Ferdinand Renault. Renault around the outside of the J Japanese rider, making his way into the top two. So it's going to be France one and two. Balco. Renand, that's how they're going to finish as they head to the line with Hori in there for that three spots. Japan out, of, France out of the inside. Roman Lombeck in and out of the turn. Lombeck in there in the one spot. Who's that within the double one six plate of Ricky Hana Gray out of New Zealand on the one one six. In and out of the turn they go. Looking good for France and New Zealand at the moment. Japan's in there in three. That is Takaru Oshida heading into the final turn. Here comes Ricky Hana Gray looking for a way around the French rider down the final straight. Lombeck under pressure. Here comes Ricky Hana. Great. It's going to be great to the line, Lombeck, for that two spots. Moto 40 on track. Belgium going one and two place. Leading it out with Leonard in there in that two spot. So it is a 79 in the 81. At the moment, Ethan Clace going one and two with his countrymen as they head into that second corner. Check him out. GB's Harrison Schofield on the 107 plate. He's under pressure there in that three spot at the moment. Who's that pushing on through? That's the 118 plate. Oh, the Stiebel out of the USA. He's now under pressure himself from the Dutch rider. That is Mika Maigret, your world number four. He's going to have to set off for that four spot, but it's going to be Belgium. One and two, Klaes and Leinertz. Race number 41 now on track. 13, 14-year-old cruisers going at it. That is the 87 plate of Titien Bozvenu. Bozvenu out there in the one spot. He's got Colombia right or Right there with him all over his back wheel, that is Matias Gonzalez. Gonzalez looking for a way round, then that's looking at Latvia on the 113 plate in there as well. Abilene's heading into the final turn in the top three spot. Check out Gonzalez. Oh, Gonzalez. Boz, Bozvinu go down in a huge heap. It's going to be the Latvian Abilene's taking the win. Gonzalez managed to stay upright. Boisvino hit the deck. He's back up to his feet. Put your hands together for the French rider, ladies and gents. 
As your world number five plate comes past me and into turn number two, that is Lucas Thiessen. Thiessen out there in the one spot for the USA. He's got the two plate in there with him. That is looking like William Gohl out of Italy. The other Italian rider in the mix as well. That's going to be Martino. Casalini, Casalini, then get around at the top three spots as you head down to the line. But it is your world number five, Thiessen taking that moto win. 13, 16 year old girls cruiser now on track. W4 on the plate, Elsa Rendell Todd, GB on track, looking good as she heads towards that second turn. Who's that in there with him? Looking like that could be Alma Pinero out of Argentina. So it is GB and Argentina, one and two at the moment. Belgium's in the mix. In there in three, that is Ella Holscher heading on through into the final turn. Colombia in four, that is Mariana. Maria Perez, sorry, so Perez in there in that top four spot, but it's going to be Elsa Rendell Todd taking the Moto win. Moto 44 now on track, USA leading it into the turn. Ecuador right there with it, that's going to be Astrid Guevara. Guevara in there in that two spot, chasing down the seven plate as it head back through this second straight. Alexis Alden bringing it on through, so it's USA, Ecuador, one and two. GB's in there as well, that's going to be Cody Harmer on the 5-3-2 plate being chased down by the uh, Chilean rider, that is Emilia Carrasco. Carrasco around the outside of Harmer, trying to make it stick. Harmer hanging onto it, where are you, GB? Harmer's in there in the top three at the moment, heading down to the line. It's gonna be Alden taking the win. Ecuador in there for that two spot with Guevara, and it is Harmer in three. Yeah, race 45, Leonie Bergel leads this one out. She's the world number six, ladies and gentlemen. On the bike there, looking good with the number two coming on through in the left of pants. Wow, confused me. That's Wayuka Nishimura from Japan. As we see America coming on through in third. It's the 546 of uh, Blandon Burian. Burian there in three. We see the French rider in four. That's going to be... Louise Poisson, I believe, but Leone Bergel, she's going to take the win in race number 45. Don't forget, 1 8 finals for the 15. Uh, is it 12 to 16, boys? 15, 16, boys. 1 8 finals straight after uh, for the categories of the 50 years and over. There will be no pause in between the racing. So, 1 8 finals immediately after the last qualification moto as we turn our attention to the world number one in this one. That's the rider from Japan, that's uh, Mana Sawada. She's in three at the moment because the rider from uh, Spain leads this one out. That is uh, Gabriel Garcia as uh, the rider also from Japan. It comes through in two. That was my Nakamura. Oh, Colombia lead this one out now with the rider there, uh, Palacios uh, Paloma Guadalupe. She is the world number eight from France, and she leads this one out with a 542 coming on through. That is, of course, Avery Jones from the uh, United States there. In two, we see the two French riders in three and four, uh, Margot Ott and uh, Melina Sully. But we see the other American rider on the 544 of Farah McKay. She's trying to make moves. She's at a fourth and a fifth. This fourth place in this one could get her through to the quarterfinals. She's going to get third place. That's going to assure her through to the quarterfinals. She's going to be happy with that. Race 48 on track, Cruiser Men, 17 to 24. We've got some ex-elite riders in this one. Uh, as we look to uh, Richard Penny, Camille Gouvez, Charles Cave, Matt McHugh, Mario Mentrier, Lia Lupier, and Niels Newman from Germany. But it's France, un deux trois, with McHugh from Great Britain there in three, showing a good performance here today. He's had an eighth and a fourth and another fourth. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to see him through to the next round. Let's hope it is, as Matt McHugh takes takes another fourth here in race 48. Oh, race 49, un, deux, trois, quatre uh, French riders in this one at the front of the pack. This happens quite a lot in BMX. We've got the world number two, the world number five, uh, Maxime de Huyen and Merlin Guero. And is making moves in the last corner here as they come round. And those four riders from France are going to make it through inside the top four as the rider from Holland pushes through. That was Ingmar Ankerman. USA in this one, surrounded by Great Britain riders. 
Deegan Brown. He's leading this one out. We've got our good friend from uh, Belgium there in there in two, Witsi Baudet and uh, Axel Quijane. But it's going to be Baudet in there in two. And then it's all about Great Britain. Three, four, five, six, and seven. As they come down this straight, they're all battling away for qualifying positions. Who's going to get it? Zach Rendell, Todd back in seven at the moment. I think he's out of it. But look at the other guys pushing through. I'm not sure who that was. I haven't got a clue. They all look the same. There you go. Race 51. Uh, we got more GB in this one. 229 leaves this one out. Uh, that is uh, Jake Green. Green's out of third, out of fourth on the sheets here. So I can see he's going to be safety through, barring no mishaps down the third straightaway. Green's looking good. The American rider on the 260 bike coming on through. Joshua Lowe, he's had a fifth and a seventh. So a mixed bag of results for the United States here with a second place. That could be enough to see him through with the other Great Britain riders coming on through there. And I think that was uh, Tom Whitaker, was it? Making it through there in third, possibly. Wow. More Cruiser men, 17 to 24. This is the one to watch in this one. Look at the USA rider on the outside. That's going to be Aaron Blee. But this guy in the two spot, Bo Van Bergstaden, my good friend from Holland. He's a great coach, ladies and gentlemen, and he's here jumping the triple into the last turn. Is he just taking it easy at the moment, making sure he qualifies through for the next round? Quarterfinals for him. He's going to take his third win of the day. Three wins for Bo. He's going to be through into the quarterfinals. Race number 53 now on track. 17, 24 year old men, the 208 leading this one out. Joshua Cook out of Australia, in and out of the second corner. Cook's looking good out there in the one spot. He's got the USA in there with him on the 264 plate. In that two spot, that is Dominic P Pedotto bringing it into the final turn. The French rider dives underneath him though and works his way into that two spot. It's ahead to the line. Well, who's it going to be? I think it is going to be Audit No picking up that two spots. Race number 54 now then on track. That is the Dutchy leading it out. He's got the three on the plate. Ricardo Dupi, check this guy out. He's out front looking good. GB in there in that two spot looking like that's got to be Connor Hedges on the two, three, one. He's under pressure though from the rider out of the USA. That is looking like the two, five, eight plate as they come around. Dallas Gardner, Gardner then in there in that three spot. He's under pressure himself from the other Dutch rider in the race. That looks like me is De Roos. De Roos going to pick up that top four spot, but it's Ricardo Dupi in there in the one. Into turn number one they go then looking like Hugo Senegal, your world number four having the move put on him in the corner. Check it out, where are you GB? Alex Brooks is leading it out. The Brooks then out front looking good, Ram racing. In and out it goes, Brooks out there in the one spot. Who's that in there with him looking like the four plate working his way back into that two spot. Got to be Hugo Senegal out of France. The GB rider in the race looking to work his way in. That's got to be Freddy Cadman Carpenter. Here he comes down the final straight. He's going to Pick up the three spot on the line. Alex Brooks takes the moto win. 17, 29 year old women's cruiser now on track. GB out front, 575 on the plate. Lily Chizua. She's been on fire all day long, taking a first and a second. She's out front looking good at the moment. Who's that in there with her? The 551 plate of. Danica Pilmer out of Australia. So it is Pilmer in there in that two spot being chased down by the French rider in there in three. That is Jean Boothion. Boothion then under pressure herself from the 580 plate of Taylor Lee Mohan on the uh, out of lane six heading into the final turn. It's going to be Chisawa taking this win down the final straight. Two wins out of three. She'll be happy with that one. It's going to be Australia with Boothion in there in that two spots. Moto 57 now on track, four GB riders and a Canadian in this race, heading back through the straight. That is the 581 on the plate, Molly Nice leading this one out. Who's that in there with her? Gotta be Joseph McFall on the 566. So it is GB, one, two, three, and four at the moment. Emily Frost in there in three. Who's picking up the four? That is the 571 of Bethy Lawrence heading into the final turn. Adriana Troussard out of... Canada in there in that five spot, headed down the final straight. Nice, he's going to take it. McFall in two. More 17, 29 year old women's cruiser coming at you into turn number one. Looking like we have got the Netherlands leading it out. Jennifer Merton. 
Mertens in there in that one spot. Then your current world, number five. Who's that in there with the five, six, two on the plate? That is Candy Plancon. Plancon then out of France being chased down by her country mate. That is Flor Guernion. Guernion then inside the top three to head back through this third straight, but out front looking good for the Duchy. In and out she goes, Merton, looking like she's going to pick up this moto win. Your world number five out front. The two Frenchies coming through in two and three. That's going to be Plancon and Gwenion. Yeah, okay, France on track, leading this one out. Matil Hugo out of France. Looking good then on track on the 560 plate. Who's that in there with her? Looking like it is Melissa van der Sanden out of the Netherlands on the 583 plate. She's under pressure though from the GB rider. That's got to be Hannah Drew on the 577. Here comes Drew looking for a way round into that top two spot around the outside. Still looking good though for Hugo out front being chased down this final straight. She's got this one wrapped up there. France is going to take the moto win. Van der Sanden in there for that two spot and that's going to be Drew in three. Moto 60 now on track, France out front, leading it out, got to be the sixth plate, looking good, Camille Imbert, Imbert out there in the one spot, that's Denmark in there in two, Mia Christensen on the two plate, so it's looking busy with world plates out there in that one and two spot at the moment, who's in there in three, looking like the five, six, one on the plate, Lou Pilar, uh, looking good for France, so it's France in there at the moment, picking it up, Christensen chasing down in Burt down this final straight. Here she comes, Denmark, France to the line. Who's going to get it? I think it might have been Christensen taking the moto win. All right, then Helena Sun from Sweden in this one. As we see the rider leading this one out is the rider from France. It's the world number one. It's uh, Lucy Lacoste. Uh, Lacoste is race number 61 on track with uh, Hannah Hedges in there as well. And the Australian rider coming on through the 552 of uh, Gemma Lee Thomas. Gemma Lee Thomas making her way through. Hedges is in there in three at the moment in a good qualifying spot. She's had a third and a sixth. So this might be enough to see her through to the quarterfinals in the cruiser category women 17 to 29. Okay, here we see the rider from Sweden I mentioned earlier, Helena Sunda, Jodie Musgrove in this one, Olivia Firth, uh, who's got a lovely uh, Great Britain helmet wrapped there in four. She does a good job. She actually uh, she did my own crash helmet. Uh, EMV Graphics would give them a shout out. Why not? As uh, the rider from Sweden takes it from the start to the finish at the moment, Helena Sun. She's had a first and a second. She's going to make it through. How's Olivia Firth got on? She's had a fourth and a first, so a fourth here. Should see her through to the quarterfinals, but it's all about the countback. Race 63 on truck. Christina Madarazova from Slovakia leads this one out. She's a very, very good rider. Two wins for her. Savannah Carver in there for Great Britain. And the rider from Belgium of uh, Tessa Van Sayen. She's in there in uh, two at the moment with uh, Shelley. I think it's, I beg your pardon, Haley Seeley from the United States there in three. And the fourth place rider in the red helmet, I don't recognize that, it's the 579 of Charlotte Jackson. And Jackson's had a fifth, a third at the moment. So Jackson in four, well, that might just be enough to see her through, who knows? Cruiser men, 40 to 44, we move up an age group, quarterfinals for these guys. And uh, Michael Gall should be one of the early riders there, but it's a rider from, that's the rider from Chile. Leading this one out, Philippe Perez. Perez from Chile, France in there in two with Pierre Minet. Minet for La France in there in the second position. Mexico in there in three. Roberto Carlos Baez Bustamante. He's there in three with the rider from Germany coming on for all. That's uh, our good friend from Europe. He attends all the European rounds. Eric Grabischler, he's there in four. And uh, he'll be battling away with his compadres later on in uh, the next rounds. Oh, one rider slips his pedals, I think, as they come down the first straightaway. As we see. Uh. 
Okay, uh, Hugo, sorry about that. Hugo Donne uh, from Canada leads this one out. I see a rider from Hungary in this one. That's our good friend. He's from my own race club, Adam Bude. He's there in two. Is he going to make it through three alongside Kingsley Mears from Great Britain? So riding for Hungary, lives out of the UK. Adam Bude, he's going to be in the quarterfinals. Alrighty then, the world number four leads this one out. Number eight, actually, is Marshall Peru. He's had two wins from two. Will he make it three from three? Let's see what he can do. It's a rider there on a free, free, free play. It's a Marin Molina. Molina from Colombia. He's there in two with a rider from Great Britain in three. I'm not sure who that is. I've got to be honest with you. Is that that's Fraser Watson? Watson's in there in three, and he's going to make it. Oh, Watson's off the track, and he just sneaks in for a fourth, and that should see him through to the next round, the quarterfinals. All right, two riders from France and one rider from USA at the front of the pack here. So now the French riders take it over. Christophe uh, Tullo and Johan Moran is the early leader. Great Britain and USA battling out for three and four. That's going to be uh, Jeffrey Jones, is it, on the 372 bike. And the rider on the 351 is Sim Johnston coming on through with uh, the 353 at the back. Uh, Josh Whiting from Great Britain. He's had a third and a fifth and a third, uh, fifth now. He's going to be slightly on the bottom as they come in to the last qualification rounds. These are the third qualification motos for the cruisers, 48 or 44. We're on the challenge cruiser classes here at the UCI Cycling World Championships in Glasgow, in Scotland, with the BMX racing. And we've got our good friend from Aruba, Brian Elizabeth. He's in there in two, but look at the French guy. He's got some nice smooth style on the stats bike. Anthony Paul, he's had two wins from two. So another win here. He's going to be safely through to the quarterfinals. But Brian Elizabeth doing well here from Aruba. A third a third and a second that's going to see him into the next round four british riders now on track check them out in and out of that first turn got to be john lillingston leaning out where are you gb let's get behind the riders lillingston out front looking good we've got Maine in there mccoy and stark as well so all three gb riders out front at the moment mccoy's in there at about five as it stands that's Maine in there into the three four seven of stark in three is under pressure from the usa rider michael geo geo's throw it under in the final turn he's coming to upset the gb party lillingston here comes geo to the line i think he might have nicked two on the stripe from scott main race 70 now on track 40 44 year old cruisers that's the seven on the plate it's got to be jocelyn ruiz out of france ruiz leads this one out he's got his countryman in there behind him that is jean bellier heading back through the straight the three six eight plate in there is three, Chris Carries, Car Carriasso in there in that three spot at the moment. The Dutch is in there as well. That's going to be Michael Janssen heading back through to the stripe. He's going to pick up a top four, but it is Ruiz taking the one spot. Good, Yonkers on track. Latvia picking up a whole shot in that first turn. Who's in there with him? Got to be Argentina, Zalazar on the 3-2-6. Picking it up as they come back through the straight. Colombia in there in three and four. That's got to be Morales and Herrera as they come in and out of that second turn. Who's in three? Who's in four? Looking like it is the 3-3-4 three, three, plate in there in three. That is Juan Herrera in there in the three spot at the moment. Jeffrey Morales in there in four. Heading down the final straight. Good. Jan your world number two, going to pick up the Moto win. Late charge from Herrera, he's going to pick up two on the line. 40 plus women's cruiser, race 72. Watts, Kramer, Meyer, Spears, Survey, Comercel and Decker heading on through the track. The 6-2-2 on the plate. That is Kirsten Meyer out of Germany heading into turn number two. The Netherlands in there as well. Wendy Brondecker on the sixth plate. That is, she is your current world number six. Heading back through this third straight. France in there in three and four. The 6-1-2 and the 6-1-8. That is Survey and Comercel. Heading into the final turn, looking good for Kirsten Meyer. She's going to pick up the moto win. Heading down to the line, making it three from three. Late charge from the French woman on the line. That was Ludivine Surveyor picking up the two spots. Race 73, a more 40 plus women's cruiser coming at you. That is a 616 on the plate. Represent 
Marie Forestier. So France out there in the one spot. Canada in there in two. Looking like that is Bianca Maya on the 6-1-0. GB chasing her down in three and four. That's looking like the 6-6-3. Got to be Coach Chizzy. Where are you, Team GB? We're in three and four at the moment. Chizua at the moment in there in three. That is Kirsty Freer in four. Down the final straight, though, on a charge. Forestier. Looking like she's going to take the moto win. Late charge from Chizua. She's going to pick up the two spot on the line. Out on track, France going one and two. Viva la France at the moment. It is the 619 and the 614. Leaning out to De La Cluse and Herbard at the moment into that second turn. Looking good out front. GB in there in three. That's got to be. The uh, 623 plate of Josephine Burston heading on through into the final turn. Look at the move out front though. Here comes Herbal around the outside trying to make it stick. Who's going to get it? Down to the stripe. Della Clouse being pushed out as they head to the line. It was Herbal that took the moto win. Leah Pearson leads this one out for GB, heading back through the second straight. Who's in there with her? That's looking like the 617 on the plate. Amelie Masson out of France. So it's France in there in two, being chased down by the Swiss and American rider is coming to that second turn. Looking like that could be Florence Julia on the 614 there in three. The 6-5-2 in there in four, Misty Privé out of America heading into the final turn, but it is Pearson out front. She's going to pick up this moto win as it head down towards the line. She's taken two seconds so far. She's going to pick up the win. And it is France in there in two with Masson on the 6-1-7. Moto 76 now on track. Germany out front. Christiana Weisner leading it into that second turn. Oh, USA getting it all wrong on the second straight. That was Jenna Williams. She's straight back up to her feet. Put your hands together for Jenna. She's going to finish her lap. That is the 649 in there in the two spot. Angela Jolly heading in and out of the final turn. Weissner out front. Jolly in two. Jennifer Lawler in there in that top three spot as they head down towards the line. It's going to be Weissner picking up that moto win. More 40 plus of women's cruiser action coming your way in race number 77. Looking like we have got GB in there in two, but it is the Netherlands leading it out. That is the 639 on the plate. Alpha Inc. Looking good in there in that one spot. Taking two thirds so far as she's leading out of this moto. Who's chasing her down in and out of that second turn? Looking like it could be Lee Pendleton on the 632. Check out the battle out from the 609 out of Canada. In there in three line, McPhee heading into the final turn under pressure from the French woman. That is Delphine Latier looking for a way around the Canadian down the final street. I think Latier is going to find it. She's going to pick up a top three finish, but it is Alpha Ring out front taking that moto win. Your current world number four leads out race number 78 with a country woman in there in about three at the moment. That's a 604 making a move around the outside. Angela Potter out of Australia splitting up the GB party, but it is Rebecca Go out front on the four place. She's your current world number four looking to retain that title later on today. If not, then she's looking to get higher up on the podium out front then goal now under pressure from potter as they head into the final straight that's going to be manda hemstock on the 624 in there in three marshall brook in there in four it's going to be three gb riders inside the top four last moto for the 40 plus women's cruiser now on track gb one and two that's looking like anita wong in there in that two spot chasing down kim batsford out front Australia in the mix, in there, in three. That is Sandra Cameron on the 603 as they go in and out of that second turn. Looking good at the moment for Batsford out front. Wong doing all she can to close the gap as they head for the final turn. Australia still in there, in three, the 646. In there, in four, that is Angie Lust out of the USA, down the final straights. Ireland in there, in five, Leanne McClintock, but it is going to be Batsford and Wong one and two. Sorry. 
45, 49 year old men's cruiser now on track. 377 on the plate. That is Ben Thompson out of Australia. Looking good into that second turn. Mexico's in there as well. Rodrigo Gomez on the 406. Australia, Mexico as it stands at 387. That is Darren Speedy Reedy out of GBs inside the top three at the moment. His two countrymen in there behind him in four and five, scrapping it out for that top four spot, but it's going to be Australia bringing it down to the line with Ben Thompson taking the moto win. All righty then, uh, Judd Visa, the 411 from Holland. He's having a battle here with a rider from Mexico. Uh, that is a uh, Gomez. I don't know why I say it like that all the time. <laughs> Mario Alberto Perez Gomez. I put on a little Mexico accent. Uh, but he looks good on the bike, but the Dutchies looking good as well. Who's that in three? Looks like the rider from Chile on the 374. I beg your pardon. It's Argentina. It's uh, Juan Ignacio Felda. Felda from Argentina. And the rider from Great Britain going round the outside. Round the outside. That is, uh, well, I'm not sure who that was, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, it could have been Martin Merrill, I believe. Here he is, my good friend, 8-Ball. Let's see if I could not put him off this time. Uh, leading this one out, USA is Pure, is it? In there in uh, two, yeah, Tommy Pruitt. Uh, Jules Allen in this one with a four at the moment. He's got a bit of a gap to five, though, so he could probably relax. And he, with two thirds and a fourth, he's going to be in the next round. The quarterfinals for Julian Allen. He might even show us a little turn bar on this straight. Let's see what he's got. No, just nice manuals. Took it smooth. Well done, Jules. <laughs> 83 on track, 45 to 49. This is a rider from Great Britain leading this one out. It's going to be Glenn Cartwright at the front of the pack. Glenn looking good there. Uh, the rider from America in there into the four. One, one, is that? Uh, no, it's not. It's the 417 of Corey Skinner. Uh, not seen Eric Root this year. That's a shame. He normally shows an appearance. Uh, France in there in three with the triple three of uh, Patrick Bernard as uh, Clint Cartwright takes a win here in race number 83. He's had a first, a second, and a first. He's easily through to the quarterfinals. Uh, Philippe Bellamy, Bellamy for La France, the world number six leads this one out. Gonna look for the rider for Great Britain there in two. Uh, not sure who that is, let's check them out as they come past me. It's gonna be the 393 of Stuart Little. He's there in two uh, with the rider from USA. Nesta Baquero. Baquero USA has been battled hard here from the rider from Great Britain. Uh, the 401's coming on through. That's Abdul El Kindi. Looks like he's been training for the Worlds and he needs a third place here. Uh, the rider from Great Britain. Great Britain makes some noise. Let's see if we can bring El Kindi home. Yeah, you did it for him. That third place might just be enough to see him through to the next round. That was all you, Great Britain. That was all you. Don't forget, 1-8 finals immediately after the last qualification moto. 1-8 finals for the 15-16 boys and the 50 and over cruisers will be immediately after the last qualification moto as the world number seven of Yann Gay takes the lead here in this one from France. And the rider in there in two was Xavier Ringo and the USA in three with Emory Blee. Emory. I guess that is. Oh. Okay, Slovakia. Philip Silak is there at the front of the pack with the 381 of Mark Bruno from France in there. In two, we see the rider in green coming on through there. Who is that? It's going to be the rider from South Africa. No, it's going to be the rider from Brazil. It's our good friend from the UK, Ricardo Diaz dos Santos. He's there in third. Local guy to us here in the UK, but He's obviously riding for his country, Brazil, and taking a good position, making his way through to the quarters with a second, third, and third. I want to say that was Damien Mead leading this one out, but I want to take fate. It is Damien Mead. Looking good, Meady on the stay strong, out in front, Nigel Smith there in two. Let's have a look at Smithy's results. He's had a fourth and a fifth. So second place in this one for Nigel Smith would be a great result as Brett Knight pushes through in third. He's had a fourth and a fourth. So these three riders from Great Britain make some noise for them as they come down the last straightaway. These three guys go through to the next round. Oh yeah, we'll see them in the quarters. 
Oh, the young ladies, the powder puffs, the eight to 12 year old Gemma Tolofsson, Vivian Marianne, Dusty Schroeder, Antonella Pereira, Alfonsina Romano, Sophie Van Solen, and Paige Kafka Cunnison from Great Britain. But it's the American rider leading this one out. Which American rider is it? I think it's going to be Gemma Tolofsson. Tolleson there for the United States, Australia there in two with uh, Dusty Schroeder and the world number seven of our Fosina Romano from Argentina making a move in the last turn. Coming out of that last turn in second now as they come down the last straight, the uh, ladies there on the cruisers, eight to 12, going through to semi-finals. Moto number 89, 8 to 12 year old girls cruiser on track. USA 1, 2, 3 at the moment. The 507 leading it out. Ch uh, Chase Berrian heading into that second turn. Got her country woman right there behind her. That is Madison Thompson. Your world number six heading on through. So it is Burian and Thompson at the moment. The 508 in there as well. That is looking like Ellie Pierce heading into the final turn. Two Aussies in there in four and five. Last straight action. It is going to be Burian, Thompson, Pierce. One, two, three. That's how they're going to finish. Australia in there for four and five. Moto number 90 now on track. USA leading it out. Got to be. Harper Vescuso on the 509. So Vescuso out there in one under pressure from Kwazumi out of Japan. So it is USA and Japan at the moment. South Africa in there as well. Riley Van Herden out on the five plate. Your world number five in there in that three spot of the minute. The 512 in there in four. That is Melia Alvarez out of the USA. Check out the battle out front though. Still looking good for Vescuso. But hanging on to it as it heads towards the line. Kwazumi's going to have to settle for that two spot. Van Heerden in there for that top three. Looking like we've got four United States riders in this one. Five of them, sorry. And they're all one, two, three, four, and five. The five, one, three. And the three plate leading it out of the minute. That is Gomelik and Newton. In and out of that second turn. So Gomelik is leading this one out on the 5-1-3 plate. Your world number three is in there in that two spot, chasing it down. The 5-0-6 in there in that three spot at the moment. That is Camden Cole heading into the final turn. In and out they go. Looking good for the top three Americans. Heading to the line. The move has been made. It's going to be Newton taking the win. Vescuso for that two spot and Cole in three. 25, 29 year old men's cruisers now on track. Four Frenchies leading this one out. It's getting busy in the first turn for about that four spot of the minute. The two, seven, seven of Julian Bridel. Looking good at the moment. Bridel's in there in the one spot. Who's that chasing him down? Got feed Dupont on the four plate. That is the 270 plate in there in three. As you bowl out of France. So the front three riders looking good for France at the moment. The United States rider, Dalian Prisbray. In there in that top four spot, but taking it to the line, that was looking a lot. Bridel. More 25, 29 year old cruiser action coming your way. That is Switzerland leading this one out. Benjamin Bataillon on the 286 plate. So Bataillon in there in the one spot. That's looking like Kevin Elvers on the 283, chasing it down for the Netherlands. So it's Switzerland and the Netherlands, one and two at the moment. Who's that in there in three? Got to be Germany picking it up. That is Jordi Schneider on the 279 plate. They're in there behind him. The other German rider, that is David Jackal on the 278. So it's going to be Germany picking up three and four as they bring it down to the line. Late charge from the other. The Swiss rider in the race that looked like it was Dokumun. Race number 94 now into that first turn. Argentina leading this one out. Facundo Rosas out there in the one spot at the moment, being chased down by the 282 on the plate. That is Winand Dudewind. So Dudewind is in there in that two spot, doing it for the Netherlands. He's being chased down as well by the rider out of Bolivia. That is looking like Facundo Fernandez. Fernandez then inside the top three at the moment, looking for a way round. Dudewind in that final turn. Has he found it? I don't think he quite has. Down the final straight then. It is going to be the Argentinian Rosas going to take the moto win. And it was Dudewind in there in that two spots.
Looking like the last moto of the day, ladies and gents. Check him out, South, South Africa on the jersey. Brandon Pratt, 285 on the plate. He's looking good into that second turn. The French rider in there with him. In the two spot, Vincent Leon on the 269 plate. Here comes the Aussie in there as well. That is the 267 heading into the final turn. Daniel Morris. He's in the mix, looking for a way round into that top two spot. Last straight action, looking like he's Paul Emery. He's now going to pick up the moto win. Pratt in there for that two spots. That's your moto's done and dusted, ladies and gents. We are going to move on to the 1-8th finals. All righty then, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the 1-8 finals. If you've not been to BMX before now, it is the top four that go through to the next round. If you're not inside that top four, that's it. Your day is done. It's harsh, but it's true. All right, then, here we are with the 1-8 finals. Top four going through. Declan McGee from Australia. He's had three wins from three, but he's not leading this one out. It's Argentina. Valentino Velojo. He's there with the guy from the one three one coming on through. Mari Preston. Then we see Declan McGee from Australia, who's got the all-important four spot. It's USA. Ian Westerman. Westerman's there. Oh, wow, what a move from him on the third straightaway. Keeping it going. A much smaller rider compared to the rest but it's Valentino it's McGee it's Preston and it's Ian Westerman going through to the quarterfinals here we here we go this is a final number two 15 to 16 cruisers we've got Gabe Simpson heading towards turn number one Colby Gunn's in there as well and we've got Louis Tay Edwards in the mix for Great Britain it is Gabe Simpson out there in one the 202 Colby Gunn going through in two where is Flynn Trellincourt he's in there in four for Great Britain at the moment pure knockout racing four going through four going out it's all about that fourth spot and Flynn Trellincourt's got it at the minute the Colombian battling with Louis Tay Edwards into the finals and oh down Jellicott dives underneath. Colby Gunn in that fourth spot. Gabe Simpson gets it. Elzenga threw in two. The third 15, 16 year old cruiser, eighth final on track. Check him out, your world number two. Got to be Sebastian Lopez out of Bolivia, leading this one out into the turn. Lopez in there in that one spot. Who's there with him? Looking like we've lost a couple of riders. That is the USA in there in that two spot on the 201 CJ Carriasso. So it is looking like Lopez and Carriasso at the moment. Who's that in there in three? Looking like we have got the rider out of New Zealand picking it up. That is Cooper Richardson. Richardson's in a qualifying spot. Carriasso's in there in three now. Here comes the Frenchie down the final straight. Who's going to pick it up? Looking like that could be the 146 of Levan Lucray. The fallen rider was Zach Green. He went down in that first turn. With Nicholas Leleke. Both riders up and finishing their laps. Here we go, 1-8 final number four on track for the 15-16 boys on the inside, but it's a rider from France, Matt Dubreuil, the world number eight, leads this one out from last year. We see uh, France in there in two. Who's that in three? It's Ecuador on the 140. It's uh, Cariel Santalan, Santalan from Ecuador, who's got the fourth spot. Oh, he's gone. The rider from Ecuador has gone. New Zealand in there, and it's a rider from Great Britain in the four there. The 176 of Ben Weiss. Weiss is there as he comes down the last straightaway. Two 
French riders, the rider from New Zealand of Nicholas Cowie and Ben Weiss is going to get through to the quarterfinals. Big old crash there from the Ectorian. The bike's still up on the turn. Must have flown an absolute mile there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to get involved on social media with the hashtag power of the bike. Hashtag power of the bike on all your social media posts. You might see yourselves on the big screen over the next few days. And uh, don't, also don't forget that your official merchandise is still available in the uh, expo area. Go and buy yourselves a nice little souvenir of Glasgow, Scotland with 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships. Take a nice sweatshirt home or a hat or something and be the envy of all your friends. Okay, so the racing coming fast and furious in the eight finals here. World Challenge Day One. Here we go. Fifteen, sixteen, boys. We are looking at Cameron Gatt in lane number three for Australia. He's got an early charge heading down towards turn number one. Uh, Lucas Rubber and uh, Jacques Gebby in there as well doing it for New Zealand where is he? He's in fifth he needs to be in fourth he's chasing down the 142 of Matteo Jacobin Jacobin in that fourth spot and the New Zealand rider wants it and he's in there in five so has Gebby got anything for him? Gats out there in front the six of uh, Lucas Rubber and the 182 of Shion Fiura of uh, Japan in and out of the final corner Gebby's winding it up down the final straight has he got enough to get himself through? I think he has Oh, the Japanese rider might have been unlucky. Eighth final number six heading down the hill into the first turn. Haku Nomura on the inside looking like he's going to pick up the whole shot. Nomura leads it out. Check out on oh, someone. He's in a qualified spot in there in about four of the minute. The Argentinians on the outside. That's what looking like it is. Salazar. Salazar's in there in that two spot working his way through. Throwing in a high low in the second turn. He now leads the race. Nomura's in there in two. The 205 in three. That is Jaden Mitchell. Oh, and someone's in there in four. La Hal in five, chasing down Esselmont down the final straight. Has he got enough left in the tank? Esselmont's going to find the final qualifying spots. One eight final number seven on the gate. France, Argentina, Great Britain, and Colombia in this one. Looks like Colombia is out in front. Japan on the outside. Uh, Marolanda. Oh, this rider's is cutting on through. One rider's is unclipped. He's out of it. Colombia, France, one and two with a French rider coming on through in three. Jules Herbert. It's going to be uh, Trino Fornage and the rider from Colombia is uh, Marulanda. 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 He's there, but a the fourth place rider. Uh, is that Argentina? I believe it is Argentina. Ruben Garcia, but who's this coming through? It's the rider from Great Britain. It could be Lewis Fletcher, I believe. I'm not sure who's going to make it through. It was Lewis Fletcher getting through there. I didn't recognize him for a moment. Wow.
15, 16 year old boys, the last of the eight finals. Brady O'Neill in this one, looking like he's going to be the first to rise. He's got the Colombian over uh, Granada Sanchez right there next to him as well. Steph Tristan Raid working his way in as well. And we've got uh, Amaya of Colombia, two South Americans in this one. One from Team USA and one from Estonia. So it's a real international mix up. USA Brady O'Neill working his way into the first stop. Look at the rider from Ireland trying to get in there. Brandon Mallon in and out of the final call. He's got to beat off the South American to make it through. Is he going to get it? Look at him drag racing down the street. O'Neill, Mallon, Mallon on the line. It's so close. Couldn't separate him. The first eighth final for the 50 plus male cruiser headed for the first turn to on youth. The Kiwi's looking like he's going to pick up the whole shot. Your current world champion, youth leads it out. Who's that in there with him? Got to be the fire plate of Olivier and Bert. And Bert's in there in that two spot. The two Belgians going through in three and four at the moment. Looking like we've got Ooms in there and De Fischer. De Fischer's on the final, final qualifying spot at the moment, but he's got the Brit right there behind him. John Bentley looking for a way back into that top qualifying spot. He's in there in five, looking for a high low in the final turn. Who's going to get it? De Fischer looking like he might hang on to his head down towards the line. Bentley unlucky in five. Riders really watch the gate. Who's got the speed to take the win? Check it out there in the middle was Luttrell and Hilly. Two of the favourites here this weekend. Look at Hilly on the inside on the cruiser. Doing it for the Pure Bikes and TGB. Luttrell's in there in two. Australia in there in three. It's going to be a Carl Mustin. Where is Archibald at the moment? He's in about three or four. Uh, got a bit of work to do to get past the rider from Holland. Uh, the rider from Holland is uh, Laden Diggerbrook. Uh, Laden Diggerbrook. He's there in four. Has Archibald got it coming down this last straightaway? He's great. In his team, he's trying to get past. It's Holland versus Great Britain. Who's it going to be? I think it's Holland going through. Oh, Brett Archibald out, and he's from Scotland. Here we go, more 50 plus cruiser men. Let's have a look who's heading down the hill. We've got the local hero, Raymond Reed, in this one, doing it for Scotland. In and out of the turn, though, it is Ian Archibald, I think, leading it down the straight. So the local rider, one of the other ones out in front right now, Bingham in there in two. Here comes Lamoglia of Brazil, working his way into the top four. He trains some of the fastest riders in the world, so he knows a trick or two, but he's under pressure from uh, Frank Sabraya. Sabraya on the inside, making his move, diving underneath. Lamoglia under pressure. Who's going to get him down the final straight? Bingham's going to go through in second. Lamoglia in three. France going through in four. I just don't know which one. Eight final number 11. 12, lining up on the gate. Wearing in the welcome flags and feeling seldom separate on the street. Lovingly protected like it never happened, sleeping with the sea. Here we go then, eighth final, number 12 now on track. Check him out on the inside, the Pink Panther. Got to be Jean Ducos, looking like he's going to pick up a whole shot into the turn. Ducos out there in the one spot, who's the, on the eight plate in behind him? Bob Van Vesterop. Vesterop's working his way up the inside for the Dutchies. He now leads the race, so he's Ducos in there in two. Who's picking up three, looking like it could be the three plate. Oh, 
We've lost Frederic Manager. So it is now the 439 of Sebastian Picard. He's in a qualifying spot in there in three. Who's the British rider in four? Kevin Sykes. He's looking like he's going to take it through to the quarterfinals. It's going to be Vesterov out in one, Dukos in two, Picard in three, Sykes in four. Put your hands together, ladies and gents, for Frederic Menager. Right, last of the eight finals for the 50 plus cruiser men. It looks like a posse of Frenchmen heading down towards turn number one. He's just got to sort out the order. Dave Lindsay in there in six. He's one of the local guys out of Scotland. It's the old five and the six going one and two. Uh, Swan Del Mas, Christophe, can he throw? Those guys are leading it out. Who's racking up behind him? It's all about that uh, four spot. Nicholas Tarris is in there as well. It's the 4-4-2 and the 4-3-7 battling for it. Silvio Rizzo and Stefan Voltier out of the final corner. I think it's going to be Rizzo. He's going to get that fourth. Silvio Rizzo takes that final qualification spot. Dave Lindsay out in six. I will miss those pink race pants. Yeah. That's pretty mental, right? That was just the 1 8 finals. It was insane, Liam. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 20 minute break now, a 20 minute break. 20 minute pause before we come back with the uh, quarterfinals. So take some hydration, put your sunscreen on. 20 minute pause, and uh, we'll be back with the quarterfinals in 20 minutes, approximately 20 past two.
Rhythm.
Glasgow Cycling fans, are you having a good day? Glasgow Cycling fans, I said, are you having a good day? Make some noise if you've been enjoying the races so far. I've got a little request. There is a French rider with a black Mercedes who is parked on Lincoln Avenue with the reg plate FC454HD. If that is your car, then can you please go and move it? And I'm sure that you know because you are here, but there are so many cycling events happening, not just in Glasgow, but all across Scotland for the Cycling World Championships. So let's take a little look at the top 10 moments from yesterday. Even world champions. The biggest cycling event in the world ever is coming to Glasgow and across Scotland. But it's about much more than just bikes. It's about 13 incredible UCI world championships over 11 breathtaking days. It's about the journey that it takes to get there. And it's about everyone coming together. It's screaming at the top of our lungs. It's the great outdoors and the great indoors. It's raising hopes, raising the stakes and raising the next generation of UCI world champions. It's where heroes will rise, legends may fall, records are broken and dreams come true. It's friends, fun, passion, and the power of the bike. And it's winning that jersey. It's the 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships. Now is your chance. Now is our moment. Now we ride. There's only a couple of moments left before the next bout of races and action gets underway. So I think it's time that we have an investigation about how you guys are feeling right here in the stadium. Neil, I believe that you are out and about to find out. Yeah, I'm in the East Stand this time. We've been over to the West Stand uh, a lot on, uh, today. So we've come over to the East Stand. I found somebody I know, actually. The, ch the chairman of Bournemouth BMX Club. Uh, I'm here with... Michael Whitaker, I nearly forgot your name then. <laughs> Classic. I raced this guy all year and I nearly forgot his name. Michael, tell us about your role at Bournemouth BMX Club. Uh, I'm the chairman. I work with a great bunch of volunteers. We put on club races. We get kids on bikes. We get old men like me on bikes. And we get ladies on bikes. We just have bikes and have good fun, really. I meet people like you. Okay, that's great. And uh, just because there might be a few people in the grandstands that haven't been to a BMX race before. I understand when you've got a club and you run a club, there's always bikes for hire and equipment for hire. And so nobody has to go and spend a load of money to try BMX, right? No, we got uh, bikes, bikes to lend out to people. We got helmets, gloves, and it's free to hire them. You just come along, have a taste of session, get a bug for it. And that's what happens. It's what we all probably did. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a really inclusive sport and it's nice to keep it that way. Facilities like this are brilliant, but it's got to start at grassroots. And that's where, what we want to do at Bournemouth, to cater for that grassroots right up to the people who are comp competing here today and hopefully coming home with W plates. Yeah, well, I, I can remember, I'm, a, I'm an 80s BMX racer, so I raced at Bournemouth in the 80s, and the track is exactly in the same place. So 27 years for me back in the sport from 96, track's still in the same place, but it's a lot different now than the 80s, right? Yeah, we've, we've invested a lot into it. We like to keep it fresh and keep 
as the sport develops, we've got to keep the, the track developing to put up with the, uh, the demands of it. You know, we, 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 we have nothing like this, but uh, it's, uh, it's something to aim for. This track is fantastic, it scared the pants off me, but you know, a few rolls down the hill and you get used to it, and the hat's off to everyone involved. It's a brilliant facility, and it's just, it'd be great to have more like this in the country. Looking forward to Cardiff coming with Hugh Hoppin and his team there. So, yeah, it's good. It's uh, just come ride bikes. It's fun. What's the worst that could happen? Well, broken bone normally, Michael. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a few. What about you guys at the back here? You bike riders, have you any broke any bones before? Really? And what about you? Uh, almost broke my elbow. Almost broke your elbow. That's not really, that doesn't really count, does it? I got like scars and everything from pins in my wrist and all sorts. It's shoulders and broken legs and all sorts. But anyway, listen, um, we're all good here in the East Stand. Everybody from Great Britain, make some noise over here behind me. <laughs> Michael, you didn't get through to the next round. What happened? I didn't go fast enough. <laughs> OK, we're moving on to the quarterfinals now, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it gets really busy. Let's see you trackside. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, we are about two minutes away from the start of racing. The quarterfinals are coming up, so I'm just going to look around the grandstand over here and see. Now, I heard a lot of noise from Japan. Japan, where are you? Japan, where are you? Make some noise for Japan. Got a lot of good riders out there. Okay, good stuff. And what about uh, my Dutch friends, the Dutchies? Where are the Dutchies? Here we go. There's a few Dutchies there. Why are you not wearing orange? Okay, that's good enough. What about France? Viva la France! <laughs> Ireland, I can see some Irish people in the grandstands. Here we go. And uh, what about Italy? Anyone from Italy here? No. Oh, there's a couple. There's a couple. What about over on the West Stand? Where's Scotland over on the West Stand? Where are you, Scotland? <laughs> oh, and there's some behind me as well. Um, look, look, zoom in on those orange people. Look, can you see over there, cameraman? There's some orange. There's some Dutchies, look. Hello, Holland. Yeah, the Netherlands. <laughs> Enjoying the racing. Are you getting ready for the quarterfinals, ladies and gentlemen? We're about a minute away from the quarterfinals. Anyone in here from Great Britain at all? And what about United States of America? Yeah, USA, USA. Oh, we better give a shout out to Australia. And Latvia. In the mix with a box of tricks and New Zealand. Right, quarterfinals coming up. Everybody make some noise for the quarterfinals. Yeah, good stuff. This stand is louder than the West Sound. Should we have a quick competition? There's no riders up there. They're getting ready. It's fine. Okay, we'll do the noise uh, competition a little bit later on. Quarterfinals coming up on the gate. All right, very, very nearly quarterfinal time. As Neil just said, we are about to go racing. We are looking forward to uh, some more superb knockout racing four going through four going out it's a terrible excuse to have a sports burger but you know at least you've got the opportunity to go and uh, drown your sorrows a little bit so uh, yeah looking forward to it and lewis all been good for you so far has it all been good for you so far some absolutely fantastic racing you could definitely tell that the world champs is here everyone's stepping it up a couple of notches some brilliant moves some fast first straights Looking for some more of the same in these quarterfinals. Yeah, and the moves get more desperate as well the further we get into the competition. I've got my eye on the last turn because there's been some absolutely superb moves that have gone on there. And I've got a feeling we're about to see some more. As we start with the quarterfinals, if you'd like to uh, just 
Focus yourselves on the top of that five meter start hill here at the UCI Cycling World Championships, BMX Racing, Glasgow, Scotland. We are about to go with the quarterfinals for the 15-16 Cruiser Boys. The nerves are starting to jangle. We are at the business end of the afternoon. Also like to give a quick shout out to everybody who's watching on the UCI YouTube channel. There's about 5,000 people watching as far as I know, so we could always do with some more. So send a message to your granny, your auntie, your uncle, your next door neighbor, your mate Jim down at the shop. Tell them to tune in, get on that UCI YouTube channel and they can watch the live stream. Let's get it to 10,000 viewers and not 5,000. So tell everybody you know, stick it on your social, social media channels using the hashtag power of the bike. Let's get those viewer numbers up on the UCI YouTube live feed because you're about to see some absolutely awesome racing. So first rack of riders up there, Cameron Gatz, Valentino Vallejo, Haku Nomura, Jesse Elzenga, Tino Fonage, CJ Cariasco from the USA, Facundo Emilia, sorry, Emilia Amea Facundo, and for Great Britain, Benjamin Weiss. All lining up there. Only four can go through to the semi-finals. We are about to find out which four it will be. And if you have a rider up there that you're supporting, please, please, please make as much, much noise for them as humanly possible. Australia, Argentina, Japan, the Netherlands, France, the United States, Colombia, and Great Britain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Quarterfinals time, World Challenge Day 1. First up, 15, 16-year-old boy cruisers. Four going through, four going out. It's about to get hectic. Here we go.
First of the quarterfinals for the 15 and 16 year old boys. I'm looking for Cameron Gant and Haku Nomura. And they're about to head into turn number one behind the Argentinian Valentino Vallejo. So Argentina out in front, Vallejo in one, Gat in two. That's uh, Nomura in there in three. But the all important question, who's got four? And it's Carriasco of uh, Team USA. USA in that final qualifying spot. Looks like the 190 of Jesse Elzenga has left himself a little bit too much to do. Gat's worked his way into the lead. The Japanese rider in three. Who's going to get that four spot? CJ Carrasso. USA going through. Second quarter final of the day, here's the track. Check them out, heading for the turn. Who's that on the inside looking like the Colombian? Samuel Marolanda. Marolanda leads it out. Here comes the Kiwi. Cooper Richardson's in a qualified spot in there in two. The 204 in there as well. Ian Westerman out of the USA. He's in there in about four at the moment. Here comes the other Kiwi looking for a way in. That's all. Oh, we've lost the Frenchie on the straight. So it is New Zealand in qualified spots. Cowie's in there in three. Here comes Gabe Simpson down the final straight. Has he got enough left in the tank? Westerman's going to hang on to it. Close race in there. Gabe Simpson just coming up short. Next up, Lopez, Haber, Sanchez, Gautier, McGee, Gebby, Esselbont, and Gunn. Looking at the outside of that gate, we've got Declan McGee and Jack Gebby Antipodeans. And Declan McGee is working his way over from lane number eight. He's made Bruce Morris back in Australia. will be absolutely stoked about that one. He's in there in one. Looks like we've got the Bolivian rider Lopez going through in two. The Colombian Sanchez, he's in there in three. Who's got the four? Gebby's got all the work to do with the minute. We are looking at the 150 and that belongs to Jules Haber. Jules Haber in that final qualifying spot. Somebody's dived underneath. Couldn't quite see who it was. Battle of the Frenchies to the line. Who's going to get it? Oh, far too close to call. Lining up on the gate. Quarterfinal number four for the 15, 16 year old Cruiser boys. Lucre, Fletcher, Mitchell, Drellincourt, Murray, Robert, O'Neill and Dubreo. Here we go then, quarterfinal number four, here's the track. Check him out, heading for the turn, that looks like Lucas Robber. He's looking to pick up the whole shot. Robert leads it out on the six plate. Who's that in there with him? Got to be the USA picking it up on the 200 plate. That is Brady O'Neill heading into the second turn. The Aussies in there as well. Preston Murray on the 131. He's got the Frenchie right there behind him. That is Matt Dubreil. Dubreil's in a qualifying spot inside the top four. Here comes the 169 of Flynn Trellincourt in there in five. Out of the final turn, Robert. He's going to bring it home in this quarter final. Looking like we're going to have Murray in there as well. O'Neill's through in that three spots, and it was Matt Dubreil. Braille rounding up the top four. Right, although we've got the youth 
Luttrell, Taris, Lamoglia and Sykes. Right, Cruise Event 50 plus quarter final number one. Only five riders on track. Four are going through, one's going out. Lamoglia of Brazil is in there at the minute. Right in the middle of the pack, it looks like the British rider. Kevin Sykes on the outside looking in, but he's managed to steal his way in. We are looking at a Newth, I think. Dion Newth of New Zealand. He's in there in one. That's Nicholas Tarris going through in two. Uh, Luttrell, Paul Luttrell in three. Sykes in four. Lamoglia's got it all to do in five. Has he left himself a bit too much? It looks like he has. But New Zealand, your riders are going one and two in this quarter final. France going through in three. And Kevin Sykes of Great Britain in four. Second quarter final. 50 plus men's cruiser. Nico Oons, Silvio Rizzo, Sebastian Picard, Mitch Bingham, and Alan Hill. Here we go then, quarterfinal number six, Hilly's on the inside for GB, heading for the turn, you cover at world number four, looking like he's going to pick up a whole shot, and he's done so, the two Frenchies picking up two and three as they come out of the corner, the 4-4-2 in there in that two spot, that is Silvio Rizzo, Rizzo picking up that two spot then, it's looking like Nico Ooms on the 4-2-8, is in there in three, who's in the all-important four spot, check it out, there's a battle on between Picard and Bingham as you head back towards the final corner, Picard's on the inside, Bingham throws in a high-low for the USA, France, USA, who's going to get it as they bring it to the line, all oh, both of them get it a bit wrong, it's going to be Picard, hanging on to it for France. Right, next up, more 50 plus cruiser males, quarterfinals, Swan Delmas, Ian Archibald, Jean Ducos, De La Heat. Walter de Vischer and Mr. Vladinga Brook of the Netherlands. The Pink Panther in lane number three. Right, Delmas, Archibald, Ducos de la Heat, De Vischer, and Vradingerbroek. I hope that's correct. Best of luck, gents. Right, here we go. Quarterfinal number seven. These are the men, 50 plus, and it's the Pink Panther, Jean Ducos de la Heat. Leading it out of turn number one. His countryman right there behind him, Swan Delmas. Where is he and Archibald? The uh, local guy, he's in there in three right now with the Belgian Volta de Visser. Trying to work his way in there. De Visser under pressure now from Vladingerbroek. He's making his move as they come through the straight. The Frenchman working his way in from Archibald. Looking good in three to work his way into a semi-final, Scott. So it's going to be a France one, two. Archibald's going to get the three. The Belgian rider, Volta de Vischer, taking that fourth spot. Vardingerbroek, unlucky in five. Alrighty then. We're looking to the big screen for the results of that one. Just checking who got through. 
That was the previous race. Alan Hill, Silva Rizzo, Nico Um, Sebastian Pichard, the four riders going in the previous race. Now we see the other result on the screen. France get two riders through with the Pink Panther in Archibald from Scotland. And Great Britain going through. And the fisherman, Walter de Vischer going through from Belgium. All righty then, next quarter final coming up. Back down to the track with you, Rich and Lewis. Quarterfinal number eight on the gate. Sabria Mishin in bird. Tani True and Vesterop. Fourth quarterfinal for the 50 plus men now heading through the first straight. Bob van Vesterop leading it into the turn for the Netherlands. He is your current world number eight. So the eight going one and two with the six plate. That is Christophe Canitro in there in that two spot for France. So it's the Netherlands and France one and two at the moment. Oh, check out the move in the second turn. That looks like the Aussie of Mushin in there in the qualifying spot. At the moment, the five plate of Olivier Invert. He's in there in three. So it is the eight, the six and the five at the moment, bringing it down the final straight, Van Vesterop. He's going to take it to the line. Can he throw for two? Imbert in three and Mushin in four. Yeah, another great quarter final there from the 50 and overs. The racing's fast and furious here at the UCI Cycling World Championships in Glasgow, Scotland. As we turn our attention to the big screen, look for the result on that one. Just to make sure we know who's going through, where you see your rider and the country, let's hear a big shout out from you in the stands. All the fans in the stands doing a great job here. We're just trying to give the big show to the people watching back at home on the live stream. There's your confirmation, Bob Van Vesterop from Holland. Two riders from France, Christophe Cantillotto and Olivier Imbert. And from Australia, it was Carl Mustin going through in four. All right, quarterfinal number nine, Cruiser Boys 8 to 12 coming up on the gate. Full gate of eight in this one. Riders from USA, Great Britain, Japan, Colombia, Czech Republic, and Great Britain. Quarterfinals for the eight to 12 year old boys in this one. Let's have a look who's got the best of the start. That looks like Eli Lamb. He's going to drive the British fans wild as they go into turn number one, but he's bumping and banging elbows as they're giving himself a bit too much to do. The Dutch rider trying to get in there as well. That's Pim Palmer's. He's in there in four, tracking down the 32 of uh, Valencia Vargas out of Colombia. And Adam Patrick has moved his way up into that fourth spot. But Eli Lamb of Great Britain holding on in two, chasing down the Japanese rider. That is Haruto Iramura, who's going to lead it into the final turn. Lambs under all kinds of pressure as they go in and out that final corner. It's all about the fourth spot. Can Eli Lamb hang on? Is he going to hold it to the line? He's going to work his way in in three. I have a feeling it might have been Pim Palmer's who stole that fourth place. Yeah, first quarterfinals there for the young guns on the cruisers and it was a close battle with the rider from great britain hanging on in there and the rider from the usa and the other rider from great britain going down in the second term but they're back up
All righty then, uh, quarterfinal number nine coming up. Czech Republic, Japan, Holland, Colombia, USA, and two riders from Great Britain. Quarterfinal number 10, Australia, Colombia, Czechy, Belgium, Holland, and Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. semi-final number 10 hits the track Aussie's on the inside who's going to pick up the whole shot as they head to the turn that looks like it could be Sesha picking up the whole shot Aussie one and two the Belgian dips under in the turn it is a 24 then it did a Sesha going to one and two with the 16 plate of Hudson Daly as they head into that second corner Belgium's in the mix in there in three Gus Lennart Lennart's in the mix at the moment check out the move from the Colombian La Couture La Couture's in a qualifying spot the 50 53 though of Mayer. Sam Mayer out of the Netherlands has worked his way into the top four. Oh, he's stuck in a dive and in the turn. Lacuture's going to hang on to it. Lacuture's going to pick up the final qualifying spot. Wow, wow, wow. Lennart in there as well. Sesha and Daly picking up. Yeah, great stuff again from the young guns there in the quarterfinals. Looking for the result was the Colombian. Lucky enough to get through, I think he was. We'll just wait for the confirmation. Make some noise for your riders if they get through. Yeah, it's a good shot of Richard Lewis. <laughs> All righty, then there's your result. Two Aussies going through. A rider from Belgium, and it was the Colombian that made it through. Maria Lacouture. Well done, guys. Heat number 11 coming up. All right, heat 11 for the 8 to 12 year old boys Van Avont, Donnelly, Murky, Ryan, Howell, Butterfield, Simmons, and Rueda Baez. Right, here we go. These are the 11 year old, uh, sorry, the 8 to 12 year old cruiser boys. We are looking at Band von Avon leading it into the turn. No, he's had the lead stolen away. Let's have a look. He's taken it from him. It looks like Team USA on the 72. That's going to be Landon Donnelly out there in front. But look at Island's Freddie Simmons. He's inside the top four. One rider's gone down on the second straight. But the question is can Freddie Simmons hang on to it? Because he's under pressure from Rico Ryan. Rico Ryan's worked him. Oh! Freddie Simmons tapped a wheel and hit the deck. That's left him wide open. Rico Ryan in there in three. Who's going to get the four? Is it going to be the USA? I think it will be. Might have been Jackson Howell. Not quite sure. I think it was oh, Ryan Burke, stuff there actually. The young guns unlucky to the Irish rider. Come on, Freddie Simmons. Well done, mate. Give him a round of applause. He was pushing it, took it to the max, and it didn't quite work. All righty, they're good stuff from those young guns. Just checking out the confirmation. Who made it through to the semi-finals as the young American just finishes his lap. I'm 
sure we'll see him on the 20 inch later in the week. Here's your confirmation then, Ben Van Over from Belgium going through USA with two riders going through, Ryder Murky and Rico Wright from New Zealand making it through with Landon Donnelly. All right, next heat, number 12, coming up. More cruisers, 8 to 12 challenge. Switzerland, Japan, America, Australia, and Spain. Semi quarterfinal number 12 now on track, heading for the first turn. Umazawa's on the inside for Japan. Who's going to get the whole shot? There are three American, four Americans in this one, and one of them is leading it out. Jacob Thiessen out there in the one spot. Umazawa's in there with him. Robin Martin Alonso is on a charge in there in three for Espana. At the moment, he's inside the top three. Who's picking up four? Looking like another American rider in there at the minute, the 68 feet of S. Spoon Wilk, here comes Kohler. He's in there about five or six at the moment. Got it all to do in and out of the final turn. Looking like we're going to have Thiessen, Umazawa, one and two down to the line. Robin Matan Alonso's in there as well. And the final qualifying spots was Espen Wilk. Yeah, give us a wave if you see us on your big screen. Say hi from the fans in the stands as we wait for the confirmation there of the quarterfinal. You can see the Aussies up the top, as always, claiming their ground. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. 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 Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Yeah. USA, 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 USA. All right, there's the result. Jacob Thiessen, Tawa Umezawa from Japan. Robin Matern Alonso, Espana, Espan Wilk from USA. Two riders from USA going through to the semi-finals. Okay, heat number 13, we move on to the cruisers. 13, 14 boys, Switzerland, Italy, France, Japan, and Holland in this one, the Netherlands, with one rider. Team on Kohler and William Gall on the inside, the Swiss and the Italian. It looks like Kohler has got the best of the exchanges. They're heading towards the one. Oh, one of the French riders has hit the deck. Not quite sure who that was. Kohler drifts a little bit wide, but he manages to hold it on. It's the uh, oh, 62, I think, in there in that uh, third spot. That's uh, Lubin Danjou. Lubin Danjou in the third position. William Gall in there in four. Riders in two and three, the 67 and the 92. That'll be. Uh, Titan Colbert's War and uh, Lubin Danju, but it's Kola. He's got this one by the scruff of the neck. William Gall out of Italy. Looks like he's going to take that final qualifying spot. Yakuchi of Japan. He's the unlucky guy in five. But what a great lap from Timon Kola. Yeah, Timon Kola, strong dominant force in this class, that's for sure. That's it, good stuff there. We really see the Ford rider just coming across the line. Down that last shot with the rider from France. There you are. 
The fans in the stands, keeping the atmosphere going here. Timon Cola makes it through. Two riders from France and Italy. Where are you? Make some noise. William Gall going through. In full. That was heat number 13. Unlucky for some. Heat number 14 coming your way right now. Australia, Japan, France, USA, and Great Britain in this one. Second quarter final for the 13, 14 year old boys cruiser. Check them out, elbow to elbow action. That's going to be Mika Maloney on the inside. Maloney leads it. Who's that in there with him? Got to be the French rider, Roman Lombeck on the 94. Plenty is getting busy. The three's in there in three. Sean Lehu heading into that second corner. Who's that in there in four? Looking like it is the Japanese rider on the seven plate as they bring it back round. Satoshi Ishikawa. Ishikawa Cowers on the bubble at the moment, but he's got the French. He's queuing up behind him. Last straight action, Maloney, Lombeck, they're through and safe. Looking like it is going to be Lahu in there for that three spot. Who's in for that? It's going to be Ishikawa. Right then. Oh, there's some people from Wales in the crowd. Hello, Wales. How are you? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> All righty, they're looking for the results in that one. Did the rider from Japan make it through? All right, there's the results. It was uh, Micah Maloney, Roman Lombeke from France, USA, Sean Luhu, and it was the rider from Japan, Ishikawa. On to the next quarterfinal, heat number 15, France, USA, Italy. Japan, Great Britain, and two riders from Belgium. Thirteen to fourteen-year-old boys quarterfinal number three for these guys. Amil Balku heading towards turn number one. Tom Buffet in there as well. I think they're one and two into the turn. Oh, Maddox Vicario's working his way in. He's up into that two spot now. The Belgian getting in there. That's going to be Ethan Clays. He's in there in three. Who's got the five spot at the minute? Looks like Martino Caslini. Where is Harrison Schofield making some moves? He's up into six now. Who's got the four spot? It's the ninety-one. Tom Buffet. Buffet, he's left the door wide open for the Italian. He's diving underneath. Clay's in there in three. Looks like France are going to go through in one. That's going to be Maddox Vicario going through in two. Wow. Great racing from those guys. Yeah, looks like Latvia are in the house. And Colombia. Just waiting for the results to come up. Here we go then. Ethan Klaas from Belgium makes it through in third. France with Tom Buffet. Maddox Vicario from USA. And Amil Abalcou from France, getting into the semis.
All right, heat number 16. More 13, 14 boys. USA, Colombia, Latvia, Great Britain, Japan, and New Zealand. Quarter final number 16, here's the track. Check him out, heading for the turn. That's looking like it could be the Colombian looking for a whole shot, Gonzalez. But it is TJ Ricky Harner Gray out of the Kiwis. Ricky Harner Gray in there in that one spot. That is the 83 played in there behind him. Got to be Gonzalez out of Colombia. The GB riders in there as well. Looking like Stanley Palmer on the 99 play in a qualifying spot at the moment. He's got the other Colombian in there behind him. That is the 84 of Isaac Valdez. Valdez in a qualifying spot at the moment. Here comes a Japanese rider. And he's Hori down the final straight. It's going to be Ricky Harder Gray taking it to the line. Gonzalez is in. Looking like it was time for that final qualifying spot. Yeah, close race in action there from the last quarterfinal on the track. Almost a photo finish, I believe, on the finish line. We'll just wait for the confirmation. For all the people watching at home, give us a wave, the fans in the stands. Okay, then here's the results. TJ Rikahana from New Zealand, Colombia. Stanley Palmer, for the was uh, Isuki Hore from Japan. All right, quarterfinal number 17, France, Japan, USA, Belgium, and Spain in this one. Oye, chicas, que nunca se les olvide. Las mujeres lo hacen mejor. Right, we're changing classes, 13 to 16-year-old girls. Alexis Alden of the USA looking like she's got herself a cracking start. And we've got Larissa Cabral Garcia working her way into two. That's uh, Laura Wolfs in the in three. Who's going to get that fourth spot? There's only five riders in it and only four can go through. Japan working their way up. Mana Sawada into that uh, second turn out in front. So the lady out in the cold of the minute is Clarice Boudot from France. Has she got anything left to steal away? With that final qualifying position, Alexis Alden of Team USA in and out of the final corner. She's going to take the win. Looks like the uh, Japanese rider Sawada is going to make it through. Clarice Bode, the unlucky rider in fifth place. Colombia. GB from the South. All right, they're looking for the confirmation in that one. The young ladies. Okay, results there. Alexis Alden from USA, Belgium in the two. Japan, Mana Sawara and Larissa Cabral from Spain making it through in four. And uh, race 18, quarterfinal number 18 on the gate. Two riders from Great Britain, Cody Harmer, Elsa Randall Todd, USA in this one as well. 
as we look to the gate. New Zealand in the mix with a box of tricks. Quarter final number 18, 13, the 16 year old girls cruiser. Action coming at you thick and fast down the first straight. Your world number four, Elsa Randall Todd, GB on the shirt. She's leading this one out, her countrywoman in there in about three at the moment as well. That is Cody Harbour, the 542 in there in that two spot. That is Avery Jones. She's splitting up the GB party. So it's GB, USA, GB in that order at the moment. New Zealand picking up the final qualified spot at the moment. That is Talia Nelson on the 538 plate. Under pressure from Farah Mackey. Out of the USA, Cody Harmer's now under pressure. Down the final straight, Rendell Todd's going to take it. Ava uh, Jones in there for that two spot. It's looking like Nelson and Harmer are going to go through in three and four. All right, then, there we go. The European champion takes the win, Elsa Rendell Todd. She wants the World W1 play, USA, New Zealand. Cody Palmer goes three and four, and the unlucky rider from USA is out. All right, then, heat 19, quarterfinal number 19 for the girls, 13 to 16. France, Japan, Ecuador, and Australia in this one. Third quarter final for the girls, 13 to 16 cruisers. Let's have a look. Five going uh, it, down that first straight. Only four are going to make it through. Holly Ann Jackson of Australia is the rider on the outside looking in right now, but it's uh, Leone Bagel out there in front. That's uh, Nishimura of Japan going through in two. Ecuadorian Escobar Guevara in three. Who's got that four spot? And Holly Ann Jackson has worked her way up there. So can she hold on to it? Because she's got pressure coming from the 536 of Nakamura. Nakamura from Japan. Will she get her in the final corner? It's looking very, very unlikely, but she's winding it up down the final straight. Bergel's going to get it. Holly Ann Jackson, she's going to go through in that four spot for Australia and keep those Aussie fans happy. Looks like the Australians and the Latvians have joined forces <laughs> in the West Stand. There's your confirmation, Nishimura from Japan. Escobar, Ecuador, Jackson from Australia, and it was Leone Bergel from France taking the win in that quarterfinal. Next up, quarterfinal number 20, France, Colombia, Argentina, USA, and another French rider. Quarter final number 20 now on track. The last of the quarters for the 30 to 16 year old girls cruisers. That's got to be the Colombian heading for the turn. Palomek leads it out, picking up the whole shot. In and out of that first turn. The French, he's picking up that two spot on oh, the fire two fire plate as they come on through. Louise Boisson out of France. So it is Boisson hanging on to it at the moment. The USA in there as well. London Berrian. Berrian inside the top three as it stands. The other Frenchie in the race, that is the 528 on the plate. Lilou Parole, Parole out of France, in there in four at the moment. Under pressure from the Argentinian. Pinero down this final straight. It's going to be Palomec taking the win. Poisson for two, Berrian for three, and Parole in there for four. <laughs> yeah, Colombia.
All righty then, there's your result. Quarterfinal number 20, Palacios, Bosson, Burian and Paro. Two riders from France, one from the USA and one rider from Colombia making their way into the semi-finals. All right, next up, Cruiser Men, 17 to 24. France, USA, Britain, Holland in this one. Just four countries. Let's see what happens out on track here in Glasgow. Seventy to 24 cruiser men. This one's going to be an absolute heater. Let's have a look. He's going to lead it into turn number one. Deegan Brown getting in there for Team USA. Alex Brooks on the inside, making his move. Brooks works his way into two. Brown's in there in three. That's the 2-2-3 two, two, of uh, Leo Lapoeur, who's out there in front for La France. We're, oh! Big portion of elbow with extra chilli sauce in that second turn. And the 2-1-7, I think it was, of Charles Cave. Came out the best from it. Brooks is in there in two. Lapoeur, Brooks, Brown, one, two and three. Whoa. Hectic, hectic, hectic. Right, Luke Van Haren from the Netherlands. Give him a big round of applause. Lining up on the gates. Quarterfinal number 22. Newman, Taylor, Baudet, Serini, Green, Cook, Wilmers, and Bergstaden. Seventy twenty-four year old cruisers coming at you thick and fast. Check out Boo Van Bergsteden. He's gonna pick up the whole shot. The Aussie nearly got it all wrong. Jake Green slotted into about five. Boo Van Bergsteden leading this one out of the two one five in there with him. That is Alexi Wilmarts. Wilmarts in there in that two spot. Who's in three? That's the American picking it up. Looking like we are on the 262 players are coming around Benny Serini. Here comes Jake Green round the outside. Green's into the top four. GB, where are you? Bo van Bergsteen are going to take it across the line. Wilmot for two. Serini's in there for that three spot. Jake Green picks up the final qualifying spot in four. Vachuren, Cabin Carpenter, Marc Blanchet, Senecal, De Bee and De Horn. France, Netherlands, France, France, Great Britain, Belgium and two more French riders. So we are well stacked with our French friends in this one. Well, let's see how it all pans out.
All right, let's have a look. We have got the third of the quarterfinals for the 17 to 24 year old men. And we've got Freddie Cabin Carpenter, our great Britain in this one. He's back there in seven at the moment. Oh, it's getting very, very tight as they come out of the corner. Who is leading it through? The law! Oh, Cabin Carpenter's gone! Take the French and the Dutch rider with him. Verschuren looks like his lap is over, but it's France one, two, three. The two plate of De Horn in there, and that's the six and the eight. But getting up in the mix, uh, Coulange and the eight plate is Robert Verschuren. Verschuren from Belgium, he's going to take that qualifying position and go through. Verschuren takes the final spot. Ricardo de B down on that second straight. Freddy Cadman Carpenter. Doing a passable impersonation of a shark with that visor stuck up. Let's hear it for him. Well, that's the first pair of broken forks, I think, this weekend. Let's hope that gentleman is okay. He's walking off, which is always a good sign. And that is the excitement of a 17 to 24 cruiser. We move on to the last of the quarterfinals for this category. Lewis, on to you, sir. Quarterfinal number 24, we've got Roman Debu. Maxence Piton, Avalon Gerardo, Dallas Gardner, Connor Hedges, Daniel Wilson, Aaron Blee, and Merlin Guigo. One Swiss, one USA, three French, and two great Britain riders lining up on the gates. All righty then, there's the results. Two, three French riders going through inside the top three. And my good friend from Belgium in the four, Robert Vachura. All righty then, quarterfinal number 24, USA, Great Britain, France, Switzerland in this one. Let's see who's going to make it through to the semi-finals. Seventy and twenty-four year old crews, the quarterfinals, four go through and four are done for the day. That's gotta be the American heading into the turn. Aaron Blee, he's picked up the whole shot. Connor Hedges, his elbow bashing in the turn, and he's come out in about third at the moment. That's the five play of Merlin Guigo. So it is Blee, Guigo, and Hedges at the moment in the top three. Check out the battle for four. The Frenchies are going at it. It's gotta be the two on nine. Hanging on at the moment. That is Maxence Piton. Piton inside the top four. Here comes the Swiss. That is Dubu down the final straight. Piton's gonna hang on and take it through. Please in there, Guigo for two, Hedges and Pete on three and four. Yeah, great stuff there from uh, Hedges getting through there as we look to the start list of the next race. Coming up on the screen, Heat 25, Cruiser Women 17 to 29.
Here we go with the 1729 Cruiser women heading down the straight. I've got my eye on Christina Madara Sova, and she's going to lead it into the turn. Camille Limber in there as well. Oh, what rider hits the deck from Great Britain? I've got a feeling that might have been Taylor Lee Moa, but we're about to find out as they head towards turn number two. Let's have a look who's in that final qualifying spot. The Dutch rider, that is Jennifer Martin, in the in that third position. And uh, the 580, that is Taylor Lee Moen in four, being pursued by Candy Plancon from France. Is she going to get her down the final straight? Taylor Lee Moen hanging on. Christina McCormick's going to get it. Moen under pressure. The French and the British rider going at it to the line. Oh! The 577, Hannah Drew, who hit the deck in that first turn. Come on, Great Britain, make some noise for your rider. Then one more show your appreciation for the rider from Great Britain. I'm sure she'll be back on the 20 inch later in the week. All right, start list coming up. Heat 26, more cruisers 17, 29. New Zealand, Great Britain, Australia, France, Belgium in this one. All to play for for the young ladies. Let's see who's got what it takes to make that semi-final. Quarter-final number 26 hits the track. Three world plates from last year in Nantes, France. Heading to the turn, but it is going to be the one on the front of a bike. Lucie Lacoste out of La France. So it is France out front looking good. The seven and the eight picking up two and three. That is Tony James and Tessa Van Sayen. Van Sayen's in there in three, doing it four. Belgium is to come in and out of that second corner. The two French ladies going at it for that four spot. It is looking like the 557 five, hanging on to it at the moment. Mindy Hernandez, she's inside the top four qualifying spot as they head down the final. Final straight, Lucy Lacoste, Tony James, Tessa Van Sayen, one, two, and three, and it is going to be Mindy Hernandez through in four. All righty then, quarter final number 27, 17, 29 ladies still line up on the gate. Runners from France, Belgium. USA, Aussie, 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 and of course, Great Britain. The quarterfinal for the 17 to 29 women. We've got four riders from Great Britain in this one, including Lily Chisiwa and Olivia Firth. Olivia in there in five of the minute. Lily in second going into the corner, but it's uh, Mathilde Hugo leading it out. Hugo in one, Chisiwa in two. That looks like Gemma Lee Thomas out of Australia. She's in there in three. The Benjamin rider, uh, Femke Varels in there in four, but right on her back wheel and charging is Olivia Firth from Great Britain. Can she make the move in the final? corner and overhaul the Belgian rider. It's going to take some smart riding to get it done. But Hugo out in one. Chazima in two. Thomas in three. Drag race down the straight. Who's going to get it at the line? Belgium or the UK? Oh, so close. Wouldn't even like to try and call it. All right then, Cruiser 17, 29, quarterfinal number 28, line up on the gate. Riders from Holland, Denmark, Sweden, France, Australia, USA, and Great Britain.
Quarter final number 28, the last for the 17 to 29 cruiser women. The two on the front of the bike. That has got to be Denmark's Mia Christensen heading into turn number one with the whole shot. Who is that in there with her? Got to be the Swedish rider, Helena Sund. So it is Christensen and Sund one and two at the moment. That's got to be the Dutchie bringing it on through as well. Melissa van der Sanden on the 583. So that is your front three as it stands. Who's picking up the four spot? That is looking like France on the 561 plate. Got to be Lupi Lard. Lupi Lard around the outside of Van der Sanden. Looking for a way inside the top three. Mia Christensen, Hella, Helena Sund, one and two. Who's going to get the three spots to bring it to the line? It's going to be Lupi Lard. And uh, Melissa Van der Sanden through in four. Yeah, great stuff here. The UCI BMX Racing World Championships. As we move on a category two to cruiser men, 40 to 44. Watch out. France, Colombia, Argentina, Hungary, Germany, Great Britain, USA, and France in this one. A full rack of eight on the gate. Let's see what happens. Marshal Peru of France on that uh, A play. He's the rider on the inside. A perfect scores in the motors. Is he going to add to it this time around? Because he's got riders to deal with, including Salazar. Riders have been pushed up the turn. Who's got that third spot right now? Looks like Great Britain's Fraser Watson in that third spot with the German rider. Grabischler in there in force of Germany. Holding on swivel, coming under pressure now from the A plate of uh, Marshal Peru. Is he going to catch the German in the final corner? Fraser Watson looking good for a spot in the semi-finals. Oh, but he's been held up by the Argentinian. That's mixed him right up. Is Watson going to hang on? I think he might. Watson in four. The Colombian Estevez Herrera just left it too late. Wow, hot stuff here in the cruiser men category 40-44. Big quarterfinal coming up for these guys. France, Great Britain, New Zealand, Mexico in this one. USA and Colombia, I believe. And uh, these guys are getting ready to go. Quarterfinal number 30 now on try Check him out from the inside. That looks like Ion Moran. Ion Moran into the first turn, but head picking up the whole shot. Looking like it is in and out. Four. Oh, we've lost two riders. It is the 367 plate of Richard Stratford out of New Zealand. So New Zealand leads it out. Moran in there. It's all oh, Moran throws it under in the turn. And almost eggs his right. He's back to about three now. Here comes a Mexican rider working his way through. That's going to be Bastumante in the final turn. He's now in that second spot. Last straight action. Moran in there for three. Who's going to get four? That's going to be the other French rider, Quentin De La Cruz. Wow, oh wow, carnage in the 40 to 44 year olds cruisers. Carnage. I expect nothing less. Okay, line up on the gate, quarterfinal number 31. 40-44 cruiser, France, Great Britain, Aruba in this one with Colombia, Chile as well in the mix here in the 40 to 44 category. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, quarterfinal on the gate. Third quarter final for these guys. Uh, Anthony Paul of France on the inside and he's battling with the Chilean rider Felipe Perez. Both these guys gone well in the mortals. Five wins between them. And who's getting stuck in there is John Lillingston from Great Britain. Lillingston up into two now. The Colombian rider trying to get in. And that is uh, Luis Felipe Molina. Oh, he's gone down. As I mentioned his name, he hits the deck. 
Let's hope he's okay. Lillingston in there in two. We've got a 3-3-7 and a 3-2-7. That's Brian Elizabeth out of Aruba. Look at the mix up in the corner. Oh, Elizabeth just hanging on to it. The French rider coming through in three. Brian Elizabeth for four. John Lillingston taking that second spot. But the Colombian rider hitting the deck in the turn. Luis Felipe, Molina Marin. Let's hope he's all right. He took Sim Johnston with him. Sims picking his helmet up, that's in two pieces. Wow. So all the fun and games still going on. The Latvian guy's just having a fun time waving his flag at the top of the stands. I hope you Aussie guys are gonna buy him a few beers as well for putting your flag on there. Aussies always buy beers. <laughs> well, they should buy more now for the Latvian guys. <laughs> uh, it was sure unlucky that... on the Colombian there, Rich, uh, yeah. just sort of intervening there. He hit the gate, so he was dead last coming down the start hill, and he, he'd made it back to about fourth, and he just tagged that jump and unfortunately went down. That's uh, unfortunate to see. Uh, good to see him back up on his feet. Right, that's Sim Johnston rolling through. Let's hope he's OK and our Colombian friends. Luis Felipe Molina are in, he's walking away. A little bit dusty, but it's good to see him up and all right. All right, ready to go on the next one. More quarter-final action coming your way with finalists from last year's World Champs in Nantes in France. Heading into the turn, it's going to be the Latvian. Good Jonkers, your world number two leading this one out. Who's in there with him in two and three? Look at the elbow lock that they had. That's got to be the Canadian, Hugo Donnet on the 3-3-1. Three, three, he's in there in that two spot of the minute, but he's got the world number seven, Jocelyn Ruiz, all over his back wheel. He's worked his way into that two spot. Then it's all about the four spot. Here comes the Danish rider hanging on as he stands, Rune Ondal. Ondal's had the move put on him in the final turn from Pierre Minet. Looking like Minet's going to pick up the final qualifying spot to bring it to the line. Ondal will look in five. Yeah, great stuff. We move on another class here. Quarterfinal number 33 for the Cruiser Ladies, 40 and over. Great Britain, Holland, Australia. USA and France. Forty plus cruiser women, quarterfinal number one underway. Kim Batsford's in this one, as is Leah Pendleton, who's on the inside as they head towards turn number one. Batsford looking like she's picking up the whole shot. The uh, Dutch rider, Wendy Bromdecker, she's in there in two, but she's got pressure coming from that 619, and that is Astrid Della Cluz. And uh, the rider in that fourth spot, holding on to it right now, Lee Pendleton, but she's under pressure from Angela Potter. Angela Potter of Australia looking to work her way around the British rider. They are elbowed to elbow as they go down the straight. The 604 trying to get in there. Is she going to work her way in? Yes, she is. Pendleton been shuffled back to five, but Batsford taking it down the straight. Looking like she's going to get it. The Aussie fans are going wild. Angela Potter makes her way through to the semi-finals. Great stuff. All righty then, 40 plus ladies, quarterfinals, big age group this week. France, Germany, Great Britain, USA, Switzerland, and Canada in this one. It's just a shower, it's going away. Water final number 34 now on track. The German ladies had an absolute blinder heading for the first turn. 
Christian Weisner, she's going to pick up a whole shot into the turn. But check it out, GB. Three riders inside the top four. Here we go, Leah Pearson's in there in two. Nicholas Spears in three. Marsha Brock in there in four. USA in five with Angela Jolly. She's going to look for a way inside the top four. All about Weisner out front, though. She's running away with it. Here comes Jolly round the outside to spoil the Brit party. She's worked her way into four. Now into three. Can she make it stick? Spears throws it under in the turf. Weissner gonna take the win. P Pendleton for two. Who's gonna get the three in? It's gonna be Jolly. Spears in there in four. Great start from the ladies on the cruiser. As we see that awesome Latvian Australian flag. Okay. Bordian overs, Chizua, goal in this one for Great Britain. Two riders, three riders from France and five riders from Great Britain. It's Britain versus France. Third quarter final for the women, 40 plus cruiser. Let's have a look. We've got plenty of riders from Great Britain in this one. All oh, the elbows are getting thrown already, and Rebecca Gold has been held up down that first straight, but she's still there in that fourth spot. That looks like magic. Manda Hemstock in there in three. And uh, yep, she's there, and he's in five. That looks like the 6 3 3, and that belongs to Annie Chiziwa. Kirsty Freer in there as well, but as they come in and out of the corner, it is France one and two. 618 in the 612. Uh, Cole Marcel and Ludovine Savelle into the final corner. Rebecca Gall has worked her way up into three. Magic Manda Hempstock on a mission in four. She's going to take it to the line and make the semi final. Big push there for Rebecca Gall. Wow, great racing. 40 plus cruiser ladies. All righty, then one of the favorites in the 40 plus and over cruisers in the next one from Germany, Kirsten Meyer. But riders from France, Holland, Great Britain, Canada, and USA. Just to let you know, ladies and gents, we will be going straight into semi final racing after quarters. Straight into semi final racing when the quarters have finished. So if you are in a semi final, you will need to be in the pre-staging area as the last quarter is a go. We will be going straight into semi-finals. There'll be no delay between the quarter-finals and the semi-finals. Thank you. Here we go then, quarterfinal number 36 hits the track, heading through the first jump, and it is going to be the 6-2-2 of Kirsten Meyer out of Germany, picking up the whole shot, in and out of the first turn, then it is Meyer leaning it out, who's that in there with it on the 6-1-4, that is Cecile Hebrard, Hebrard in there in that two spot, then check out the GB rider around the outside, Anita Wong on the 6-2-7, she's now in there in three, in a qualifying spot at the moment, the Dutch is in there as well, Alpha Inc on the 639 in that qualifying spot in four at the moment. In and out of the final turn, Kirsten Meyer, she's going to pick up this quarterfinal win. Heading to the line, Cecile Hebrard in there in that two spot. Anita Wong in three. Annalise Alpha Inc in there for the four spots. That is your 40 plus women's cruiser quarterfinals done and dusted. Alrighty, they're moving on to the next category. Line up on the gate. We have the Cruiser men, 45 to 49. Race 37, just four more races to go in the quarterfinals. Two riders from Mexico, two riders from Australia, and four riders from Great Britain. 
Let's bring them home. Right, here we go, quarterfinals for the Cruiser men. Leads 45 to 49, let's have a look. He's gonna make it, oh, all kinds of carnage going on. One, two, three, gone down. That's mixed it right up. Brett Knight hit the deck, Stuart Lill got caught up in it. Nigel Smith's in there in four of the minute. Cotty in five. Oh my word, this is gonna be a proper mix up as they come into the final corner. But out front looking good, Ben Thompson of Australia, I think it is, on that 377, 376, Clint Shores, uh, Nigel Smith in there in four, Cotty in five, Stu Little in six, Brett 197, Australia, will they go one and two? Here comes the Mexican rider, working his way in. Big Nigel Smith in that final qualifying spot. Second rack of cruiser men, 45 to 49. Line up on the gate. Two riders from France, Holland, Ireland, and four riders from Great Britain. Who's going to be in the semi finals? Let's see as we work our way up to the gate with this quarter final. It's a big one. Quarterfinal number 38 then, here we go. There's bucket loads of Brits in this one. And one of them is Glyn Cartwright out of the inside. Who's gonna get the whole shot? Cartwright leads it. That's looking like Visa in there in two or three at the minute. Check out the 396 so of Damien Mead. He's up to two, so it's Cartwright. Mead, one and two Visas in there in three. He's got a French rider squirming all over his back wheel there in four, but he's under pressure himself, the triple three. Hanging on at the moment. Looking like that is Patrick Bernard. Bernard's under pressure in the turn. The other rider slips out. He's gonna be Cartwright taking it. This is in there for two. Who's going to get three? Looking like that could have been Bernard. Mead's in there in about four. Alrighty then, uh, Cruiser 45, 49. Two more races to go. My good friend in there from Holland, Juni Eightball. Great Britain riders from France also in the mix. Let's see what these guys have got on the gate as we just wait for the other riders to finish their laps. Here's the Dutchies, they're going to be cheering on Juni in this one. And Great Britain rider, Darren Speedy Reedy, up on the gate, ready to go. This lap's going to be an absolute banger. Let's have a look who's going to work their way in. Darren Reedy on the inside, but it's all going on in the middle. It's going to get tasty in turn number one. Reedy threading the needle. He's in there in five of the minute, but it looks like the seven play and the four. Uh, Jan Gay, Philip Silic, one and two. Dutch rider in there in three. That looks like Johnny April. Here comes Darren Reedy threading the needle, battling with Diaz dos Santos from Brazil. The Brazilian rider on the inside. Three big cruiser guys into one turn. It's going to be hectic. They're all getting caught up together. Oh, looks like Reedy had the worst of it. De Santos going through. And the Dutch rider as well. Jeroen van der Sanden, I think that was. Oh. Heartbreak for Darren Reedy. All right, then the last quarterfinal is lined up on the gate. 
45, 49, Friders from France, America, Great Britain, Holland. In this one, we are good to go and getting ready to rock and roll with this last quarter final. Here we go. Here we go then, the final quarter final of day number one here, heading through the first straight. Who's on the inside? That looks like Philippe Bellamy, but leading it through. US of A, out front looking good. That is a 4-2-1 on the plate, picking it up as they bring it back through the straight. Tommy Pruitt out of the USA. Who's in there with him? That has got to be Bellamy out of France. It's looking like another American and French rider are making up the top four spots. The whole one rider down, the 4-1-7 in there, that is Corey Skin. Who's the other qualifying rider working his way in? Looking like that could be Marc Bruno. Bruno is going to find the final qualifying spot. Heading to the line is going to be Pruitt, Bellamy, Skinner, Bruno. All inside the top four. The fallen rider was the 416 of Emery Blee. Put your hands together for Emery, ladies and gents. Right, we're going to go pretty much straight into the semi-final racing. Are you guys having a good time? Good, good, good. That's what we like to hear. The weather gets hotter and so does the racing. Don't forget, if you are going on social media, putting your posts on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever it might be, please use the hashtag power of the bike. The hashtag is power of the bike. That'll get you linked up with everything else that's going on in the social media sphere at these UCI Cycling World Championships here in Glasgow and across Scotland. We had some thrilling racing at the downhill mountain biking yesterday. Charlie Hatton of Great Britain taking the Elite Men win, which by his own admission he never expected, but he got it, so well done to Charlie. Also as well, please head into our expo area. You can get food, drinks, parts, everything. But most importantly, you can buy your official Glasgow Scotland 2023 merchandise. Take yourself some goodies back to your part of the world. Be the envy of all your friends as you look very, very dapper. It will be a conversational point. People will ask you, why did you go to Scotland? And then you can spread the gospel of BMX.
All righty then, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the semi-finals here in Glasgow? UCI Cycling World Championships 2023 BMX Racing semi-final time. Make some noise! All right, here we go. We're just seconds away from dropping the gate on the semi-finals. Fifteen, sixteen, boys. Semi-final number one. Four going through. Four going out. And the four that go through will be battling for the world one play. And look at the young man leading it out. Cameron Gat out of Australia. He's in there in one. Colombia's Granada Sanchez in two. That is Team USA. Brady O'Neill. He's in there in three. Where is Gabe Simpson of Great Britain? He's where he doesn't want to be. He's in there in five. He's got to pass the uh, eight of Matt Debril in that final turn. Simpson and Debril for the final column. Simpson's got underneath, put the elbow in, he's stolen it away. Gabe Simpson, he's going to make the final for Great Britain. What a move in that final corner. And Gabe Simpson timed it to perfection. Then moving on, semi-final number two for the boys, 15-16. Alrighty then, here we go. We're looking for the rider in the inside. Colombia is Samuel Orlando, but Declan McGee from Australia in the mix there. But look at a guy from Argentina coming on through there. There's Valentino Valdo, Colombia, Australia, and Australia in three and four. We got the two Aussies coming on through Preston Murray in there as well but it's the world number three and three Argentina and Colombia are going through with Valjo and uh, Malunda Merlanda Merlanda for Colombia and it's Australia three and four look at those guys go that was uh, Declan McGee the world number three and Preston Murray the 131 Semi-final number three, 50 plus men's cruiser. Semi-final lining up on the gates. Four single digit plays on track, all looking to retain their titles and get into the final. Who's going to pick up the whole shot? Jean Ducos, the Pink Panther, leads it out. Who's in there with him? Your world champion in the world of array. That's going to be Bob Van Vesterop. He's in there in two. 
Dion Newton near in three. They are queuing up though. Dion's thrown it under in the turn. He's now neck and neck with Bresser up. The two place in near in four. That is Nicholas Taris heading into the turn. Dion Newt leads it. Look at him swapping and changing. Bresser up to near in that two spot. Newt. Bester up, Dukos, one, two, three. And it is going to be Taris through in our final qualifying spots. Right, next up, 50 plus cruise the semi final. Number two, Hill, Delmas, Luttrell, Canitro, Archibald, Ooms, Muschin, and Sykes. Great Britain, France, New Zealand, Belgium, and Australia. Second semi-final, 50-plus cruise and men, Alan Hill of Great Britain on the inside, and we've got Sykes in there as well as they head towards turn number one. Ian Archibald in the mix, wanting to get it done for his home country of Scotland. He's in there in three right now, so it is... Hill in there in one, the old five in two. That belongs to Delmas out of France. Swan Delmas, where is he and Archibald? He's in there in three right now. It's all been mixed up. Luttrell's hit the deck. Buschin of, Ar of uh, Australia in there in four. Looks like the Aussies are gonna get another rider in the final. But Hill, Delmas, Archibald. And Muschin going through. Ooms was the unlucky man in five. That is going to be a superb final later on, I can tell you that right now. All righty then. Semi-finals coming up for the Cruiser boys, 8 to 12 year old, as I see my good buddy, Hilly, putting in a strong performance there. He's in the final. That is for sure. And uh, Ian Archibald also, Ian Archibald from Scotland, getting through into the final. Where's the Ian Archibald fan club? Good one. Good to see. All righty then. Moving on to the cruiser, boys, 8 to 12 years old. Line up on the gate, riders from Czech Republic. USA, Australia, Great Britain, Spain, and Colombia. Here we go then, semi-final number five on the gate. All right, there looks like Matan Alonso got a great snap, but unfortunately now at the back of the pack is the rider for Czech Republic who hasn't dropped a single lap all day long. Adam Perek leads this one out from Jacob Thaston from uh, USA. Great Britain is in there in three with the 41 of Newton Hindley. Hindley doing well for Great Britain. Is he going to be in the world final? Look at the guy in four coming round. Colombia. Colombia coming through with La Couture. La Couture from Colombia in there. But Adam Petrek from the Czech Republic. He's easily going through to the final. Is the rider from Great Britain going to hang on? Great Britain, Colombia. Great Britain, Colombia. Yeah, Great Britain and Colombia. And the USA also going through. 
Awesome stuff from the young guns there in the Cruiser Boys 8 to 12. Here we see on the big screen a little replay on that last straightaway. The guys in third and fourth very close together as they cross the line, but they kept the bars away from each other and both riders go through. Columbia and Great Britain make some noise! Semi-final number six lining up on the gates. Netherlands, USA, New Zealand, Belgium. Two Japanese riders, an Australian and another Belgian lining up on the gates. Eight to 12, year old cruisers semi-final number two. Here we go, the semi number six hits the track. Check them out from the middle of the hill. That looks like it could be one of the Japanese riders picking up a whole shot into the turn. Haruto Iwamura. The two Belgians are down. Iwamura, the 49. It is Umaziwa leading this one out. The 45's in there with him. That is Iwamura. So it is the two Japanese riders up there at the minute. Here comes Australia. That is Dylan Sesha. He's in there in that two spot at the moment. Who's in there in? for the 68, that is Espen Wilt. Wilt's on the bubble at the moment, but he's got Palmer's in there behind him. Wilt, Palmer's, last straight action. Who's gonna get it as a bring it to the line? Looking like he's gonna be Wilkin bringing it through. Put your hands together for Gus Lennertz and Ben Van Avant. The two Belgians went down in the first turn. That is the replay up on the screen. Umazewa picking up that semi-final win, bringing it home with his countrymen in there in three as well. And the American rider just picking up that four spot on the line, being pushed all of the way to the stripe by Pim Palmers. And we can see Ben Van Avon just making his way around the track. He's been on fire all day long. Put your hands together. We are moving on to 13, 14 boys cruiser semi-finals. Race seven. Timon Kohler up there. Romain Oh, one well, rider blew that game. Was the guy out there in seven, sir? Uh, Stanley Farmer. He's trying to work his way in now into the top four, and he's there as they go into turn number one. Timon Cola is the man in two, but they are chasing down TJ Ricana Gray from New Zealand. This kid is absolutely on fire. He has been flying all day long. He's doing it for the. Uh, Black and white of New Zealand and looking very good in the process. But well, let's have a look at four because Stanley Palmer is there for Great Britain, but he's under pressure from the USA rider. Maddox Vicario, Vicario and Palmer down the straight. Who's going to get it? Vicario, oh my word. Absolutely couldn't separate them. Right, let's check out this replay. TJ Ricana Gray, he was out in front, Team on Cola in two, but it was all about the ball for four. Palmer and uh, the American rider just stealing it away on the line. He doesn't get any closer than that, and that is World Championship BMX. Yeah, USA getting through, beating the Brit. We'll let you have that one. But you're no good at soccer, are you? So, anyway. 
Right, Cruiser Boys 13 and 14. Australia, France, Colombia, Belgium, Italy, and Japan. Your attention for semi final number eight. All right, then, riders, ready, watch again. Who's got the speed to take the lead? Look at the double manual from the Aussie on the inside, Micah Maloney. He's there leading this one out, France in two. Colombia are going too wide. Ethan Class from Belgium with the hair. He's having an absolute blinding day today. Is he going to make a well final? This kid from Belgium, he's looking good on the cruiser here today. It's looking like Australia, France, Belgium, and Colombia. These four riders are free of the rest of the pack. Aussie's going to make it through. He has to drop to single lap all day long. France in two with Balcu. Ethan Class from Belgium has made the world final. And the Colombian going through was Matisse Estefaz Gonzalez. Awesome stuff there. That little Belgian guy, knowing very well on the European circuit. He always has a bit of bad luck, but today he's made the final. Here we see on the big screen, they're coming down the last straightaway. The Aussie is clear. It was the double manual on the first triple that did it. And it's good to see Ethan Class in that final for Belgium. As we turn our attention to the rider of Fulham on the last straightaway. That was the rider from France. Eighty-seven. That was uh, Titian Col Busvenu. Semi-final and number nine, thirteen to sixteen-year-old girls cruiser. Got three Americans, two Japanese riders, a Colombian, an Australian, and a GB rider. Here we go then, semi final action 13, 16 year old girls cruiser. That's the seven on the plate, Alexis Holden. She's looking for a whole shot into the turn. USA leading it out. Holden's in there in that one spot. Who's in there with her? That is the eight plate chasing it down. Gotta be Palomek. Palomek out of Colombia picking it up. Japan's in there as well. Inside the top three, who's picking up four? That's got to be the other American rider. That is looking like the 546 and the 537 as they come on round Nishimura and Landon Burian in and out of the final turn. It's going to be Alexis Holden bringing it to the line. Palo Mex in there for two. Nishimura in there for that three spot. Burian in four. As we take a look at the replays ahead out of that final turn and down the last straights, Alexis Alden not dropped a lap all day long as she carried on that form through her semi final. The Colombian over the moon to make a second world final in a row. We are not going to have a break, ladies and gents, between the semi-finals and the finals. Stay trackside, do not go anywhere. If you are in a Cruiser World Championship final, you will need to be 
making your way to the pens towards the end of the semis, please. We will not be having a break between the semis and the finals. Thank you. Right, moving on, second semi-final for the 13 to 16 year old girls. Great Britain, France, Belgium, France, Ecuador, New Zealand, Spain, and France. Thirteen to sixteen girls. Here we go. Elsa Rendell Todd off Great Britain's got herself a decent little start. Looks like she's going to lead it into turn number one. We've got eyes on Leone Burkell, Laura Wolfs, and Louise Boisson in there as well. There's a traffic jam coming out of the turn. Looks like the sixth plate of Leone Burgel in there in that second position. And New Zealand are battling for the fourth with Talia Nelson. Talia Nelson, is she there? Yes, she is. She's in that fourth spot, but she's got pressure coming from the rider on the uh, five two eight to the. 539. That's going to be uh, Larissa Cabral Garcia and Lilian Perot. But it's New Zealand in that final qualifying position. The Spanish riders all over the back of her. Is she going to get her in the line? No, she isn't. Talia Nelson working her way through into that fourth spot and into the final. Checking out the replay, Elsa Rendell Todd. Out in front and in control in that one. Leone Pagel was in there as well, but the battle was for that fourth spot. And it was the rider from New Zealand just stuck a wheel out enough. Talia Nelson going through. then we're going straight to the finals after the semis but we still got a few semi finals to get through first and we're looking to the big hill well the little hill if you like cruiser men 17 to 24 line up on the hill riders from france usa great britain and belgium in this one we're just getting ready to go not quite ready yet guys just start list up on the screen as I've already said riders right, from France USA Great Britain and Belgium here we go all right then riders right, ready watch again who's got the speed to take the win look at the rider from France on the inside Lupea he has a drop to single lap all day long USA in there in two Robin Vasurin with a bit of work to do, but he's not out of it yet. He's on the inside. Here comes Robert Vasurin. The ladies' man makes his move. He's up to four. He's clear of five now. So France, USA, USA and Belgium. The four riders going through. Leo Lepierre for France. Riders from USA. Deegan Brown going through. And Robert Vasurin. Yeah, Robbie's made it. Where's the Belgium contingent? Where's Robbie? Where's the fan club of Robber? Over there, there's just one guy on his own. <laughs> Who'd have been? There's no one else here from Belgium? There's got to be some people here from Belgium, surely. They're over here behind me somewhere. They're cheering, but... <laughs> well done. He's made it through to another final. Good stuff there. As we saw the replay on the big screen. More 17 to 24 coming at you. Next semi final lineup on the gate. The second rack of 17 to 24 year old men lining up on the gate for this semi final on cruiser. 
got a Dutch rider, a GB rider, a rider out of the States. And then five Frenchies are lining up on the gates. Sekaraka 17, 24 year old cruiser semis. Arago, check him out, heading for the turn. Who's going to get it? They're all getting boxed in. It's all swapping and changing. Out in front, who's got the lead? It is the two of Maxime De Horn. De Horn's in there in the one spot, the 262. Oh, Benny Serini, he's in there in that two spot. Oh, Alex Brooks hits the deck. Another rider goes down the 217. That is Charles Cave. He's in there in three. Who's in four? Bo Van Bergsteden. Bergsteden looking like he's going to pick up the final qualifying spots. De Horn's in the final. Serini is. Charles is in there in three. Bo Van Bergsteden through in four. Absolute carnage. Down the last straight, as you can see on the replay. Nice and relaxed from the current world number two, Maxime De Horn. He's going to have another shot for the second year in a row. But getting on that top spot, put your hands together for Thomas Fakulansh. He's going to finish his lap. And of course, ladies and gentlemen from Great Britain, put your hands together for Alex Brooks. As they finish their laps, and ladies and gents, Thomas Fakulansh and Alex Brooks. Incredible stuff from the 17 to 24 year old male cruisers. Right, here we go, semi-finals of Cruiser Women. Christina Madara Silva in this one, and she's looking to work away out to the front. Mia Christiansen in there as well. And the Dutch rider, Jennifer Martin, all diving underneath. Lily Chiziwa threading the needle. She's in there in three at the moment. Martin in four, the 5-6-1. That is Lou Pilard. She's the lady in five right now, but she's going to have to put some work in if she wants to catch the Dutch rider in front. Lily Chiziwa looking good. Has she going to pick the right line into that final? turn Christina Madara Silva in and out of the final corner in control Mia Christiansen in two Lily Chiziwa of Great Britain she's going to make the final Jennifer Martin goes through in that final qualifying spot so a proper mixed bag of results for the Brits in this uh, cruiser racing today but it was uh, Christina Madara Silva who's been on it all day long she hasn't dropped a lap absolutely flying Mia Christensen in there in two Lily Chiziwa of Great Britain going through in three with Jennifer Martin in four All right, ladies and gentlemen, please do us a, a very big favor. Go onto your social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, any of the other ones I've forgotten because there's that many of them these days. Go and put your content on there and use the hashtag power of the bike. Use the hashtag power of the bike. Just helps us to get the uh, message out there that uh, BMX racing and cycling in general is a fantastic sport. 
and we can get everybody involved wherever possible. Also as well, your official event merchandise is still available over in the Expo Arena. I believe that's what we're calling it, the shopping centre. So, uh, yeah, nip over there, spend a few of your hard-earned pounds, because we do need it, hashtag Brexit, um, and just help us out. So your official event merchandise is still available. You can get fed and watered over there as well. Great coffee. I'm pretty sure you can get a beer over there as well. Some really nice food. Do a little bit of shopping with our traders. Buy all those new bits and clothes and hats and things of that nature. So over in the Expo Arena, everything your heart could desire and your wallet. Right, so all our crowd, everybody waving at themselves on the big screen. If you see yourselves on the big screen, give yourselves a wave. We know those Aussies are not shy. They've proven that already all day long. And the South Africans as well, they're like a party. Yep. Let's have a look what other flags we can see. I can see a couple of Argentina flags up there. Give us a wave, Argentina. Where are you? There we go. All right, guys. Japan. Come on, Japan. Where are you? I expected a polite round of applause then. That's what I expected from the Japanese. Lovely people. USA, where are you? There we go. Uh, just a quick reminder, don't forget, we're going to go straight into finals after these last few semi-finals. We'll go straight into finals. Uh, they're all athletes. You don't need a rest. <laughs> oh, Canada. Oh. Sorry, guys. Hello. <laughs> we were thinking about what to do next, and you beat us to it. Switzerland. Hello, Switzerland. Give us a wave up there. And I know our Irish contingents are still uh, are still awake. There we go. Just a little wave. And Great Britain, make some noise. It wasn't very loud, was it? They'll get louder later, Neil. They're biding their time. Okay, that was uh, Mindy Hernandez from France. Hopefully she's all right.
The Australians are awake. We are our Latvian friends. Let's hear some noise from the Latvians. Still flying the flag for Australia as well. I do like that. How about a joint effort then from the Latvians and the Aussies? Where are you guys, Latvians and Aussies? They're doing a grand job, they really are. Alrighty then, the world number one's in this one. Let's see if she can make another world final. Lucy Lacosta. She has not dropped a single lap all day long and she leads this one out. We got two French riders behind her here. We're gonna see Matilda Hugo and the world number six of Camille Imbert. Good to see Imbert back on a bike. After some injuries over the last couple of years, she's there in three at the moment. Is she going to make the well final? I think she could be. Helena Sun from Sweden is being pushed hard by the rider from Australia. Is it going to be Sun? Is it going to be Thomas? Thomas from Australia or Helena Sun? It's Lacoste who's going to take the win. And Helena Sun from Sweden is going to make the final in the cruiser category 17 to 29. Right, here we see the replay of the start, but Lucy Lacoste has not dropped a single lap all day long. Here she is coming down the first straight. Nice style from the young lady. And uh, down the last straightaway, a clear leader in front of her compatriots. And Sweden comes through in four. Debbie final number 15 lining up on the gates. The cruisers for the male 40 to 44 year olds. As we see the confirmation from the women's 1729 cruisers up on the big screen. There it is then at your start list for the 40 to 44 year old semi final number one. France, Latvia, Mexico, Great Britain. Canada, Germany, Aruba, and France again. Forty to forty-four year old cruiser bruisers are at it again down the hill and through the straight. Who's gonna get the whole shot? Looking like we've got the Canadian Hugo Donne. Round is outside though. Where are the Latvians? Good Yonkers leads it out. Yonkers in there in the one spot. Oh, it's getting busy for two. That's gonna be Donne in there in that two spot of the minute. But they have made moves. Who's that there? Then looking like it is the A of Martial Peru. Peru's in there in that two spot. That's Donne in there in three. The other the Frenchman in for Quentin Delacluse. Delacluse looking like he's going to go through in the final qualified spot. We're a French. You've got two runners in the final. The Latvians are loving that one from Gerds Yonkers. That was your replay as they came across the line. As we move on, semi-final two for the 40 to 44 male cruiser, France, New Zealand, France, Argentina, three more French and a Great Britain.
second semi-final for the 40 to 44 cruiser guys heading down the hill oh one two three riders gone fraser watson right in the middle of it in a qualified position right now can he hold on to it dives underneath goes from fourth to second so the three four two of uh, uh, anthony paul is leading it out fraser watson in there in two let's have a look who's got that three spot because there are a posse of french guys behind him and they're all looking for a way round 3-3-8 in, in that final qualifying position. Johan Morand, but Fraser Watson of Great Britain looking like he's going to make the Cruiser final in 40-44. Makes his way in. He'll be delighted. Surrounded by the French guys. What a result for him. Riders having a roll round on the floor. I think uh, Jocelyn Ruiz was one of those fallers, as was the 326. Jose Guimero Salazar. And the 367 that hit the deck, Richard Stratford out of New Zealand. Dusty but unhurt. Give them a round of applause as they come down that final straight. Just checking out the replay. Fraser Watson, he is from Scotland, I believe. Making his way in at his home worlds. He'll be delighted with that one. Alrighty then, moving up to the hill, we have the start list for the Cruiser women, 40 and overs. I cannot believe this semi-final. One rider from Germany, one rider from Holland, and six riders from Great Britain in this semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. All right, then here we go. The gate draws. I expect to see Kirsten Maher take the lead, and she does. She holds shots. So the German leads this one out from Wendy Brondecker from Holland. But no, who's that gone round the outside? That's Rebecca Gold, I think. Yes, it is. It's Rebecca Gold leading this one out into two there. Who's there in three? Kim Baxford looking to make another world final in four there. We're looking for Anita Wong in five, I think as uh, Rebecca Gull moves on through. She's chasing down Kirsten Meyer, but Kirsten Meyer takes the lead into the last turn. Kim Vaxford's looking good now. Who's that in five? Because she's not out of it. That's Anita Wong, I think, in five. Can she keep it going? Wendy De Brocker from Holland. She's going to make it through, I think. Yes, she is. Meyer, Gull, Vaxford, and Wendy Brondecker in the cruiser. 40 and overs. <laughs> A big shout out there to the rest of the GB crew making the semis. No mean feat at all. Here you see the replay. Kirsten Maher was always going to be the favourite. Hasn't dropped a lap all day long. Won every single lap, as has Kim Batsford. But in the end, it was gold chasing her down the last straightaway. But Batsford makes it through in three. And Wendy... Ron Decker, a veteran of the sport, makes another world final. She was the number six last year. She's made that final again in 2023 in the Cruiser Challenge class. Second semi-final then at 40 plus women's cruiser lining up on the gates. An Australian, a Dutchie, an American, a German, and four French riders lining up.
Semi-final number 18 is a go, the 40-plus women's cruiser. Check them out down this first straight, Christian Weissner. She's going to take the whole shot into the turn for Germany. So it is Weissner out there in the one spot. Who's that in there in two, three, and four? We are picking up the Frenchies, the 619 and the 612. Uh, at the moment, that is Astrid Delacluse. Uh, at the moment, hanging on to it, and Ludivine Sevel. Sevel's in there in three as it stands in and out of that second turn. Weissner looking good. Delacluse survey in there as well. The 6-1-4 finding the final qualifying spot. Hebrard. Hebrard's on the football at the moment. Here comes the other Frenchie in the race. She's in there in five. Got a bit of work to do. Weissner's going to take it. Delacluse in there in that two spot. It's going to be survey And Hebrard in the final for the 40-plus women's cruiser. As we take a look at the replay down the first straight a great start from the German out of lane two I think it was and after that there was no questions asked of her whatsoever she was gone from the rest of the pack and then it was all about the Frenchies down the final straight in two three and four three out of a possible four French riders into the 40 plus women's cruiser World Championships final. And there is the results up on the big screen. Right, moving on. 45 to 49, cruiser men. France, Great Britain, Mexico. Two more from France, one from Brazil, one from the United States, and one from Great Britain. Forty-five to forty-nine. Here we go. Let's have a look as they head down towards turn number one. Who's going to get it into the corner? Looks like the Dutch rider. Oh, one, two. The Aussies have gone, and I think Damian Mead's gone down as well. Let's have a look as they go into the turn. Only five riders left standing. Who's out front? Looks like our friend uh, Johnny Johnny Brahita. The four play in there as well. Philip Silic. USA are in that in that third position, and it looks like the other uh, rider from the Netherlands, Sod Vissa. Is Vissa going to hang on to it? He's under pressure though from Philip. Oh! He threw it away on the final straight. Oh my word! What action! I was just about to say he made it in. And then he's somersaulting down the final straight. Let's hear it for him. Sjord Vissa. One lap, four riders hitting the deck. 376 is up. That was Clint Schurz. I think Ben Thompson is still down in that first turn. Love to see the replay of that one. Oh, just put it down a that little bit too early. He up, he is. Let's hear it for him. I think he was Ben Thompson on the 
then. Cruiser 45 to 49, second semi final lineup on the gate. Riders from France, Great Britain, Mexico. Two more riders from France, Brazil in this one, USA, and another rider from Great Britain. Rhythm. So there's the results of the previous race. And we go back to the hill as the start list. For the cruiser, men 45 49. Race number 20, semi final. Here we go. All right, semi final number two. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. France on the inside, looking good. That's going to be Jan Gay. Gay from France, Mexico in there in two. He is re exit the first turn. France in three. Oh, Great Britain making moves in four. Glenn Cartwright trying to go around the outside of the American, and he's making a good job of it. Brazil back in five at the moment. Cartwright's leading this one out in the fourth place, but it's Gay. It's Mexico in there in two with Perez Gomez. Then the other French rider coming on through is Marc Bruno, I think, as they exit the last turn. The rider from Great Britain. Oh, the rider from SA uh, Brazil has gone down. And Glenn Cartwright is going to make the world final. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Two riders from France, one rider from Mexico, and Glenn Cartwright from Great Britain makes the final as our good friend Ricardo dos Santos hits the deck from Brazil in the last turn. Here we see the world number seven on the screen. Leading this one out from the young Mexican. I say young, 45, 49. Ricardo de Santos resides in the UK, riding for Brazil. Uh, good to see him back up on his feet. As we turn our attention to the next semi-final, just four semi-finals left to go. Here we see the results up on the screen. Gay Birdo, Gomez and Cartwright from Great Britain making his way through. Race 21, line up on the gate now. Here we are then at the eight to 12 year old girls semi-final and number one. We've got a Chilean, a Swiss, a South African, an Argentine, and we are our American friends for Americans lining up on the gate, ladies and gents. Semi-final number 21, here's the track. And the Americans are all on the inside, heading for the turn. It's looking like there's about four single-digit plays from the world final last year. But it is the South African leading this one out. It is the five on the plate, Riley Van Herden. Herden's leading this one out. Then the 501 in there as well. That is Chase Burian. Burian's in there in that two spot for the USA. That's looking like the three of Eliza Newton in there in three at the moment. The sixth plate on the bubble as well. Madison Thompson in a qualifying spot as he stands. Gemma Tollefson, Tollefson's in there in the five, in and out of the final turn. It's going to be Hayden taking it down to the stripe, the three of Newton in there in that two spot. Looking like Thompson's going to make it through as well. Chase Berrien's in the side of the top four. You got, you got some throat sweets for the uh, lady from South Africa in the stands. You got some cough medicine, you all right there? <laughs> Wow. As we uh, take a quick look at the replay, a great start from the South African out of lane six, just working her way all the way across the Americans into that first turn and making it happen. And after that, she was out front for the whole race down the last straight. She's going to be looking to perhaps top that five plate from last year's world final.
All right, next semi-final up. Second one for the eight to 12 year old girls. Australia, Japan, the Netherlands, and no less than five riders from the USA. So I would suggest your odds are looking good, guys. Well, let's see what happens. Right, eight to 12 year old girl cruiser final. Let's have a look who's gonna be the first into the turn. I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, one well, rider exits the wrong side. Her world championship dream is over. Not sure who that was, but well, the young lady leading it out. That is the 509 followed by the 502. That is gonna be Harper Vercuso. Harper Vercuso out there in front for the USA. Dusty Schroeder in there as well. Looks like the uh, rider from Japan in there in two. That's going to be Nakimura. Australia in there in three. That is Dusty Schroeder. Who's going to get the fourth spot? Team USA. You've got two riders at least in. Who's going to get it at the stripe? Oh. So close. But it was between two Team USA riders. So they've got a couple in the final. Right, let's take a look at that replay. As they came out of the gate, one rider got cut off right from the outside. Harper Vescuso, though, taking the whole shot. One rider exited the wrong side. And they were battling down the straight to the line. But they knew they were in at that point. The job had been done. Alrighty then, 25, 29 cruisers line up on the gate. Semi-final number 23. Before we go straight into the finals, hopefully these guys will get some rest. Riders from Holland, France, Bolivia and Germany in this one. All right, they've only raced three times so far today. Well, look at these guys go. Uh, the rider from Holland in the inside there. He's going all the way around the outside now. That's Kevin Elbers, is it? I'm not sure. As they come past me, uh, the 283 is looking super quick. That is Kevin Elbers. We've got three French riders in second, third, and fourth. Julien Bridal, Thibaut Dupont. And the rider there in fourth is the 270. And the 270 is, of course, uh, Kevin and Jabot. And Jabot is going to be chased hard there by Mitchell. Smith, Smith from Holland. Is he going to make it through? No, he's not. The three French riders are going through with Kevin Elbers. Wow. Cruiser 25-29. Super fast stuff from them. All righty then. Here we see the super snart from Elbers. He went in lane six. Chose to go sort of in the middle, if you like. He's had two wins in a second, so he should be an inside pick for him, but he chose to go more outside, and Elbers, a familiar scene in the world finals here in the Challenge Cruiser classes, as the three French riders come through behind him and the unlucky Dutch rider there in five. So we're going to move on to the next Cruiser men, 25 to 29. We're just going to check the result on that one. Yeah, there's the results. Elbers, <laughs> Julian Thibault, and Kevin. And Jibault from France going through in four. Okay, start list for the next semi final. Lining up on the gates. We've got a Swiss rider, a French, a South African, an Australian, a Dutch. 
an American and two Argentinians. Here we go, the final semi-final of the day. Here's the track. Check him out on the inside. Benjamin Batallard into the turn. Absolute chaos on the step up, step down. So it is Batallard leaning it out. Who's that in there within the five plate of Hernan Santillan? He's in there in that two spot, chasing him down. Check out the South African. That's got to be Brandon Pratt working his way into a qualifying spot. He wants to make this final. Who's in there within the 269? In the mix, that's Vincent Leon. Leon in and out of the final turn. He's got the final qualified spot. But Tayar's going to take it to the line. Santillan's in there with him. Brandon Pratt's in for three. That's Vincent Leon in four. Ryder down in the second turn. We are just having a quick look at the replay. The two Argentinians elbow bashing down the hill. Batayard on the inside, and then the Argentinians just get caught up with each other in that first corner. Not quite sure what happened to the rider in that second turn. But from start to finish, it was all about the Swiss. Where are the Swiss? Benjamin Batayard taking the final semi-final win of the day. The Argentinian in that two spot just behind him. That was Hernan. Santillan, there is your confirmation then. Leon in fourth for France. Brandon Pratt out of South Africa in three. Santillan in a two for Argentina. And of course, the Swiss rider taking the semi final win. Do not forget, ladies and gents, we are going straight into final racing. And also, as well, a very, very important request for the finals, ladies and gentlemen. We do need absolute silence for the start, please. Absolute silence for the athletes in the finals. As soon as that gate goes and they're heading down the hill, make as much noise as you like. But So yeah, if you could, guys and girls, when those riders are on that gate and it's about to drop, please, 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 we need complete and total silence. Oh, you guys are all right up there. I can see a contingent from a very uh, prominent Northern BMX club all sat round. Hello. You having a good time? Yes, you are, good. Somebody's brought Prince Charles. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, King Charles he is now, isn't he? Yeah, uh, well, he can do a lap. We'll let him stay if he can do a lap, do you know what I mean? Here oh. we go. Right, over to Neil, and he will uh, let you know who's up there. Are we ready for these Cruiser World Championships finals, ladies and gents? All right, lining up on the gate, we have the Cruiser boys, 15 to 16 year old final. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to crown some World Challenge champions, if you like, in the cruiser classes. These is what it, this race is, is what it's all about. These riders have come from all over the world to be here in Glasgow to race the UCI BMX World Cycling Championships. And this is what it boils down to. We want to hear the grandstands absolutely erupting for all the riders. 
whether you've got riders in it from your country or not. Let's make as much noise for these riders. And uh, we're about to introduce you to riders from lane number eight through to lane number one, so you can make some noise for each one of your riders. But as Rich said earlier on, complete silence for the start sequence. No horns, no whistles, please. These riders have come a long way to try and become the World Challenge Champion. And uh, we are looking good to go here as we look up to the gate. These 15, 16 boys, young men getting ready to go. Okay, plate number 138 from Colombia. Make some noise, Isaac Granada Sanchez. Also on the outside was Samuel Gil Malulanda. Plate number seven, lane number seven for Gabe Simpson for Great Britain. Plate number 131 from Australia, Preston Murray. Plate number 200 from the USA, Brady O'Neill. Moving across, the rider from Colombia. We mentioned him already, but let's give him another shout out. Isaac Granada Sanchez. Moving across now to the inside in lane number three, plate number three from Australia, Declan McGee. Lane number two, plate number 126 from Argentina. Valentino Valoy Valio. And in lane number one from Australia, plate number 129, Cameron Gatt. Your attention for the start, boys, 15, 16 year old, World Challenge final. Good luck, guys. Absolute silence for the start, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. This is it, the first World Challenge champion is about to be crowned. Who's it going to be? Cameron Gatt on the inside, battling with Vallejo, and Gatt gets the whole shot. The other Aussie dives underneath, so Australia are going one and two. Look at Gabe Simpson, he's in there inside the top five of the minute. It's all going on in the corner, everybody's throwing elbows. Simpson up into four, Gatt out in front, the three play. That belongs to Declan McGee. Gatt, McGee, Colombia in there as well. Granada Sanchez in the final corner. Looks like Cameron Guy is going to pick it up. Australia are going to go one and two. Gabe Simpson takes the four. Wow, what a final and what a start for you guys from Australia. Let's just take a look at that replay. Cameron Guy on the inside. He knew he had to nail it from lane number one. He was getting serious pressure from the Argentinian rider into the corner. Gabe Simpson was back there in about seven at that point. And as they came down the final straight, it was Australia one and two. Colombia going through in three. Gabe Simpson getting a W4 for Great Britain. It's not a bad way to start your uh, World's Week. Alrighty then, just looking for the confirmation. Here it is on the screen. Isaac Sanchez from Colombia in three, Declan McGee in two, and your World Challenge champion from Australia, Cameron Gatt. All right, next final lineup on the gate. These are the Cruiser men, 50 and over. This is a big one. All right, getting ready to rock and roll. We've got riders from New Zealand, Great Britain, Holland, France, and Australia in this one. Okay, line up in lane number eight, plate number 424 from Australia, 
It's Carl Muschin. Lane number seven, plate number eight from the Netherlands, Bob van Westerop. Plate number two, lane number six from France, Nicolas Tari. Lane number five from Great Britain, but from Scotland, Ian Archibald. Lane number four, he goes by the name of the Pink Panther. From France, jean Reno Dilatti. Lane number three, lane number four, from Great Britain, Alan Hill. Lane number two, lane number zero five, from France, Swag Delamers. And in lane number one, the plate number one, the current World Challenge champion. Here to defend, from New Zealand, Dion Newell. Your attention for the start. 50 and over cruisers. Good luck, guys. Here we go, the 50 plus cruisers are a go. Check him out. Jean Ducos, the Pink Panther, out of the front. He leads it out. Check out the GB rider in there with him. Ian Archibald in there in two. Bob Van Vesterop in there as well. Vesterop's worked his way into that two spot. Out from then, it is the Pink Panther. Jean Ducos leading it through. Vesterop's not done yet either. Here comes the current world champion. Here is Dion Youth heading in to the final turn, Jean Ducos leading it out, Archibald's under pressure, last train action, where is Viva La France? Jean Ducos, your new 50 plus men's cruiser challenge world champion, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see on the replay, the Pink Panther out of the gate, absolutely on a charge. Vesterop from the outside worked his way into that two, start, two spots, but it was all about Jean Ducos. And LaFrance down the final straight. He took the win. Bob Van Vesterop in there in that two spot, and it looked like we picked up two GB jerseys in three and four with Ian Archibald and Alan Hill. There it is then, the confirmation. Jean Ducos, Bob Van Vesterop, Alan Hill picked up three on the line. And Ian Archibald going home with the world at number four plates. All right, they're moving on, Cruiser boys. Eight to 12 year old category lineup on the gate. Australia, USA, Great Britain, Japan, Czechy, Colombia in this one. The boys, eight to 12 Cruiser, lining up in lane number eight on plate number 49. From Japan, Istawa Yumezawa. Plate number 29, plate number seven for the rider from Colombia, Andres Maria Lecutier. Lane number six, plate number eight from the USA, Jacob Dyson. Plate number 34. From the Czech Republic in lane number five. Hasn't dropped a single lap all day long. Ada Petarenka. Lane number four, plate number 45. From Japan, Haruto Iramura. Plate number 41, make some noise for the Great Britain rider. Newton Hidley. Lane number two from the USA on plate number 68, Espin Wilk. Ooh, 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 
And on the inside, on plate number 24, lane number one from Australia, Dylan Seacher. Your attention for the Cruiser Boys category, eight and 12, World Challenge Final. Good luck, boys. Here we go, eight to 12 year old boys, the cruiser final, let's have a look, he's in the middle of it. Looks like the Australian of the Czech Republic, Patrick, leading it into the turn, Seisha in there as well, Hindley's working his way around the outside, and he's absolutely on fire, takes it to the skies, but Adam Petrek of the Czech Republic in there in one, Dylan Seisha in two, where is the Japanese rider? He's in there in three, that's Hiramura, oh, somebody's hit the deck, not quite sure who he was, Hindley, in five for Great Britain. In and out of the final corner, though. Adam Petrek of the Czech Republic. Dylan Seisha in there in two. Who's going to get the three? Looks like it's going to be Colombia. Andre Maria Lacutra. What a lap from Adam Petrek of the Czech Republic. Let's hear it for the 49. Toa Umizawa. Just get to take a look at that replay as they headed down the hill. Newton Hindley actually got himself a great start. Dylan Seisha came across though, took it away from him. Adam Petrek, meanwhile, was working his way to the front of the park and there was no stopping him coming down that final straight. He is the World Challenge Champion. Dylan Seisha in there in two. And Andre Maria Lacutra of Colombia in three. All right, there's the final results on the screen. Petrek not dropping a single lap all day long, and that's why he's the World Challenge Champion. Moving on to the Cruiser Boys, category 13 to 14 years. Riders from Australia, France, Switzerland, Colombia, Belgium, and USA and New Zealand in this one. On the outside, the rider from New Zealand on plate number 116, it's TJ Ricky Hanna Gray. Lane number seven, USA, one double two on the plate. That's Maddox Vicario. Lane number six from Belgium. The rider with the hair. Gate number six, plate number 79, Ethan Klaas. Lane number five from Colombia, Matias Estevez Gonzalez. From France, in lane number four, Amil Balcu. In lane number three, from Switzerland, Timon Kola. Lane number two, from France, Lubin Danjou. And in lane number one, all the way over on the inside from Australia, Mika Maloney. Your attention for the start of the Cruiser Boys, 13-14. Good luck, boys. Here we go, 13, 14 year old World Challenge Championship heading down the hill and through the straight. Ricky Hanna Gray leads it out for the Kiwis. TJ Ricky Hanna Gray in there in that one spot. That's the 90 played in there with him. That is Amel Balcu. Balcu bringing it on through for France in there in that two spot as they're coming in out of that second corner. The Australian. Mika Maloney, he's in there in three. The front three riders are running away with it. Maloney is a done yet. Looking on the inside. 
Ryan in the turn. Maloney from three to two. Ricky Harder Gray, he's going to take it. 13 to 14 year old. He's going to take the Cruiser Championship. We've lost the rider on the last train. Maloney in there for that two spots. The America came through and nicked the three. Maddox Vicario. We've lost a rider in the final turn. That was Gonzalez. And we also lost Amel Balcu. Balcu is back up to his feet, ladies and gents. Put your hands together for Amel Balcu. And of course, Matias Gonzalez back up to his feet as well in the final turn. Put your hands together, Colombia. And that was the replay on the big screen. Tara Rai, Ricky Harder Gray, no questions asked of him. He was on fire all day long. Taking the 13 to 14 year old Cruiser World Challenge Championship. Mika Maloney in there for that two spots. Maddox Vicario in at three and the Swiss Timo Kohler in at the top four. All right, then moving on to the Cruiser girls, 13 to 16 years old. France, Great Britain, USA, Colombia, Japan, and New Zealand in this one. Coming onto the gate then. If the riders would like to step out of the shadows and into to the gate, we will get you ready for your final, the Cruisers. Girls, 13 to 16 years old. Line up in lane number eight. On the plate number 538. From New Zealand, Talia Nelson. Lane number seven. Plate number 546. From the USA, Landon Barrian. Lane number six. Plate number 525. From France, Louise Boisson. Plate number 537. From Japan, Yuki Nishimura. Plate number six. Number eight, I beg your pardon, from Colombia. It's uh, Palos Guadalupe. USA, plate number seven. Lane number three, Alexis Alden. Lane number two, plate number four, Great Britain, Elsa Redolton. And from France, on the inside, lane number six, lane number one, Leonie Bergel. Your attention for the Cruiser girls, 13 to 16 year old final. Good luck, ladies. Final underway for the 13 to 16 year old girls. Cruiser Alexis Old and Elsa Reynolds on. Heading out towards turn number one, Leonie Bushell as well. Oh, Elsa Reynolds on has thrown it underneath. Can she take it home for her mom? We're about to find out. But she's got pressure coming from Alexis Alden. Alden's trying to get the Elsa's leading it out. I think the roof might come off this stadium if she wins it. Elsa Rendleton into the final turn. Alexis Alden in two, but she's bringing it home. She's doing it for mum. She's doing it for Tabby. Elsa Rendleton is your World Challenge Champion. Woo! Let's take a look at the replay as they came down the hill. It was all about Alexis and Elsa battling to the turn. I thought Alexis was going to take it. Elsa just threaded the needle, dived underneath, stole away that line, and she managed to hold it on to the end. I'm pretty sure there's going to be tears up in that part of the stand. What an amazing result. Well done, Elsa. 
Yeah, great stuff. Give it up, make some noise. Team Tabby in the grandstand. There is your final result. World Challenge champion, Elsa Randall Todd. All the best, Tabby. Okay, moving on. Cruiser men, 70 to 24. This is going to be a big one. Watch out. There could be fireworks in here. Runners from France, USA, and Holland and Belgium going at it. The semis were chaos. Who knows what's going to happen in the final. My good friend on the outside. All the best for the Belgian rider, Robert Verschuren. Lane number seven, 251. Known it for many years too, Bo van Berkestaden. <laughs> Lane number six, 262 from USA, Benny Sereni. Lane number five, from the USA, plate number 261, Aaron Blee. Lane number four for the 217 from France, Charles Cave. Lane number three, 263, Degert Brown. Lane number two, plate number two, for La France, Maxime de Hume. And in lane number one, from France, Leo Lupier. Your attention for the men, 17 to 24 final. Good luck, guys. Here we go, we're about to crown a new world champion in the 70 to 24 year old cruiser category. Heading for the turn, who's gonna get it? Looking live, we've got the rider out of these. Oh, we've lost Lou Apre. Oh no, Lou Apre's leading it, we've lost the horn. Lou Apre's in there in that one spot, the USA going two and three. Bovang Bergstaden in there in the four spot as they're coming in and out of the turn. It is Lou Apre out there in the one spot, who's in there in the two? That is the 263 of Diego Brown. He's got the other rider out of the USA all over his back. Wheel, but here comes Bovang Bergstaden down the last straight. Leo Luapre is your new world champion in the 70 to 24 year old cruiser men's category. That was ridiculously tight for that two spots. Deegan Brown, Charles Cave, and Bo Van Bergstaden all tight across the line. Put your hands together, ladies and gents, for Maxime de Horn. He's back onto his feet, and Rob Verschuren. Both finalists from last year. Showing that they're going to consistently do it at the top level. And that is the replay of your new 70 to 24 year old cruiser world champion, Leo Luapre taking the win. Once again, then, ladies and gents, put your hands together for the fallen riders, Maxime de Horn and Rob Verschuren. Yeah, good man. The ladies' man, they call him Rob of a student. He won't mind me saying that. Number seven on the plate this time. He's up to, up to place. All right, turn our attention to the hill again for final number seven, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the results. Bo Van Bergstaden made it through in three in the end. Deegan Brown, but you're well challenge champion, Leo Lippel. Cruisers, ladies, 17 to 29, line up on the gate. France, Denmark, Great Britain, Slovakia, Sweden and Holland in this one. Okay, we turn our attention to the hill and here we go. Lane number eight. Plate number five for Jennifer Martin. Lane number seven, 
Plate number 585 from Sweden, Helena Sund. Lane number six. Plate number one from France, Camille Imbert. No, I got that one. Sorry, Lucy Lacoste. Lane number five. Plate number four for Kristina Medarezova. <coughs> Lane number four. Plate number six, Camille Bear. Plate number five, seven, five in lane number three from Great Britain, Lily Chisawa. Plate number two, lane number two from Denmark, Mia Christensen. Lane number one from France, the 560 on the plate, Matilda Hugo. Attention for the start, cruiser 17 to 29, women. Good luck, ladies. Cruiser women, 17 to 29, heading down the hill. Let's have a look. Mia Christiansen got a good start. Looks like Madrasova has been boxed off. She's in the back of the pack somewhere. So who's going to be the person leading it out? It is Lucy Lacoste, your reigning world champion. Is she going to be the first person to retain the title today? She's out in front. She's making it look good so far. Christiansen in there in two. Who's got the three? Uh, Mathilde Hugo in there in that third spot. Here comes Madara Sova in there in four. Lily Chazim well back there in eight but in and out of the final corner Lucy Lacoste can she do it is she going to retain the title yes she is Christiansen battling with Madara Sova who might have stolen second what could have been if she got a decent start let's check it out on that big screen that came out and uh, Christina Madara Sova ruined the start that she got there, but no such problem for Lucy Lacoste. She is the reigning world champion. And now, world challenge champion again. She's retained that title, Mia Christiansen. But Christina Madara Sova came right through with the death, managed to get herself on the podium. I think that's the only lap she's dropped all day long. Here is your confirmation of the final. Lucy Lacoste takes the win. Christina Amara Razova, she nicked the second place off of Mia Christensen. And the Danish rider just falls one place from last year back to third. We move on to the men cruiser 40 to 44. France, Great Britain, Canada, Latvia in this one. Five riders from France. Okay, line up on the gate. Cruiser men, 40 to 44. Lane number eight, plate number 340. Pia Mine. Plate number 341. Lane number seven, Quentin De La Cluse. Plate number 338. Lane number six, Johan Moran. Plate number two, lane number five for Gertz Jakusa from Latvia. Plate number 331, lane number four from Canada, Hugo Donet. Lane number 3 from Great Britain and Scotland, Fraser Watson. Lane number two, plate number 342 from France, Anthony Paul. And in lane number one from France, Michel Peru. Cruiser 40 to 44. Good luck, guys.
board in a 44 year old cruisers are a go check them out down the first straight who's going to get it Hugo Donnay's had a great start heading for the turn here comes a world two round the outside Gertz Yonkers gets a couple of elbows in the corner but out front it is the 342 Anthony Paul out of France France in there in the one spot Yonkers in there in the two spot here's Fraser Watson out of GB working his way to a podium spot Watson then hanging on to the top three, they're queuing up behind him, into the final turn, Yonkers looked on the inside, didn't quite make his stick, last straight action, Anthony Ball, looking like he's going to take it to the line, Gertz Yonkers for two, Fraser Watson for three. The 40 to 44 year old Cruisers have now got a new World Challenge Champion, that is Anthony Paul. As we look at the replay, a great start from the Canadian in the middle of the gates. Hugo Donne, good Zionkus just working his way from the outside, but on the inside, the 3 4 2 of Anthony Paul took advantage of the elbow bashing that went on on the outside. And then he just brought it home to the line. Good Zionkus in there for that two spot and GB's. Fraser Watson in there for three. Yeah, there's your confirmation. Anthony Paul, World Challenge Champion, Cruiser 4044. Gertz Yonkers from Latvia holds on to that world number two, but Fraser Watson, what a ride. World number three for him. Cruiser, women 40 and over. France, two riders from Germany. Three riders from France, two from Great Britain, one from Holland. Line up in lane number eight from France, Astrid Delacluse. Lane number seven, plate number six from Holland, Wendy Brondeca. Plate number six, three, five. From Great Britain, Kim Batsford. Lane number five, plate number four, from Great Britain, Rebecca Gull. Lane number four, from Germany, Deutschland, Kirsten Meyer. Plate number 614, lane number three, from France, Cecile Hebra. Lane number two, plate number 621 from Germany, Christian Weisner. And in lane number one, plate number 612 from France, Ludivine Sever. Cruiser women 40 and over. Good luck, ladies. Cruiser women 40 plus Argo, the only two riders not to drop a lap all day are the German riders and one of them is out front and on their way to that first turn and in front, in and out they go, I've got a feeling it's Christian Weisner, is she going out front? Yes she is on the 60, no it's Kirsty Mayer, Kirsty Mayer in there in one, that is uh, Wendy Brondecker in there in two, so the Germans got this one under control, Kirsty Mayer right now. Germany in there in three, that'll be Christian Weisner. France there, four and five. Rebecca Gold trying to work her way in as well as they go in and out of the final corner. It's going to be Germany. Kirsten Mayer taking the title. Brondecker's under pressure from the other German rider. Germany go one and two. Christian Wiesner snatching it at the line. All well, the spoils go to the 622 of Kirsten Mayer. There is your replay as they come down the hill. Kirsten May got out front early doors. Well, Wendy Brondecker was chasing her down. The French rider taking to the skies just behind. Rebecca Gull and Kim Batsford were trying to get in there for Great Britain. But from the line to the stripe, 
from the start to the finish. Kirsty Mayer of Germany, your world challenge champion, 40 plus cruiser women. Then there's your result on the screen. It was Kirsty Meyer and the other German rider, Christian Weisner, made it across the line in two. So it's a one two for Germany. And Wendy ends up in third there for Holland. Cruiser men, 45 to 49, line up on the gate. France, Slovakia, Holland, USA, Mexico, Great Britain in this one. On the outside, gate number eight. Plate number 399 from Great Britain, Glyn Cartwright. Lane number seven, plate number six, Philippe Bellamy. Lane number six, plate number four from Slovakia, Philippe Chilik. There is no quick. Lane number five from Mexico. It's Mario Alberto Perez Gomez. Late number four, 421 on the bike from the United States of America. Tommy Brewitt. Lane number three from France, Marc Bruno. My good friend from Holland. Lane number two, 409 on the plate. We call in the eight ball. It's Judy Brenta. And in lane number one, lane number seven, from France, Jan Gay. Cruiser men, 45 to 49 final. Good luck, guys. Forty-five, forty-nine-year-old cruisers are a go. Check out on the inside the seven of Yan Gay heading for the turn. He wants to pick up the whole shot and a one play. Gay leads it out, doing it for the France. That's the USA in there in the two spot, picking it up on the foot. Forty-one, and that is looking like Tommy Pruitt. Bringing it in and out of the corner. Here comes Pruin. He's not done yet. Elbow bashing down the straight with Jan Gay. Here comes the four of Philip Chilik. He's worked his way into the top three spot. In and out of the final turn. The seven of Jan Gay. He's going to take it down to the line. Oh, it's getting busy for the two. It's tie of the line. Juni Brahita pushing all of the way. Lunging at the stripe with Tommy Pruitt, Philip Chilik exited left, just about managed to stay upright and pick up fourth, I believe. The fallen rider was Glyn Cartwright. As you can see on the replay, Ian Gay been on fire all day long and there was the coming together between the American and the Slovakian. There oh. is the confirmation and the French rider taking the win. Jan Gay in the one spot, Tommy Pruitt in two, Johnny Brahita in three, and Philip Chilik after getting all unlucky in the tanglement at the line, he takes home world number four for Slovakia. All righty then, line up on the gate. We got the next final, two finals to go. Cruiser girls, eight to 12 years old. Look at all the USA riders in this one. Four from the USA, five from the USA, Japan, South Africa. We'll hear her mother in the grandstand, that is for sure. And Australia in this one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, line up on the gate, plate number eight. Uh, lane number eight, plate number 49.5 from Australia, Dusty Schroeder. 
Lane number seven, USA. Camden Cole. Lane number six from South Africa, plate number five, Riley Van Heeden. Lane number five, plate number 507 from the United States of America, Chase Barrier. Plate number 509, lane number four, Harper Vescuso. Lane number three from Japan, Yuri Nakamura. Lane number two, plate number three, USA, Eliza Newton. And in lane number one, USA, plate number six, Madison Thompson. Okay, stay calm for the moment, ladies. We just got a medical on the track, so we'll be with you on your final any second. Everyone's dancing. Right, let's hear it for Clean Car Ride, people. Give him a huge round of applause. We hope he's okay. Cartwright, wasn't it? Of course. Okay, we're getting ready to go racing with the Cruiser Girls, eight to 12 year old. We'll just let the medical team deal with young Glenn out on the track. So in this one, let's make some noise for the riders as they've been preparing themselves up at the start hill. Australia, make some noise. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oh, they must have all left. USA, where are you? Make some noise. Five riders in this final. Japan, where are you? Japan, make some noise. And of course, needs no introduction, but the uh, young lady in the grandstand from South Africa, where are you for your rider? Great stuff. the UCI Cycling World Championships drawing to a close on day one. We've seen some awesome racing here. 
today. It's been absolutely fabulous. The weather has held out. We are about to go racing with the girls. Eight to 12 cruisers. Are you ready for another final, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get ready to rumble. UCI Cycling World Championships, here we go. The penultimate final of the day is go the 8 to 12 year old girl cruisers who's going to get it as they head down there looks like team usa are going to lead it into the turn let's have a look who's going to come towards us all the elbows are flying we are looking at the uh the three followed by the six. Oh, one round has gone down. Eliza Newton, Madison Thompson, one and two in and out of that second turn as they head down the technical third straight. But the young lady on the three, Eliza Newton, she's out front. Here comes the South African rider. I don't know if mum can contain herself in the stands. That's Riley Van Heerden as they come down the final straight, though. It's going to be Eliza Newton for the USA. Is Riley Van Heerden going to take that second spot? Doesn't quite get it. Madison Thompson, I think he was picking up the two. Team USA. Two riders in the top three. And let's just take a look at that replay on the big screen. Riley Van Heerden not getting that gate that she wanted from gate number six. Meanwhile, Eliza Newton right there on the inside, taking the whole shot. One rider exited the wrong side down the straight, the second straight. Meanwhile, Eliza held on to take the title. Third in the world last year. First in the world this year. Final, final of the afternoon, lining up on the gates. Neil's going to take us through the riders who are up there. Yeah, last final line up on the gate. There's the result on the screen. Eliza Newton does take the win. She is the World Challenge champion. We move on to the cruisers, 25 to 29. Men. Switzerland, Argentina, France, Holland, and South Africa in this one. This is going to be fast and furious, that is for sure. Let's see who's got the spin to take the win. Line up on the gate in lane number eight, then plate number four from France. Divo Dupont. Lane number seven from South Africa, 285 on a bike, it's Brandon Pratt. Plate number 283 from the Netherlands, gate number six for Kevin Elbers. Plate number five, plate, lane number five, plate number 269 from France, Vincent Lyon. Lane number four, play number 270, Kevin and Jabot. Lane number three from France, Julien Bridal. Late number five on the inside, number two, lane number two from Argentina, Hernan Santillia. And in lane number one, for La Suisse. Benjamin Batilliot. Cruiser men, 25 to 29, the last final. Good luck, guys.
The final, final of the day. Here's the track. Bataillard's on the inside, headed for the turn. He's right there, Owen Bashir with the French rider. But it's going to be Kevin Elvis leading it through for the Dutchies. The 277's in there as well. Julian Bradel out of the France. That's going to be Argentina in the mix as well inside the top three. Here on Santillan. Santillan's had the move, put on him in the corner. That looks like it could be Dupont making his way inside the top three. Last turn action. Kevin Elvis running away with it looking like he's going to pick up the 25 to 29 year old cruiser world challenge championship who was in there for two that was julian bridell hernan santillon in there as well for argentina as we look at the replay of the race Benjamin Bataillard out of the inside. Got a great start, just got shut down by Bridell. And then Elbers, all the way from lane number seven or something like that, worked his way across. And then wrapped it up down the final straight. And it was the Argentinian that made up the top three. That is the race of Dun and Duster for the day, ladies and gents. We are, of course, going to have a medal ceremony for each class that has raced here today. It's been a phenomenal high energy day of competition on day one of the World Challenge BMX racing here at the UCI Cycling World Championships in Glasgow at the Nightwork Nightworks BMX Center. You can get in touch with us and let us know how much you have enjoyed your day. It's at Cycling Worlds on Twitter or it's at UCI underscore Cycling Worlds on Instagram and TikTok. Let us know how you've enjoyed your day. You can use the hashtag power of the bike and Massive congratulations to every single one of the participants today and all of the champions. And audience, make sure that you keep your bums on those seats because in just a few moments time, we're gonna be having the medal ceremonies for all of our champions. And I'm sure that you wanna give all of the phenomenal writers their moment in the spotlight that they deserve after such an exceptional day. So don't go anywhere. But if you, like me, are not quite a BMX veteran and the idea of going down this very big slope on a bike is quite terrifying, then fear not because you can still participate on your phone. If you take a look at the screen, you will see a QR code about to appear if you want to play for honor and for pride in our digital BMX race, then please scan the QR code right now. Get ready to race. We've only got one person trying to ride right now, so surely we want to give Ben a bit of competition. Oh, someone else has just signed up. We've got Brian113 and Antoine and Valu. Okay, this is heating up to be an interesting race for riders. A lot of honor to race for. Oh, and we've got a Dylan Will added in there as well, and Hugo. Anyone else who wants to join like Aiden just did, then now is the time to get scan on your QR code. We're gonna have a virtual BMX race, getting us in the mood for the medal ceremony for all of our incredible champions that won this afternoon. Okay, we've got more and more people lining up. We've got 20 seconds left for you to become a rider. So if you want to race for honor, pride, this is your moment. Get scanning the QR code and we will be ready to start this round of ping in just a few minutes time. More and more people sneaking into this race. Hope you've got your thumbs at the ready to virtually hammer those pedals. Okay, ready to go until our first match of ping. Five, four, three, two, one, ride! Okay, taking the lead immediately, we have got... Oh, it's looking pretty close, but Ben and Antoine are right there at the top at the moment. Alice is starting to take the edge on the side. Sally is taking a bit of a lead, oh, but she's falling back. Antoine and... Aiden are still pretty close ahead. Roe has managed to sneak his way in there. Alice is the most consistent right now. Sally 
is managing to sneak ahead there too. Adi, oh, big crash. We only appear to have four riders left in the race. Sally, Aaron, Ben and Alice, who is gonna take it? Ooh, Ben had a bit of a collide with the rock. Alice and Aaron are looking very good right now. Ben's pulled it back. Oh, this is very, very exciting race. Managing to dodge around the rocks here. Alice and Ben seem to be the last two in our ping challenge. Oh, two crashes, but Alice managed to win. Congratulations, Alice. Your pride, your dignity, and your honor should be high up there, given that you just won this round of ping. If anyone else wants to take another shot at ping, the QR code will be back on the screen in a minute, and you can also pedal, virtually pedal for glory. Time for a rematch. Maybe Alice wants to prove that she is the world champion ping for the day. Maybe Alice wants to take another shot. I can see a few more people signing up for round two, like Aaron and Valu. We've got Charlotte, Ben, Linton, Rose, Sally. So many people coming in this one. Obviously, it's a very important high energy competition when we are playing ping. Defend your honor. Get ready to pedal. I'll give you another five seconds to sign up before we give Ping round two, another go. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Get your fingers on those buttons and get pedaling. Oh, we've got some crashes on the first rock. Better pull it together, guys. I can see Sandus and Linton in the leads. Ella's managing to pull herself through here. Alice has managed to come back in and is also looking quite close to the front. Ella is managing to sneak right ahead, but Matt has just overtaken her. Come on, guys, get using those fingers, flexing the fingers. Who's going to be the ping champion this time? Ella, Alice, Matt, Sally, and Jonathan are all still in the race. It's looking tight between Ella and Alice right now. I wouldn't like to see the real competition between these two, because I think it would be fierce. Oh, and Ella is the last rider standing. Oh, no, she wasn't. It was Jonathan. Congratulations to Jonathan. Two fantastic rounds of ping. And there are only a few moments to go before we get to the medal award ceremonies for all of our phenomenal champions today. So make sure you stick around for that so that you can applaud all of your amazing champions in the way that they deserve after some phenomenal racing today. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, we welcome onto the stage. Uh, we must thank Glasgow Life in a very big way uh, for putting on this, uh, helping us with this great event here. And we have Jan Buchanan from Glasgow Life. She's the director of finance here with Norm McCann, the uh, UCI BMX racing coordinator here uh, at the start of our prize giving ceremony. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Glasgow Life, who's helped put this uh, awesome event together. And of course, UCI hosts here in uh, Glasgow for the UCI Cycling World Championship. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the awards ceremony of the 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships in Glasgow and across Scotland. The award ceremony is for the UCI BMX Racing World Challenge categories. This is the Cruiser Boys 15 and 16. In eighth place from the United States of America, Brady O'Neill. In seventh place from Colombia, Samuel Gilles Marulanda. In sixth place from Australia, Preston Murray. In fifth place, from Argentina, Valentino Valjo. In fourth place, from Great Britain, Gabe Simpson. And your top three in the final. Ladies and gentlemen, from Colombia, Granada Sanchez. And Australia, Declan McGee in second. But your World Challenge champion from Australia, Cameron Gatt. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, please applaud the winners of the boys 15, 16 years old and the World Challenge Champion, Cameron Gett. Cruiser men 50 and over. In eighth place from France, Nicolas Tari. In seventh from Australia, Carl Mushtin. From France, in six, Swan Delamas. From New Zealand, in five, was Dion Nguyen. In fourth place, from Great Britain, Ian Archibald and Scotland. And in third place, onto the top podium steps, come Great Britain's Alan Hill. In second place, from Holland, Bob Van Westerop. And your winner, your World Challenge champion from France, the Pink Panther! John Lucas Delihet. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your applause for the winners of the category. And your winner today, your World Channel Champion, Jean Rico Ducos. Well done, guys. Okay, coming up onto the podium, Cruisers, boys, 8, 12 years old. From Japan, in eighth place, Toa Yomazawa. In seventh, from USA, Espen Wilk. In sixth, from Great Britain, Newton Hindley. From the USA, in five, was Jacob Thiessen. From Japan, in four, 
was Haruto Iwamura. And your top three in third place from Colombia, Andres Maria Lacuchia. From Australia, in second was Dylan Seisha. And your winner today, your world challenge champion. He didn't drop a single lap all day long. Czechy Ada Petrek. Well done, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Applause for the winner of the category, Adam Petrek from Czechy. Cruiser Boys 13-14. <laughs> In eighth place, Fall of France, Amir Balcu. In seventh, from Colombia, Matias Gonzalez Estafas. In sixth, from France, Lubin Zenjou. From Belgium, in fifth, was Ethan Klaas. In fourth, from Switzerland, Timon Kola. Your top three on the podium. From the USA, Maddox Vicario. In second place, Mika Maloney. And your challenge champion, your world challenge champion for the Cruiser Boys, New Zealand, Daddy Wai Ricky Hadagray. TJ, as he likes to be known. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for the guys and your winner today from New Zealand, TJ. Okay, coming up onto the podium, the girls 13 to 16 years old. From Japan in eighth place, Wayuka Nishimura. From USA in seven was Landon Burian. In six from New Zealand was uh, Talia Nelson. In fifth place from France, Leonie Bergel. In fourth place, also from France, Louise Boisson. In third place, from Colombia, uh, Guadalupe Paliosos. In second place, from the USA, Alexis Alden. And your World Challenge Champion, from Great Britain, Elsa Rendell Todd. Well done, ladies. One more round of applause for them, please. Ladies and gentlemen, your World Challenge Champion for the Cruisers, 30 to 16, Elsa Rendell Todd. Cruiser, 70 to 24, in eighth place, Fall of France, Maxime de Huon. In seventh place, from Belgium, Robert Vichudin. In sixth place, from USA, Benny Serini. In fifth place, from France, Charles Cave. In fourth place, from USA, Aaron Blee. In third place, from the Netherlands, Bo van Berksteden. In second place, from the United States of America, Deegan Brown. And your World Challenge Champion from France, Leo Lepia. Great racing from the cruisers, 70 to 24, and your world challenge champion from France, Leo Lepia. Thank you very much, guys. Cruiser, 17 to 29 women. In eighth place, from Great Britain, Lily Chisawa. In seventh place, from Sweden, Halela Sun. In sixth place, from the Netherlands, Jennifer Martin. 
in sixth place for La France, Camille Imbert. From France in four, Mathilde Hugo. In third place from Denmark, Mia Christensen. In second place from Slovakia, Kristina Madarasova. And your winner today, the World Challenge Champion from France, Lucy Lacosta. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, a round of applause for the winners of the Cruiser 17 to 29 and your World Challenge Champion, Lucy Lacosta. Okay, Cruiser Men, 40 to 44. From France, in eighth place, Quentin Delacluz. In seven, from Canada, Hugo Donnet. From France, in six, Pierre Minet. From France, in five, Johan Morin. In four, from France, Marcel Peru. Your top three onto the podium, from Great Britain, Fraser Watson. In second place, two years on the trot for Latvians, Gert Yokusa. But your World Challenge Champion in a Cruiser Men, 40 to 44, Anthony Paul. Well done, guys. Hold them high. Both hands up in the air. Come on. There you go. Good. Hands up. There we go. There we go. There's the photo. What up, guys? Another round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen, for the Cruiser men, 40 to 44. And your World Challenge champion, Anthony Paul. Well done, guys. OK, Cruiser 40 and over, ladies, coming up onto the stage in eighth place was Rebecca Gold. In seventh place from France, Ludivine Seville. In sixth place from France, Astrid Delacluz. In fifth place from Great Britain, Kim Batsford. In fourth place from France, Cecile Hebara. In third place from the Netherlands, Wendy Brondeca. And in second place, the two Germans taking it by storm. In second, Christian Weisner. And your winner today in the 40 and over ladies cruiser was Kerstin Meyer from Germany. The World Challenge Champion. Hold them high, ladies. Above the head. Wendy, that's it. There we go. Be proud of those cows or bulls or whatever they are. Well done, ladies. Another round of applause for the cruiser category 40 and over. Oh, Rebecca, I don't know if you want to be part of this. We got time. You know, the lady's prerogative. Big round of applause for the cruisers 40 and over. Some of them look about 22. <laughs> well done, ladies. There won't be a podium ceremony if I didn't take them in. Okay, cruiser men 45 to 49. Uh, unfortunately, eighth place not here. For France, Philippe Bellamy from Mexico. He's Mario Perez Gomez. <laughs> from France, in six was Marc Bruno. In five, from Slovakia, Philippe Selek. Oh, fifth, okay, yeah, it's fine. Fifth from France. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> In uh, fourth place was my good friend uh, from Slovakia, Filip Silek. In third place, my good friend from Holland, Judy Brigitta. In second, from USA, Tommy Pruitt. And from France, your World Challenge Champion in the Cruiser 45 to 49, Jan Gay.
Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for these guys in the cruiser category, 45 to 49, and your world challenge champion from France, Jan Gay. Let's hope uh, Glyn Cartwright is okay from Great Britain. He was the one that took a fall there. Thank you, guys. Okay, Cruiser girls, 8 to 12 years old, in eighth place. From USA, Camden Cole. In seventh, from USA, Chase Burian. In sixth, from Japan, Yuri Nakamura. From Australia, in five was Dusty Schroeder. In four, from the United States, Harper Vescusco. Apologies. In third place, your top three from South Africa, Riley Van Heerden. In second place, from the USA, Madison Thompson. <laughs> and your winner, your World Challenge Champion from the United States, Eliza Newton. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause again for the young ladies, 8 to 12. And your World Challenge Champion, Eliza Newton. Just before I announce the final uh, podium ceremony, the guys here taking the photos, they'll be online on the social media, so you will be able to get a full frontal of your riders. Don't worry about that. 25 to 29 Cruiser men. <coughs> Line up on to the podium in eighth place, France, Kevin Angibo. From Suisse in seven, Benjamin Batallard. From South Africa, Brandon Pratt in six. In five, from France, Vincent Lyon. From France, in four, Thibaut Dupont. Your top three, ladies and gentlemen, from Argentina, Herden Santillan. And in second place, from France, Julien Bridal. But your winner and your World Challenge Champion from the Netherlands, Kevin Elbers. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please. Hold up high, guys. Please applaud the winners of the category of the Cruisers. 25 to 29. And your World Challenge champion, Kevin Elbers. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attendance. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow here at the Glasgow BMX Racing Centre for more action on the track where we crown more World Challenge champions. Have a safe trip. We'll see you tomorrow.